It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Hobbymaker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, Freesat Channel 807 and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Hello everybody, good afternoon. Thank you ever so much to John and the Sewing Street team and welcome to another fun-packed afternoon. It is going to be a fun-packed afternoon, I can tell you that, uh, here on Hobby Maker. I'm Dave Bradford and great that you can tune in this Saturday afternoon. We're with you with live shows right the way through until 6pm. Uh, you're going to meet a brand new guest to Hobby Maker at 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock, bringing you some amazing wreaths for all types of seasons in the year. Make your own wreaths with uh, Joanne, that's going to be fantastic. Joanne Rowe will be joining us, first time she's been here at Hobby Maker. Uh, and the other shows that we've got for you feature of course, uh, Kilo Keith, as we now know him. Kilo Keith is here in the building, and we is, we is, we are bringing you the food leads. Now, Keith tipped me off about this about a week ago. He said, got food leads next Saturday. Food. I thought, what's food leads? What on earth are you talking about, food leads? When you see these, you'll love them. Now, let me just explain to you how um, Hobby Maker works and how we're slightly different maybe to other places. Uh, what we offer you is a great way of saving on your postage to start off with, because from midnight to midnight, any orders you make, you will only be charged one PMP, no matter how many things you buy, no matter, in, no matter in what hour you buy them, up to midnight tonight, your postage will only be £3.95. So you could buy something from Joanne a bit later on, you could buy something from Keith now and something from Keith later on, just one PMP of three ninety-five. Um, free phone call number as well to our call centre that's in this building. That's another really good uh, benefit as well. And also, everybody pays the final low price. So even if you come in on something that was a higher price at the start, uh, if it goes down in price, everybody pays that final low price. So those are the kind of key differences, I suppose, to Hobby Maker. And again, thank you to all of you for all your positive comments saying how much you love the channel, how much you love our guests, and more and more new suppliers coming on board as well over the days and weeks to come. Right, what have we got for you, first of all? We've got an opportunity for you to buy the show. Now, that means that everything that is in this show, in this hour, you can buy at a fantastically discounted price. Now, the Foodlies are, well, basically food characters. With a little bit of cheek, with a little bit of um, Kilo Keith sauce, if I can call it that. Yeah, it's, it's basically tongue-in-cheek humour, kind of seaside postcard sort of humour. But the characters are the food, the sausages, the burgers, the donuts, the toaster has even got eyes and a mouth and that sort of thing. So basically, everything you see here is the Foodlies bundle. You can buy them individually, but of course, the best price is to buy the show or buy the Food Lease Bundle. I'll go into more detail on that in just a minute. Let me just show you the sort of things that you can be making here. You're baking me crazy. I hear you like bacon. Want a strip? See what I mean? It's real Keith, isn't it? Um, just to say, sorry it's late. You're utterly wonderful. The carton of milk. I love these. Um, you've got here, it, let's toast your special day, brother. Totally awesome or totally awesome. Uh, this one here, let's get glazy together. See, it's all a little bit kind of um, end of the pier stuff, but I love it. Uh, enjoy today, not to be corny, but you're serially wonderful. It's cool, isn't it? And this one, um, I'm not going to say this, but you can read it. Like it? I'm not saying it, I'm not saying it. Um, and this one, this one I love as well. Let's get saucy, there you go, the ketchup. It's, it's just brilliant, absolute sauce. Typical of Kilo Keith, isn't it? Absolutely. Now what we've got here for you, let me explain the, 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 the buy the show. Up the top here, you've got your inserts on both sides here. Uh, we'll go through quantities with Keith, he, he knows all the numbers. Uh, you get these wonderful inserts, beautifully printed, lovely, vibrant, bright patterns and colors. You've got your mini insert stash there as well. There we are, look. Not saying that one either. Then we've got, on the next layer down, we've got our, 
uh, backgrounds, we've got our verse backgrounds and our pattern backgrounds, and then you've got your decoupage stash and your topper stash there as well. So those are all the Foodly products. They all are listed on the website individually as well. But if you buy the show, you're not only going to get that, you're going to get these fantastic dies, 31 dies on this die set, and you've got things like top hats and tails and crowns and moustaches and goggles and glasses and masquerade masks as well. So again, all very much in this uh, sort of humour. Uh, you've then got your holographic cardstock as well with the beautiful bubbles and gemstone holograph on them as well. You're going to get that in the bundle. And then you're also going to get your card blanks. There's not enough room here. Uh, you've got your card blanks and you've also, of course, got your coordinating uh, card uh, card, printed cardstock in all these wonderful colours that will work so well with the Foodly's collection. Okay, so all of that is the buy the show. Now it's 131.91. That's if you were to buy everything that's available in the show at the proper price. But when you buy the show, you know you're going to get a fantastic deal. So everything I've just showed you, we're going to take it to under 100. And ten pounds for all of this. If you've been waiting for a little bit of seaside postcard humour, a bit of tongue-in-cheek tongue innuendo, this is the collection for you. I'm sure we all know people that would really appreciate all of these, and every single one is just really, really, really cute and really funny. Typical Kiwi Low Keith. 2308 is your first split payment as well. So we've actually split it into three. Four, is that three or four? Four. Four split payments. 2308 is all you pay today, plus your £3.95 PMP. And that's the only postage you'll be paying for the whole day, right the way up until midnight tonight. You can choose whatever you want from all our other shows. 395 is the maximum you'll be charged for your PMP. So 9235 or that first split payment of 2308. But you can find the individuals. If you just want to buy the Foodlies bundle without the uh, card stock and without the holographic and without the dies, you can buy that as a bundle as well. Now we'll also show you that right now actually so we don't kind of keep you waiting for that. So that was the buy the show with the dies, card stock and the holographic and everything from Foodlies. If you just want the Foodlies, which is basically everything on the top tier just here, if you just want that, you're getting your toppers, your insert sheets, your decoupage, uh, your background stash as well, the ones with sentiments on and the pattern ones as well. We'll go through it with Keith on the counter in just a second. The whole of that, uh, 89.84, we're going to do a deal on that as well. So if the buy the show is not for you, but you like the idea of the foodlies and want to get all of that, the foodlies topper stash, decoupage stash, the backgrounds, the sentiment backgrounds, the inserts and the mini sentiments as well. Let's see what we can do that for you for. 62.99. How about that? 62.99. And remember, split payments just 20 pounds and 99 pence, and that's three split payments. Okay, so you pay 20.99 today plus your PMP if you just want all of the Foodly's goodies. If you just want the topper stashes, they're on the website individually available for you. But remember, the best deal is always to buy the big bundle if you can afford it, and that's why we put the big bundles always on split pay, so you can actually pay over a number of payments rather than all in one go if you choose to do that. UM2140 is the product code. That's the all important number. Now remember, if you're a brand new customer. Uh, to Hobby Maker, and we're getting more and more brand new customers every single day. Maybe you've been watching uh, Shopping TV for many, many years, but you've never actually shopped with us. All you have to do is go to the website, which is www.hobbymaker.co.uk, and become a member. And it's easy and it's free to do it. All you have to do is click that you're not a customer at the moment, and then up will come a bar where you put your email address in. Make up a password that you'll remember, and that's it. You're a brand new customer, and you can feel free to shop as often as you like. And also, just by the by, if you want to get a little bit of a little um, uh, David B bonus, just go to uh, subscribe to us. So in other words, we can send you emails to let you know what's coming up on the channel. If you do that, again, just put in your email address in there, just where you can see the cursor, uh, you'll get a five pound voucher that you can redeem against a purchase of 25 pounds or more. So that's our way of saying welcome to the channel. So that's what we've got coming up. Um, Keith. <laughs> Yeah, I've got to be careful with you. Oh, David, I've been, I've been waiting for this moment for over a year now. <laughs> uh, I've been oh, waiting boy. for this moment for over a year. Shall we get saucy? Come on, let's get saucy. <laughs> oh, listen, what are you if, like? if, if you're a little bit faint-hearted today, you need to lie down. Go and do it now, because this is going to be a bit of a ride for you. Uh, I absolutely love this. Our designer and design team have done an amazing job with they this have. collection. Uh, we've called it the food list. Of course, it's got a very food kind of uh, uh, thing there. Uh, Dave, uh, for us as well. Now, you're going to get, in this set, you get 48 Foodly toppers. Shall we say Foodly okay, toppers? Okay, yeah. That's 24 different designs, and you're going to get two of two each. Two of each, yeah. 
And these are the toppers. I'm gonna, we can show you those, David. We'll do the board in a minute or two. Okay, yeah, but we cool. can, I'll let you just have a quick flick through through those. Just have a quick, get two of each of all of these. We'll go through them all in a minute or two because let's show everybody what this is all about. Yeah. So these are the food lids. They've all got wonderful little captions and sayings, but you do have some choices because we're going to show you some other little elements as well where you can change the words to suit your own occasion. Let me say, David, that this is not just for birthday cards. This Absolutely. is not just for celebration cards. You can send these cards any any time of the day or the year, if you've got the hots for somebody, if you would like to tell somebody, you know, a little bit of a, a bit of a flirty, yeah. uh, send them it anonymously so that they don't know it's you, but get the, just make them and leave them, at, well, even for your workmates. If you've got something that would really wind up a workmate, this is phenomenal. This is great. Look at that one there. Are you looking at my wiener? <laughs> hey, David, are you looking at my wiener? <laughs> I'm glad you said that, not me. I'll tell you what, um, loads of you are coming through for this. Loads of you absolutely love this. It's right up my street. It's tongue-in-cheek humour. I love that one as well, David, as well. Look at that one, that's really good. You're making, You're me, making so me so corny, David, so <laughs> corny. <laughs> and I like that one as well. That's one of my favourite ones as well. I like bacon. You want a strip? <laughs> and there oh, we go. That's going to be my first demo. Let's get saucy. Right. Let's get saucy. It's all about... Now, this is a fun, fun collection. Listen, it's completely different. The kids will love it. If you want to make cards for teenagers or for the younger people, they will get this. It's they will. their kind of humour, David. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you might look at them and say, well, that's just taking a card and putting it on. Yes, it is. And you could do that 48 times, yep. David. That's 48 cards cards just like that bish bash bosh 48 cards pound a pop 48 quid in your tin absolutely but you can decoupage them Dave. you can and these are the decoupage sheets so they're the same size as the toppers but as you can see you get two elements or different elements that you can cut out nice easy shapes to cut out too nice easy shapes to cut out too as well Dave yeah for sure there's your uh, ketchup soon Best friends, yeah. And you've got different words and different sentiments on there as well, like yeah. I say. So you can per personalise the collection to suit the person that you're sending it to. So brother, son, you can add it, you know, can really make that to you, to a family member as well. So you've got all of those things there. You've got the croissant, the bit of French in there, oh, oh, milk uh, with the latte. You've got all of the elements. It really is all about the fun. Now, this is quite relaxing, cutting things out. This but is your decoupage stash. This is just yeah. the decoupage stash. But another 48 sheets there, David. Yeah. That means that you can make 48 fully decoupage cards for that amazing price. But that's not all, David. We're going to give you everything to go with this as well. You've got some really good little captions in there as well. Even like the cups of tea or cups yeah, of coffee. You're sweet enough. You're sweet enough there, David. Uh, I mean, again, look at that one again with the, with the strawberries and cream. <laughs> uh, really brilliant. Of course, the pint of beer and the hops uh, are in there as well. We'll go show you all of the sentiments because I want, I want to get all there. You've got the wife, okay, the yep. hubby, the fiance, the, uh, you know, the, all that. We've tried to cover every occasion, but let me tell you, I would be sending these to some of my, uh, you know, you could send these to your friends, to your, your family, colleagues. to your work colleagues, yep. and I wouldn't be waiting for a birthday. No. You know, if, you've, if you wanted to send somebody a bit of a secret message, you could make one of these you and could. send it, and they wouldn't have a clue who it's come from, and that, uh, uh, that has happened to me. I know, when I was a lot slimmer, a lot younger, <laughs> and, and either before the first wife or between the second wife, um, uh, you know, this would have been great. Mrs. Keith would appreciate a card like this. Oh, you? listen, it's Mother's Day tomorrow. I I'm there, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to ask you which one you're going to send. I'm not going to ask that. OK, what else do you want to look at? So, we've got those. Now, David, to go with them, you've also got the, the backgrounds that yep. coordinate with these as well. Now, they're slightly bigger in size, Dave, so you can take those toppers, you can take the decoupage, and you can mount them straight on to the 48 sheets of background. And they're funky. They're great, vibrant colours, wonderful patterns, bright, vibrant, cheerful. We need that at the moment. Moment, don't we? we do need to be cheerful yeah. as well, you know, um, and reasons to be cheerful. One, two, three. <laughs> and there's number three in the little collection. Now, Dave, not only have we got that to go with it as well, we've also got the 8x8 eight eight card as well. So you're going to make the cards really special, really big, and that's what we're going to try and do today. You also get these, which are the words background. So these have got words on them right across the pages, all across the page. These are 8 inches by 8 inches, 200 by 200 millimetres, all 300 GSM in nom, quality. Nom, nom. But Brilliant <laughs> to work with the toppers, to work with the words, to work with the sentiments. And again, just for you to be able to put in, they're all die cuttable. You can die cut it, you can emboss it, you can do all of the things you want to do with it, and it really is great, great fun. Then you've got your A4 inserts. And then we've got the inserts. Now we're calling them A4 inserts, David. You can see straight away that there are two elements to that insert there. I would say you could use that with your dies, yeah, you get create two out a of focal that. point. I wouldn't necessarily just fold it and put it in the card. You could do uh, for sure, but you could equally get a better value out of it if you cut them in half and use them with your tooling and fix the inserts in quite nicely inside. We'll try and do that again. How many inserts do you get? 
We get 36 of those, David. We've got six different designs. Well, effectively, 12 options on the six different sheets. Cool. And you get 36 of six of each of those. Then you've also got the smaller inserts as well, yeah? Oh, I love this. This is our... Listen, we try and budget for everybody, uh, regardless of whether, you, uh, whether you've got a budget of this big or a budget of this big, because these are the little mini... These have got different words in to what's in the main collection. So again, look, you can see on there, um, you know. I love you from my head to my toes. Oh, you move me to my head to my toes. <laughs> <laughs> in my great Yorkshire accent there. Home sweet, uh, yeah. They really are good. I love you. I love, I love you. you, David, yeah. Uh, so really good fun, again, to add into your collection. You can put this inside your card again, but you've got different options. But look at the price of this on its own. Up there in the top corner, David. It's no yoke, but I think you're excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I dare hope it was a fun day. Love it. Absolutely love it. So these are included too. And remember, if you buy the show, you're also going to get the extra cardstock. You get the holographic cardstock and the dies as well. But you can either buy all of the food leads together, which I've just shown you, or the buy the show where you save the most money. But either way, you're going to save a, a small fortune by buying either of the bundles. Or you can go for them individually. It's up to you. You can go for them individually. As I say, we're not telling you what you've got to buy, how you've got to buy. No. We're just giving you the options of how you can get the best value, because we all want to get our best value. Of course, here at Hobby Maker, we're giving you those split pay options yep. as well. Well, so you can spread that load. If you want to make cards and sell cards, we're very happy for you to make and sell. It's all about having the fun. If you put these on your booth, this is one of those things. How many times have we been to the seaside and we get to that postcard thing, yeah. we spin it around because yeah. we're looking for something funny, aren't we? This is really funny. And this you can relate to somebody, I'm sure, in your family. Or and friends. the colours are so bright as well. If you are at a craft fair or something like that and you've got a stand or a stall, people are going to be drawn to it because the bright colours really attract. And people will have a laugh with them. We all know people that we can send these sort of cards to. Uh, and life's a bit too serious sometimes. So why not have a joke? Why not have a laugh? Why just send something to some, someone something? in the post that's going to make them smile cheer them up absolutely david and listen uh, we've all been there haven't we really how many relationships <laughs> start by working with work colleagues yeah yeah um I, I can tell you me and the current mrs smith we met at work i know i lived up here and she lived down there but we met at work via the telephone this was before mobiles and all this sort of thing uh -huh. this was phone box love and it's still going strong. And it's still going strong. Tw oh, 24 years later. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. David, to go with all of that, you yep. need to have the cards. So included in the buy the show, all on their own, you've got these 8 by 8 cards. Yep. Now, you're going to get 20 of those. Okay. We're going to give you 20 envelopes to go with it as well. That's really important because you're going to make a big card. You need a big envelope for it to go with. However, here's the twist in the tail. These are brilliant. These, we've made these specially mm -hmm. out of what we did uh, the other week. If you were watching and you saw the metallic adhesives, these are beautiful but these are adhesive sheets oh brilliant so the colors that will match the all the colors of you can see the colors have been designed to match with the collection but these are adhesive peel off stick on you can do that so you want to make your square cards red or blue or green yep. or yellow you can do that by literally peeling it off and giving it a base color and you can die cut it you can die cut this you can absolutely you can make all of those elements and that's really important for the next thing that we're going to show you okay. as well which is in fact this beautiful set of what we call our fun love dies our party accessory dies David look at these there are 31 different dies on there now you could give your fooglies uh, you glasses, could give them glasses you could give hats. them bow tie you yeah. could give them a hat moustache moustaches beard you could give them a beard uh, you could really characterize the collection so maybe yeah, the person that you fancy wears glasses and has a beard you could you could definitely pick a topper out give it glasses give it beard and they would know uh, it would be brilliant but also if you got photographs of that person as well you could of course use these on photos too but great to put on the food leads. it's all going to work together beautifully and it's not over yet because you also get the holographic silver cardstock as well now this is like the bullet um holographic you've got that fantastic sphere and the gemstones on there as well how many sheets of this do you get you get 24 sheets in this david I have to say that they are random. I cannot determine where the dots or the spots are going to be. It will be on a mixture within the 24 sheets, but you are going to get a mixture within those 24 sheets. Now, those are great on their own, David, but to work with the dies, I'm going to show you how you can use that product with this product and get the most amazing elements to be able to pop on so your cards. the options you've got just so there's no confusion if you want to buy the show that's going to include the dies the holographic the cardstock and the adhesive sheets as well plus 
the bonus being that you're going to get everything from the food list. That's the star of the show, definitely. If you're not interested in the holographic and the card stock and the dice, you just want all the food list stuff, that's another big bundle that's going to save you money too. Both of those are on split pay, so it's affordable right now, and you can buy the elements separately. Say, for example, you know that you want uh, the decop an extra decoupage pack or you want an extra toppers pack. You can put those into your basket as well at the same time if you'd like to. But what an opportunity. This is something that's going to put a smile on your face when you're making the card, and importantly, it's going to put a smile on people who receive them in the post or buy them from you too. Your food is coming to life, courtesy of Kilo Keith. It is, Dave, yeah. And again, on the steppers there, we've got sort of like three rows, which shows you all 24 cards that I very quickly put together. Literally, I put these together this morning, and I kid you not, just so I wanted to just show you. If you wanted to just literally take a topper, mount it to a card, that's as easy as card making can get, then you can do that just as simple as this. If you then want to decoupage these and add those extra elements, which we're going to show you in a minute or two with my demo, you could do all of those as well. You've got volume and value here, David. Now, the collection, that's proving the most popular at the moment. So what you can see on your screen is everything you're going to get in the collection. I don't know how many cards you can make with this collection, but there's, it's got to be a couple of hundred at least, hasn't it? Oh, it'll go a long way, Dave, yeah, for as much as, oh, if you know, using all that, we've got 36 there, cut them in half, that's 172, 48 here, 48 there. You've got another 30 sheets here, cut them in half, that's another 60 yep. elements in there. You are into hundreds of potential card making, however you want. You can but make, the, it, you the can make it go as far as you want. It goes as far as you want, and it's all about the fun, David. Sometimes we ne we like to make, you know, we're going to be bringing you some collections in the not too distant future. They're very posh, very posh. Uh, Much like yourself. Very like myself, I had my allocution lessons um, <laughs> in, in Yorkshire. Um, yeah, it's, uh, but this is all about bringing a bit of humour. I think yeah. we need a bit of humour. We've Should had a boards. tough couple of years. These are the boards, David, which have got all of the uh, 24 different designs on. So, uh, again, we can scour across them. That just shows you exactly the wordings that are on there, Dave. They're best brilliant. Besties forever. Besties forever. Yeah. You could send that to your best friend, again, a work colleague. Sorry it's late. Carton of milk. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to. I'm not, not going to say the hot dog one. Uh, but yeah, you get the idea. They're just really good fun, really brightly coloured, bright, cheerful. That's what we need, and that's what you're loving at the moment. So if you fancy it, remember it's twenty pound ninety nine on your split pay. If you want to have the bundle of the food lids, if you want to go for buy the show that's got the dies, the holographic, and the cardstock, that is also on four split payments at the moment so either way you don't have to spend much more than 20 quid plus your PMP to get either the buy the show or the big bundle of the food lease delivered to your door but if you just want to cherry pick the toppers or you want the decoupage on their own or you just want maybe the backgrounds on their own they're all listed and available separately on the website at hobbymaker.co.uk all right Oh, David, let's just have a little bit of a play with this right. because these are the dies. When I've popped them all out the sheet, these is 31 dies that we've got on this lovely mat here for you. This is all of them. You can see on here when you've popped them all out. You can use these on any amount of different projects, can't you, really? They are brilliant. Really fantastic quality from uh, Paper Dynamics, as, as you would expect. But you've got the different sizes of glasses. Do you know it was Elton John's 75th yeah, birthday yesterday? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so you've got your Elton John type glasses on here. But if I take one of the foodless sheets and say, what about giving him maybe a round spec set of spectacles we could give him round spectacles yeah. if we wanted to do so uh, we could give him heart-shaped spectacles David you know you've got all of the options there. you can see his eyes still popping through with the little eye so really is about you know giving these a great lot of fun again if you wanted to give this little character a little bit of a beard we yeah. could put the beard die underneath there as well and you can see might just obliterate the eyes a little bit we can just see how you could play around with all of the elements on here as well uh, you could give them hats we could put a little bit of a hat on top of there if we wanted to do Make it queen for a day and all that sort of thing. You give him it, big red lips. The big red lips, yeah, you yeah. could give the big red lips, David. Yeah, for sure, we could cut the red out <laughs> of the adhesive and give them big red lips. It's about having creative fun. Speaking of which, David, shall we have a go at making something? Let's have a go, yeah. Let's absolutely. have a go at making something. By uh, the way, we've got our Gemporia craft machine in the show as well, which Keith is going to use for the first time today. I, I saw a lovely post, actually, on Facebook earlier on from Jamie from Creative Expressions. He bought three. And you maintain on Facebook, it's the best machine he's ever used. Wow. Really amazing. So, well, I have to say, David, I mean, I've been somewhat busy back at the factory. Uh, my life is somewhat chaotic outside of these uh, walls. Uh, I have a 17-year-old at home uh, and a 14-year-old at home. We had a parents' evening. Have you had? Oh, David, you would have done a parents' evening for, uh, like, maybe forever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, You're quite right. 14-year-old and parents, it's done by Zoom. Oh, is it? It's done by Zoom these days. Yeah, oh, okay. your, your parents don't, uh, don't 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 go to a, a class anymore. We we get zoomed in, oh, uh, right. and you get the the thing is you get you get allocated five minutes with a teacher, and then that's it. It cuts you off. 
If, you, if you're mid-flow of your sentence, Dave, it cuts you off. Well, automatically, it cuts you off. off you, you, wow. so, how rude. However, it does mean that your parents' evening runs absolutely bang on time. You know, it That's absolutely true. It runs to So none of these queuing days around. Anyway, so uh, you have a parents' <laughs> evening. I've had a really busy time, so I haven't really had time to play around with the new machine, as it were, really. Uh, so look... Don't forget to keep these little bits because that's adhesive. Yeah. We could use it as a ribbon on something else. The adhesive sheets are 210 millimetres by 210, so they're bigger than the 8-inch eight, uh, eight cards, Dave. Okay. Now, we did that on purpose, uh, only because if you want to die cut with these, we, try, we thought, well, we'll give you the maximum size sheet that we can, not the minimum size sheet you we can. You know what, Keith? If you keep these strips like you say, you can actually cut out loads of red lips if you want yeah, to. It's red the right size. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's it, Dave. It's uh, uh, being able to you know, play around with how you want to be able to go with these things. Let's just put that down there. I'm going to show you. This is on the adhesive. Uh, so let's just peel it off. We're going to peel this off. We're going to stick it down to show you. So we're going to turn the white card red because we can. And Machine details on the screen, by the way, still on split page. It's 33 33 if you want to try it. Everyone's raving about it. Under 100 quid? Wow. It should be 149. Wow. Fantastic, isn't it, really? And again, here we go, Hobby Maker. We're getting our, we're getting our feet on the table now. We're getting going. We, yep. we know what we're doing now. We're a little bit more practiced at what we're doing. So that's brilliant. And uh, congratulations. If you are supporting us here, we really do appreciate it. And I hope you're enjoying the shows. We're bringing, trying to bring you all sorts of things, out with David? We are, of, absolutely. Including wreath making with Jojo or Joanne in the next show. Uh, she's brand new to Hobby Maker. She's a lovely lady. That's going to be a really, really interesting show a bit later on. Gorgeous wreaths. So now, Dave, you can see it from the adhesive. I'm just going to rub it down, and we're just going to do a little bit of a pullback with that. We're just going to take it all the way down. Now, these are not the metallic ink, so uh, don't get confused with the metallic inks that we had on uh, the other day. But you can see how easy that is to. And now we've made the the uh, white card red. I beg your pardon. Let's just push that a little bit further up so we're underneath the camera. There yeah. we go. And that's Pol real pillar box red, isn't it? That's real pillar box red, David. Now, let's take then, uh, we're going to take our Let's Get Saucy card on there. We're going to do a little bit of trimming with this one as well. So I want to give that a little bit of red. You could, in fact, really, cut the middle out of that really that would have been probably more prudent to do but uh, uh, seeing as we're on a time scale and we're, we're, we're trying to get things as much done as we can let's just give a bit of a play you've got not to be corny but as a background nom 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 um sugar and spice you're my sugar and spice sugar uh, and spice what, what special day will be super so it's all food related let's get saucy which is what you're, you're using and one that i can't read out but anyway <laughs> I can't oh. read that. <laughs> oh, David. I can I hold it to the camera, but I can't say that on TV, can I? <laughs> my, my producer Laura is saying yes. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, David, these are brilliant, honestly. This is my kind of sense of humor. I like really? my job. Uh, and. and <laughs> And uh, um, I, I, let me, I'll be very candid with the viewers. I will I'll be very candid. I wanted to go even further. I, I, went, I had the shackles. I had the shackles put on me, David. <laughs> the ladies back at the factory, they said, no, 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 Keith, that's a little bit over the, that's, you know, that's post nine o'clock. Have they censored it, you? They censored me, yeah, they did, Dave, honestly. They said, no, we can't have that, David. That's that, you know, Keith, you can't go, you can't say that on live television. <laughs> I said, well, <laughs> I'm sure we could, but anyway. After nine uh, o'clock, maybe. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Anyway, however, let's get saucy. And I think this is brilliant because, again, it's that play on words, isn't it, really? And we just love it, don't we, really? I mean, uh, the thing about the British and the Scottish and the Irish and the Welsh, the uh, thing about our great nation is we, we've got a sense of humour. Yeah, we have. Uh, we, yeah. And, and that is, the, you know, you can't think, take away we got one of the, best the great British the sense of humour, yeah. can you, really? So you can see it now, David, and I'm just matting and layering up from on here as well. We're just going to do a little bit of a matting and layering uh, techniques on here as well. But, yes, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to show you something else as well. This is completely unrehearsed. I've tried to do a few little bits to get you uh, sorted out, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is, how you can think on your feet. Maybe you're doing crafting for the first time. This is a great collection to be for a new crafter, because... You, you oh, yeah. can literally just mix and match all of the colours. Do you know and there, there are no rules. It's refreshingly different. It's not like the same sort of car kits that you're used to seeing. So if you're looking to you know, kind of stand out a little bit, that's what this is going to do for you. It's going to set you apart from other craft stalls, maybe at craft fairs. Or maybe you just love it as an individual. You want to send it to your family and your friends, your work colleagues, that sort of thing. Right, so that's our one of that. Now, David, I've taken a bit of the uh, metallic, the hologram there, and I've just cut it in. Uh, when you cut it down, depends how you want to use it. I mean, this is literally for matting and layering, but I'm just going to take that down, and I'm uh, just going to put some 3D foam pad behind this, Dave, because I can. I'd love uh, to know how they do that holographic. That's amazing. Yeah, um, it is brilliant. I've got 24 sheets of that, Dave. Really, really good, fun product. It really is. Uh, um, and, and again... Die cut those out. This is about using your dies, using your tooling. You're going to get amazing results with Incredible. it. Incredible. 
And well, of course, you, you can emboss with it as well if you wanted to do. But you just want that. That's available on the show. Everything is available individually. You don't have to buy the big collection, but it is the big Foodly's collection that is in the lead at the moment, and that's on the screen right now. UM2140. Lots of you taking us up on split pay. Uh, that's there for every, everyone. You just have to tick the split pay box when you get to checkout, and that will basically divide that price into three interest-free over three payments. Now, four weeks' time and in eight weeks' time. There you go. Fill your boots, have a laugh, it's there for you. The Foodlies have landed. The Foodlies have landed. Honestly, I've been so much looking forward to this show. Obviously, okay. I told the viewers last week that this was coming, but really, really excited to bring this. So this is the Let's Get Saucy Topper. Um, I'm going to put a bit of 3D foam pads behind on, on here, Dave, because uh, I want to be able to lift this up. Again, making things tactile, make things, you know, lift yeah. up a little bit, really. It gives that, that lovely touchy-feely, and it's handmade. thing about what I love about what we offer, Dave, um, you know, in the craft, industry is it's all about handmade handmade yep. by you, you handmade with love and um, handmade with love for sure Dave uh, and the other thing that that does there's only this one in the world yep. because you've made it they're, they're not mass produced no nope. can't go see it anywhere else in any other store any other shop because you've made it and it's been made by you and that way you you're the design you're the your creator um, you're the producer. Yeah. You're, I mean, you're you've everything got, that we've got here at Hobby Maker. You've got the artwork and you do with it what you want. That's fine. Absolutely brilliant. So again, and now literally I'm just using them as they come out of the packet. I'm not doing any die cutting with this at this moment in time. We will do during the course of the afternoon. But for now, I just really wanted to bring into play to show you how the elements all work and lift up and give us that lovely feeling. But this is now, Dave, where we've taken the elements from the decoupage. Yep, the decoupage. You find the decoupage yep. sheet for the, uh, for the tomato. I can. Um, uh, for the saucy sheet, the, let's find the saucy sheet there. I'm sure you'll come across it. There it is. Oh, there he is. There's the saucy sheet. There you go. Dave's got the saucy sheet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it comes out of the sheet. And it's so easy to just follow the contours to cut them out. Honestly, they're the, easy shapes. And you've also got a bleed line around the edge as well. So it's not yep. going to show any white. You don't have to uh, worry about any of that. And then this is what it turns into, David. Look, when I've cut this one out, um, you can see there, this is what it turns into. Beautiful, uh, the effect. But what that does is that then elevates our card making project. So we're going to give that, so we'll put some 3D foam pads behind on here, Dave, and we're just literally now going to put this together in such a fun way. Uh, it does make it tactile, which is really good. Maybe people visually impaired, they can still yep. feel it and, and get the general, I mean, people who are, who are visually impaired, they get to know these things, don't they, really? But also the colours are really bright and vibrant as well. They really do stand out. Uh, you're loving this. I thought you might. Uh, it's, it's never, well, I've never seen anything quite like it, to be honest with you. It is seaside humour. It's the saucy postcard sense of humour that appeals to so many of us. Well, that's what this is all about. Yeah, for sure. And, and uh, I, I just love the fact that we have got such a great sense of humour in this country. And this is you know, brilliant because, again, you've got the sauce bottle on there. And now we've got things like even the extra little tomato. Tomato, do you say tomato? Oh, I say tomato. tomato. Uh, you've got tomato, tomato. Uh, even that, you can cut that out, look in there. And we're just going to put the little tomato on the top. So, again, so we've gone up layer one, layer two, layer three. We're still building. What about those little annoying little bits that you get on tomatoes? We've still got one of those as well. You don't have to be an expert at cutting these things out. Uh, be, it doesn't matter if it's rough around the edges because by the time I've put my little 3D foam pad on the back there and put this on the top, because one layer is against the professional printed layer, you can't really tell, Dave, but what it does do is it gives it a marvellous, marvellous effect. So again, let's just put that over the top there so you can see now how the layers are beginning to come together. I tell Absolutely you what, this brilliant. has created a bit of a stir amongst everyone here in the studios, whether they work on Sewing Street, Jewelry Maker or whatever. Everyone's been having a good old giggle at these, looking at the phrases, looking at the imagery, loving it to bits. Not quite believing that it's actually on TV, but it is, it's here. This man's <laughs> brought it to you, and it's just a bit of fun. It is a little bit of fun. Oh, look, you can't be serious all of your life. No. There is, you know, there's enough troubles in the world. Let's have a little bit of humour. Let's, you know, try and uh, bring that in. So, uh, now, as I say, at this point then, David, you've got other elements in here. So, for instance, I can, uh, I could put this to my husband or you complete me. So, again, you can play around with yeah. those little words. So, again, so let's get saucy. We could put husband under there. Mm, I'll have a little mm -hmm. bit of a thing, with Bob. Um, <laughs> hasn't happened for a while, but never mind. <laughs> you, uh, you never know. Uh, she could be watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, listen, if anybody knows, uh, just uh, send her a message, will you? And just say, uh, Keith says, uh, when he gets home, let's get saucy. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, um, uh, but, look, but you can put on there. So, again, you can personalise it. I, I could use the mini sentiments and get the different words from there as well. Uh, David, pass me one. Let's see if we can find an insert that will go in the side there from that. One, one of these. There. Okay, is there yeah. anything there that will go with this as well? I'm sure there is. Just to be able to bring some on, on the inside for sure. Uh, Take your pick. 
Let's take a pic, shall we? Um, what have we got there? We've got the waffle. Blah, 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 blah. Let's have a little bit of that one, shall we? Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. Let's have Why a little bit of a thanks a bunch there, shall we? So again, with the idea with these, let's just put this to one side for a moment. And uh, with the thing because we're now going to we're now going to look at the inside, but I don't want to have all of those. I want to be able to just say, right, let's thanks a bunch for whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, so again, the inserts, the RA4, you could literally two out of that. You could fold it in half like that. You could literally just fold it in half, and you could fold it in half and bish bash, you've got yourself an insert to go inside your card. However, let's just. Uh, uh, give this a bit of a trimming edge, so we're just going to trim it down roughly, I'm going to trim it halfway down the sheet, uh, there we go, ah, never felt a thing, uh, and then we're just going to take that there, there. now David, it, be, it doesn't matter that it's, you know, that it's not uh, perfect, because it's handmade, yeah. nobody's expecting it to be perfect, perfect, manufactured normally it's perfect, but handmade's got to have character, yeah, for sure, and then what we can do, David, we're just going to put a bit of tape across the top, that's all we need to do, bit of tape over the top there, the low tack adhesive tape, a uh, bit of tape over the top, and that's it, that's all you need to do, that's just going to fix it in nicely, it's still going to be loose let's bring the card into play we're going to put that on the inside there and then so again you've got those different options of the different words that are there thanks a bunch thanks so we've got, we got the, the go. outside and the inside we can play around that again i could use one of the colored sheets on the inside if i wanted to do so or i could use again some more of the words uh, from the pattern backgrounds and things as well but if i show you that one stood up that is a great card a brilliant and card. i'm saying to you you can make that 48 times um, you know, with the 48 different topper sheets in there, which is brilliant. Hi, Ashley, and also Tara, you're in as well for the complete collection, I believe. All of the collection includes everything from the food leaves, the great characters that kind of come to life. If you buy the show, you're going to get the extra edition of the card blanks. You're going to get, of course, the uh, adhesive, beautiful coloured printed sheets. You're going to get the holographic cardstock, and you're going to get that collection of really quirky dies as well. So you can actually put glasses, hats, crowns, all sorts of things, even ties on your foodly character as well but you can use these in all sorts of other ways as well like putting them on photographs too um 2140 is the foodly bundle so you don't get the dies you don't get the holographic you don't get the cardstock but you get everything else you get the inserts you get the printed um the printed verse backgrounds uh, the printed pattern backgrounds you get the two uh, stash sheets you get the um the foodly storage decoupage stash and you get the topper stash as well plus you also get the mini sentiments as well for the inserts of your cards too so this is the buy the show where you can get everything including the holographic card the card blanks and the dies and the adhesive papers all of that together is 92.35 but it's only about three pound more on your split pay because we're giving you four way split pay on this it was three way split pay just on the food lease but it's four way split pay if you want to get and buy the show that gives you everything and gives you the best discount as well gives you the best value for money that's fx 21.52 if you want to pop that in your basket as well and remember all we ask to pay today is 23 plus your PMP which is just 3 95 for the whole day. You can order things in our wreath shows later. You can order things from Keith a bit later on. We've got the Kilo show coming up at uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Boxes of Kilo card stock that you're going to love. Any number of orders you make in a 24-hour period from midnight to midnight, only 3 95 postage. That's all you have to pay. That's what makes us different and that's what makes us unique. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know which one you've chosen. <laughs> oh, let's put the card over there, David, because this is great, isn't it, really? Um, uh, yeah, I just, well, we're just going to have a lot of fun, Dave, for sure. Let's just take another little bit of a card, shall we? Uh, we'll, do, we'll see if we can do a bit of die cutting this time. Uh, uh, honestly, 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 I'm not kidding you. I've not used this machine. Um, our magic hands, young man, Jimmy, he'll tell you. He, he, he just showed me. He said, this is the combination, Keith. These are the buttons you've got to press. Yeah. It's like learning to drive a car all <laughs> over again, shall we? So I'm just going to uh, take one of the... Uh, Oh, I love this background, David. Isn't it? About, look, lick me all over. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. oh, you've got to have a laugh, David. Honestly, it is. Lick me all over. There is one in here to go with the ice cream. And I kid you not, honestly, I'm, I'm going to say it because I can. Uh, it says, lick me till I scream. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, don't be offended. Don't be offended. It's only a little bit of fun. Um, Joe, Joe, I, 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 I like ice cream. I, yeah. Uh, Jojo, he's in the next show at two o'clock. She can't quite believe what she's walked into. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Welcome <laughs> to Hobby Maker. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So I've got my sandwich already put together. Here we go. We've got my little die on there. So we're just going to use this to, on the, to show you that the idea with all of these elements is for you to be able to uh, take it on your own creative journey. And here we go. Uh, this, is, this is it, David. Turning it on. Turn it on. Uh, the plane is ready to go. And we're going to press the button to run. There you and go. it's as easy as that. Look. This look. is the machine that's getting so many rave reviews, even from professional crafters like Jamie, for example. Buy it while we still got it. It's 50 pounds off, under 100 quid. It's on three split pays as well. Jamie ordered three for his workshops and one for his mum as well for Mother's Day. So that's wow, and then look at that, David. The proof is in the pudding. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, pardon the pun on the words, but the proof is definitely in the pudding. I'll just take my little low tack adhesive uh, tape off there, which is holding the die in place. And uh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So just straightforward and fabulous to be able to use, uh, to be able to get that. So there's my die and... Uh, I'll, I'll sort that out later on, just for a minute too. Okay. Because there we go. It's on on the uh, on the side there, ready to go. Now, should we take another one of those then, okay. Dave? Because I think well, what we'll do is before we put it on the card, let's have a little bit of a play with the elements, shall we? Because um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do it because we can do in the time scales that we've got. Um, I'm I'm gonna get my sausage out. I'm uh, I'm just I'm just I've, you've got to do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> David's all in his hands either. This is just really, really good fun. Um, look, uh, my, my wife, my good lady wife, uh, she lives with us. She, she honestly told that's me... A, uh, that's a good, the, that's a good uh, thing. My, uh, no, not just the wife. I'll be Not just the wife. Uh, Karen's nan, who's 97, bless her. 97, wow. Yeah, and she still lives with us. She's still, you know, she's going. She's, she, we have the stair lift in the house and everything. Uh, but she's German. Um, and I refer to her as the German, mm -hmm. because she is German, mm -hmm. um, but she loves her, her wiener sausage. Mm. All the time. We go, you know, you can buy it in packs in the supermarket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a, this is a card that I'm going to make, and it's definitely going in her direction. German sausage bratwurst, aren't they? Well, it's a wiener as well, David. A wiener as well, okay. <laughs> well, it is in our house. I'm going with it. I'm going I mean, I've been, I've, been, uh, I've been going on about these for uh, a few weeks back at home. Uh, we've had such a laugh. And, of course, she's, once I got her going on this, she said, oh, can I have a look at another one? Can I have a look at another <laughs> one? Because, uh, uh, obviously, her eyes have gone a little bit at 97, but she still has got a great sense of humour. And that's the one thing, uh, uh, you know, about this collection is it's yeah. about having that humour, that fun. And, like I say, I would be saying, David, seriously, seriously, why wait for a birthday or yeah, celebration? Absolutely. This is the sort of thing you could send to anybody any day of the week. People uh, that maybe you've not caught up with for a long time for whatever reason. Yeah, send this in the post. It's going to break the ice if it's someone new that you're trying to kind of meet up with or get to know or whatever. But it's also going to be uh, raise a, a giggle or two in the whole family that receive it, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, it is, yeah, it's fabulous. I mean, again, so, and then, Dave, what you can do then is, look, is you're just going to take all of the elements, and here we are, we've just popped pop them all out. We've got all of the elements here. We just literally cut them all out as easy as that, and you could then personalise it to your boyfriend, if I wanted to do it to my girlfriend, if I wanted to do it to my fiancé. I could do all of those things on there. Um, sausage jokes are the worst. There you go, there's <laughs> another one there. So, all again, um, to be frank, Frank Furter, yeah. uh, so you've got all of the elements that you can pop out, David. It's that, that fun and that easy to play around with. And then it's a case of, it's dead easy because it's a case of putting your 3D foam pads on the back or your double-sided tape. But 3D foam pads is what you need for decoupage. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's going to raise it up, lift yeah. it up, and it gives it dimension. It brings it up to the camera, as you can see there for you. And that's what you want to try and do with these. So when we're looking about decoupage, we want to be able to say, right, well, there's the, uh, the, there's the, 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 the sausage part of it, so that's going to go nicely over there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, the bread would be closer still, so we're going to take, we'll take the little bit of the bread bit there, and then we'll, we'll put that a little bit to closer to the front there, shall we? Uh, I mean, it literally is, uh, Dave, it's all about having the lovely fun that you can. I have to say, you know, joking aside, uh, it's all about having a little bit of a sense of humour and brilliantly to be able to uh, make your cards with that. And also, of course, the cardstock is gorgeous quality. The printing is superb as well. The colours are bright and vibrant, which is what you need on something like this. Something that's really going to stand out. Now, the collection... So, is this the By the Show collection as we're talking about? 
Not the by the show. Okay, the Foodly's collection is in the lead. So that's going to get you all your inserts, all your backgrounds, all your printed backgrounds with sentiments on them, the two sets of stashes, the decoupage stash and the topper stash. Plus, you're going to get your smaller inserts printed on cardstock as well. The whole thing for $62.99 and on three split pays as well. Uh, oh, I haven't introduced the crew today, have I? I forgot to do that. I'd like to get that, that, that introduction done every day so you can see who we're actually working with today. In the studio, Jimmy. In the studio. Stephen. Take a bow. Stephen's on camera too. Jimmy's magic hands for us this afternoon. Shimmy, Jimmy. Uh, and in the gallery, Paul is directing today. And there's Laura, our producer. There you go. That's your team on Hobby Maker right the way through until six o'clock. We all stay doing it until six. Uh, so uh, yeah, lots to look forward to this afternoon. New wreaths on the way in a minute that you're going to absolutely love. Make your own wreaths at home. As you wiener coming along? Oh, we're coming along, David. It's coming along great, really. I think uh, uh, my wiener's doing just fine. Thank so you. To be frank, are you looking at my wiener? Um, there you go. I mean, it is. Uh, and of course, we'll put that. We'll see if we can put that somewhere a little bit uh, uh, somewhere else on when we get to a card, Dave. Right? Should we just get to a bigger card? Let's do a bigger card. And what I'm going to do with this one, I think, is I might just uh, just. Keep, uh, pop that one on there. Shall we have another background, Dave? Okay. I think we'll find another background, shall we? Let's just take what, another background. Background or one with words on? Uh, I'm going to pick one here with the words okay. on, I think, really. Right. Um, I think that one will do nicely. There we go. The colours might appear to clash, but you've got the red in here, the, yeah, and the no, orange stripe. So, again, it's just about picking it all out and sort of thing. So, there are no rules, David, honestly, and it's so easy. I mean, as you can see, I've prepared a little bit, but I haven't prepared all because I wanted to just show the viewers how easy it is just to uh, let your imagination go with this. I mean, these are easy cards. Um, we could, we'll go, during the uh, next show, I know we've got a couple of other things that we're featuring as yep. well with, it, with yep. the kilos. The kilos are back in the stock. The kilos are back. The silver um, card stock, the gold card stock, and the holographic. A kilo box. Each of those available coming up at three o'clock this afternoon. Absolutely, and that equally will work with this collection because that brings in the gold and the silver uh, in its, in, you know, in the plain and the silk fashion as well. So that's mm -hmm. really going to work with this range. Now, I'm also going, David, I'm going to die cut out something on here. So we're going to put that one onto the card there. Is that going to go nicely down? Are you ready for this? It's fixed. It's, it's on. Fixed. It's on. It's gone. It's good. It's good. Uh, we could then we'll put another bit of 3D foam pads on the back of the uh, the actual elements that I've put together there, which is good. So let's just do a little bit of that for us as well, uh, just to make my uh, things go a little bit further. I do tend to cut them in half. I think well, you don't need a big one when a little one will will do just as well there. So we'll put the five onto there and. Uh, Quickly get those done, and then we're going to mount that on. And then what I think we'll do, pick a pair of glasses, David. Which okay. glasses do you uh, do? Let's do the round ones. The round ones, okay. Yeah. We'll cut some round, uh, we're going to cut something out from the round. They're the, they're the most comical ones. Okay. Yes, yeah. I think that would be, that's a good choice, David. Yeah, good choice. You. So let's have a look now. Uh, we want a bit of card for it to go on there as well, so we'll, uh, let's have a quick look at whatever we're going to do with that. That's nicely going to go. Oh, that looks really quite nice. With that's the cool, yeah. yeah. That looks really quite nice. Right, let's uh, have a little bit of a think. What did I cut down? Um, for the glasses, what do you think, Dave? Should we do a colour or shall we do... Well, the adhesive sheet or not? Well, adhesive would make them sticky. We could do that. Let's just let's do that, David. Where's the strip? I don't know where the strip is. A strip of red. I don't know whether... It might not be quite big enough the for the glasses, I don't think. It's just... Oh, it, maybe it'll not. Do, it'll do for the lips, but it wouldn't have done for the, for okay. the glasses. So, uh, well, well, we'll just cut a little bit off, Dave. Let's yeah, just cut not? a little bit off. We've just got to take a little bit of snip of flour. We'll just cut a bit off. That's How many dice do you get in a the set? There's quite a few there. You, well, yeah, oh, you get 31 dies. Wow. And 20 sheets of the adhesive. So again, uh, perfect to be able to work with that. So here we go. There's um, again. If you just want the dies on their own, or if you just want the adhesive sheets on their own, they're all listed on the website individually. If you don't want to go for the big collection, you don't have to, but it's there if you want to save the most money. And basically, on the screen now, we've got the Foodly's big collection. Okay, at 62.99 on three split pays. That's everything Foodly related. Your inserts, your backgrounds, your ta uh, your um, decoupage stash, your topper stash, all of that for £62.99, and we reckon you can make this go a long, long, long way. Are you impressed with that machine? Oh, I love it. This is great. I mean, that's that's only the second thing I've ever put through. I know. But I'm, I'm, in, I'm so impressed with the quality. Again, uh, I it's mean... It's not as straining. It doesn't make... It's not straining, it's not, really not quiet. clanking. Or cl look at that. But look how beautiful that is die cut there. I mean, it's just fabulous. Look, straight Perfect. away. Yeah. Uh, from there, we go. we'll go put that to one side for a moment. And now we've got our lovely spectacles there, already in adhesive. So again, brilliant, because it's already done and stuck out. Look how, there's a good test of a die, uh, die set. I know. Look, just fabulous. How the bits are just popping out of the sheet there, and then we're just going to pop that on there. And then straight away, look, we've got... Some Elton John Ourselves glasses. Elton John glasses, there, there you go, uh, for us on there. So we'll put that one by the back there. It, right. makes it makes it look like a minion. Minions wear those glasses, <laughs> don't they? 
<laughs> it's brilliant. Let's just put that to one side for a minute or two, because let's bring in, bring, bring in uh, the uh, the wiener. Let's bring the wiener in, <laughs> and uh, let's, we're going to peel off the uh, because they're adhesive. Now we don't need to worry about anything of how I'm going to fix this, because obviously because it's adhesive, Dave, you, you don't need to worry about fixing it straight away. It's going to absolutely go straight down there, and that's all we're going to do is just going to peel off the backing uh, papers. That's going to come off lovely like that. Yep. Now we've got another pair of glasses there. Uh, and uh, now we look, we're just going to put that over the top. You can see straight there where the glass is going to Do you think slightly at an angle, David? I think I possibly a bit a of an angle. angle yeah. Bit of a jointy angle so there. We've got these lovely little glasses on there as well. Oh, that is just fabulous, isn't it, really? Uh, and, and, and if you wanted to, um, uh, all tongue-in-cheek, you could actually put them on there to give him the, give him red cheeks. You could do. If you wanted to do so. Should we do that, Dave? You could do. Why not? Yeah, peel off because the back. These are just peel back enough. So um, <laughs> a little bit embarrassed is this wiener, for sure. He's um, got, the, got, got red cheeks. You made it blush. He made, he made, the, he made the sausage blush. Um <laughs> Honestly, it's such a good fun collection. I know, uh, sadly, uh, I was just saying to Dave a little bit earlier on, it's been sort of like the perfect storm, really, because our design team members, uh, Andrea's been on holiday, and, I hope, and she had a great time, but sadly, Celia's had a hospital visitation and a stay in overnight, and, and so has our Denise as well. Um, so it was only lovely Suzanne. I don't know if you've got those cards, David, there. Uh, only our lovely yeah. Suzanne, who's made proper professional cards, which we'll show you in a minute or two, um, because Susan's done... Suzanne's done a brilliant job, but hopefully um, the ladies are feeling much better now that they are, uh, they've been discharged from hospital, I'm pleased to say. Now, I've got to let you know, we've got a small queue on the phone lines. Remember, our call centre is in this building. It's a free phone number to a UK call centre just above me. Um, if you could just bear with them, or better still, order online to avoid any queues. Um, the website address, of course, is www.hobbymaker.co.uk. Or if you want to get in the queue, uh, 0800 001 4433 will get you through. Uh, give, it, give it a minute or so, and you should be able to get through without any trouble. But these are the cards that... Uh, who's done these? Suzanne's done Suzanne. these, uh, Dave, yeah. Uh, and uh, absolutely brilliant. I mean, these, again, showing you what you can achieve with these. You're baking me crazy. You're baking me crazy. Oh, baking. Want a strip? <laughs> <laughs> what does Suzanne make of these? Does she love them as well? Just to say, sorry it's late. You're utterly wonderful. <laughs> Love this. Let's toast your special day. You've then got, let's go glazy together. Glazed donut. Uh, not to be corny, but you're serially wonderful. Um, I like it when you lick me all over. We've done that one. Uh, I can't say that. Uh, then we've got, my love for you is deep fried. How cool are these? Suzanne has had fun doing them. You're going to have fun with them as well. And also, you know, they really are going to stand out. And they make real good, say, tongue-in-cheek Valentine's cards. I know we've only just had Valentine's, but, I mean, it could be uh, a tongue-in-cheek engagement. It could be just for a card for a card's sake. You don't necessarily have to have a romantic uh, connection. Just because, you know, someone's got a good sense of humour, you can send it to them if, you know, they're going to appreciate it. Well, that's the thing, David, is I think it's exactly that. You can, uh, and you, you, if you know somebody at work who's got a bit of a sense of humour, or maybe somebody you've got a crush, on you know have you got a crush on somebody at work and you want to just send them you know i mean you don't have to put any names on there do you really you don't have to put boyfriend on there you yeah. could just send them just send, that you know, anonymously. send them that anonymously and and they'll be looking around the office honestly they will be looking around the office <laughs> open it up and put just a big question mark on the inside of it that'll get them guessing won't it <laughs> It'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Really? <laughs> Question mark. Let's do that, David. Let's send do that. Look, I've got, look, I've got a marker somewhere. I did have a marker pen. <laughs> send it to someone in the office that you work with and see their reaction when it anonymously gets delivered. And they'll try and think, who on earth has sent me this in the office? <laughs> 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 yeah, let's just do that, David. So let's just uh, so let's go. Oh, let's go round there, round there like that. And we're going to go round there, round there like that. And we'll go round there, round there like that. Oh, there we go. And then we could put another little thing over there. there. <laughs> I lost my vocation, didn't I? What are you like? We're doing my barker pen's running a bit dry, but you get the general idea. It's all about having a bit of the fun. Honestly, I'm not a doodlist. Um, that's as good as you're going to get today. But that's the best bit, isn't it? Really. Uh, but you could do that, or you maybe print something out on your on your home PC, put it inside there. Have we still got a queue on the phones at the moment? Okay, great. Everyone's all right now, so you can get through instantly via the free phone number 0800 001 443, or of course, it's always free to order on the website as well at hobbymaker.co.uk. Well, this is going to be back a little bit later on. Probably have another little bit of brief appearance at three o'clock and more of an appearance at five today, but it's the Foodlies. 
Keith tipped us off about this about a week ago. I didn't really realise what the foodlies were, but it's foodlies with tongue-in-cheek humour, saucy seaside postcard sort of humour, and you're going to have so much fun with them. And some of them are really innocent and cute too. Some of them are a little bit naughty, but I mean, that's just a small per, per, you know, proportion of them. So you're going to get uh, how many of these again? You get 48 of the 48. Uh, toppers, David, okay. and 48 of the decoupage sheets. That's the decoupage the sheet set there. Yeah. Uh, easy, to, easy contours to follow. We've given it a little bit of, call it bleed in the industry. So we've got a little bit of bleed on there so if you don't have to be scissor perfect you can get them out to cut them out again great to get maybe the younger crafters involved with as well because they're easy contours to follow or you can use your dies with them those lovely shaped dies you could use those with these as well absolutely brilliant to have a lot of fun with i mean it literally is a case of bringing these foodlies to life well 48 sheets of that 48 sheets of the decoupage how many of the smaller 30 ones? sheets of the mini stash and don't forget okay. that's only 4.99 on its own i would probably say if you're not buying the whole thing definitely put the 4.99 as an extra put an extra one in yeah absolutely. your basket for 4.99 let's cut that in half and you've got an instant topper haven't you Another instant. Two We're trying to bring you the best value we have. Do you know, I've David, I've been to the petrol station to get down oh, here today. Don't, don't tell me about oh that. my goodness me! I've never put as much money into the tank. <laughs> Four ninety nine compared to what's cost my car to be filled up with fuel. I know you. That's a bargain. A bargain. I know your pain. Now these are the backgrounds, all beautifully printed as well. And again, they're cardstock. They're not paper. And then you've got your sentiment backgrounds as well. Again, all solid cardstock, as you can see. They're wonderful, vibrant colours, bright and cheerful. That's what you need. And then these inserts. These are paper but they're beautifully printed and you get 36 of the inserts as well but nothing stopping you using these as toppers if well you know. i would david i would certainly uh we'll, we'll 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 cut them out during the the course of one of the next shows we're going to do a little bit die cutting with those and we'll put those inside the cards but again just to show you how beautiful it is to be able to use those inserts you can use them on side your card as well there we go just to show it like that and of course it doesn't have to always be fixed and folded that is literally what we call a flap insert on there for sure but look how beautiful two different cards uh, both obviously quite nice in size as well complete with the envelopes that come with that little bundle but brilliant uh, just having a lot of saucy fun there Dave. okay so the foodly stash uh, the, the, the big big collection is in the lead that's the most popular of the show if you want to go for buy the show you're going to get all those wonderful holographic sheets you're going to get your card blanks and you're going to get your adhesive backgrounds as well and the die set remember all of that 131.91 no 92.35 saving you in the region of 40 odd pounds off the price and it's on flexi as well or uh, split pay should i say so that's on four split pays of 23.08 that's all you pay today plus your 3.95 pmp but that will be with you in the next few days direct from paper dynamics direct from keith himself and you can have literally hours and hours of fun making them and giving lots of fun as well to people who receive them keith i see you at three Three o'clock, David. Three o'clock for the Kilo, the Kilo show with Keith. That's why we call him Kilo Keith. That's coming up a bit later on. Next, though, we're going to show you how you can make the most gorgeous wreaths for spring, summer, autumn and winter. <laughs> Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P&P. &P. Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, Freesat Channel 807 and Freeview Channel 73. 
You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Hi, I'm Sandra Rushton and I am the owner of Santangle, which is a small business in Lincolnshire where it's only been going uh, three years or so, but uh, we are really, really passionate about what we do. So it's a very mindful form of art. That's its basic core. So if you can hold a pen and draw a line, you can tangle. And it's about that mindfulness, that relaxation, and about you having a moment just for you. But as a result of you having that moment of putting pen to paper, you can create wonderful works of art. We do a lot of live videos, so we're very, very invested in education. We like to have people come to classes, but then, of course, the products that I design, we make ourselves. So we're involved in every step of the way, from the very, very, say, the very first drawing, to how it goes onto the computers, to how it's machined, to even books that we still hand make. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing where we go. It's the start of something new, and I honestly, I feel that. I feel that it's something exciting. And I'm, I'm so glad I'm in at the beginning because I don't know where it's going, but it's only going somewhere good. This is the place for me. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Saturday afternoon on Hobby Maker. Hope you're well. Thank you to Keith. He's back in about an hour's time looking at the kilo boxes that always do really nicely. Uh, now, this I've been looking forward to this show in actual fact. Everyone in this building, outside, inside the studio, has just fallen in love with these wreaths. Uh, you're going to meet a brand new guest in just a second as well, who I had the pleasure of meeting uh, in the office earlier on. Got a lovely story to tell about uh, how she got into this sort of crafting and everything else. But just look at these sort of wreaths. This is an idea as to what you can make in the show today. Look how wonderful these are. Now, wreaths always, I always think wreaths were Christmas, but not anymore. Cre uh, you, you've got spring wreaths, you've got summer wreaths, you've got autumn wreaths, wreaths for any occasion, Halloween wreaths, you name it, you can have wreaths on every single door in your house and they look spectacular. But I think, literally, Jojo, who you're gonna see in a second, has excelled herself with these. It's a mixture of uh, artificial, gorgeous silk flowers and dried flowers as well to make these wreaths. Let me get Joe in straight away, because Joe. Um, sorry that we got your name wrong on the website, by the way. That's absolutely fine. You're Joanne, not Joanna. Yeah, I'm not posh enough to be a Joanne. <laughs> I'm a Jo. <laughs> Tell us your story, because you come to us today from Wales. Yes, I do. And you've got like a, a store, but a community yes, involvement. Yes, I've got a lovely little social enterprise um, with four community aims down in South Wales Valleys. Um, we are set up to support people every walk of life, yep. male, female, children, 155 years old, whoever, um, to come to us, grow, develop and learn through art and craft, but in whatever way they choose. Right. So be that socially, physically, emotionally, however. And of course, we all know that art and craft in any form brings us our own therapy. Totally. So that's why my passion went straight into developing that social enterprise. And wreath making is something that you've been wanting to do well, for a long time. Well, years and years ago, when my children were sort of that size, um, I actually was an assistant florist oh. locally to us when I lived in England. Um, and I just absolutely fell in love with the softness of colour, the vibrancy on the opposite side, the perfumes, the smells. And of course, when we go into using dried and silk, don't think that you don't have those beautiful smells because you can actually add essential oils to all of these. Good idea, yeah. So you can still get the beautiful smells. I mean, we've got lavender in some of the kits, so you get the, sm the perfume of the lavender. 
Uh, but on the silk flowers, for instance, I would always put essential oils onto those. OK, well, these are the kits that you can make something as beautiful as this. This is the one that um, Jojo has actually made up for us. Yours will come in kit form, but that's where the crafting comes in. That's where the actual beauty of putting all together and making something beautiful for your home or as a housewarming gift for somebody else. You're going to get both sizes of the wreath and it's a natural wreath as well. Yeah, these are grape vine wreaths, yep. wreaths, grape vine wreaths. Um, so I've gone, I've tried to go for as natural as possible. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we live in a world where we have to be conscious of the products that we're using. Yeah. So I try to think about where we're getting these from and how they, how they are produced in the first place. Lots of people, and I have been donated some beautiful twisted willow. I've got to soak it before I can turn it into reeds, though it takes a little while. <laughs> okay, well that might be coming in the future, you never yeah. know. But yeah, the, in the kit you're going to get basically the large and the smaller size of the wreath, and you're going to get all of the flowers and the foliage that you can see here as well. So if I just show you what you're going to get in kit form, and Craft of Hearts is the name of your company. Yes, that's yep. right. Craft of Hearts is, is the social enterprise. We, we've got a bricks and mortar shop down in Wales, and right. that's where we do all of our teaching and group work as well. Okay, let me just show you what you get in the kit then. You get both large and small of the wreaths themselves you've got beautiful ribbon in blue and green the yellow of course of the sunflowers and also we were talking earlier on that you planned this a long long time ago long before what's yeah, going on in the world is, yeah. is happening unfortunately but um, as a nod you know the, the the blue and the yellow is very significant at the moment for this absolutely um, and one of the things that we are going to do when we come down to the end of the counter you'll see we've got a mini kit um, in the blue and yellow and the end profits from that, once all of the costs are, are covered, every bit of profit from that will go to a fundraiser that we're running at Craft of Hearts. Okay, and that's at the end of the counter. Yep. We'll show you that towards yep. the end of our little preview. But if you want to go for this one, uh, it's 39.99, and the product code is IP3161. It's the first time Jojo's been here on the channel. It's the first time we've had this collection as well. So new crafts, new products, uh, new hobbies as well. Yes. Now, okay. We don't have a massive quantity of these, obviously, because these are all put together by your, yourself. Yes, exactly. OK, and what can we do, launch-wise, on this Saturday afternoon? How <laughs> low can we take this? Everybody is going to take and get the lowest price, enough to make two beautiful sunflower reeds. We predict this is probably going to be the most popular. $29.99 gets you everything. And you hand-source all of these and put them together yes. in the kit. Yes, absolutely. Everything that you see here, I've already replicated the stock that we're holding. Um, that's ready, bagged up, ready to come out straight away. Right. Um, the rest of it is sourceable within a very quick time. It, we, we literally haven't got a lot of storage space, so we have to do things a little bit. Where can you see this being in your home? Is that going to be uh, on the kitchen door? Is it going to be on the lounge door? Bedroom door? It, it, or even not on a door. It could be on, on, a, on a wall or something like that. But twenty nine ninety nine for all of that is a fantastic price. Uh, and it's uh, product code IP3161. Okay. Now, we've actually got two shows with uh, Joanne today, which is fantastic. One now and one at four o'clock. So we've got lots of time, hopefully, to show you how to put these together. If you're thinking, oh, I haven't got a clue. Let's go on to the next two. Now, this is, again, I, the only difficulty I've got is choosing which ones I want because they're all stunning. This, I think, is certainly one of my favourites as well. This is using dried flowers, yeah? This is using the dried, yeah. It's absolutely so pretty, so spring-like. Oh, totally. Look at these. Again, it's a kit. So you won't get them made up like this. You will get the, the plain wreaths. Um, you'll get everything that you need to actually make them, apart from glue. Uh, but you get the dried flowers. They come beautifully wrapped up. You get hessian for the, uh, the bows, of course, the hanger. Uh, you also get the wire as well to, cl uh, to actually kind of um, secure them all together. But don't they look a thing of beauty? I've never seen anything quite like that. I've, whilst I've been putting those kits together at the shop, I've actually had a lot of people asking me to make them for them as yeah. well. So I, it's, it's clearly something that people like. Beautiful colours for spring and Easter as well. Definitely. And again, this is ready to come out straight away. $29.99. Uh, this is LB3164. Already we've got Deborah coming in in Leicestershire, Julian Devon, Alison in West Yorkshire going for this particular one, which I'm not at all surprised. It's just going to get busier and busier for this. Really beautiful. You're going to have so much fun and also so much enjoyment and relaxation putting it all together. Just, just seeing these dried flowers makes you smile and makes you happy. Look at these. All of these elements, again, the blue and the yellow there, and that beautiful beige. I'm not sure what these flowers are. But. The, 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 um, the small ones, do you know what? I really, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. We've got lavender. We've definitely got lavender in there. Right. 
I've called it lavender and lemon tone because my brain has gone a bit empty as far <laughs> as the names are concerned. Don't worry. And uh, as far as kind of maintenance, do you have to look after them in any certain way? Um, what I would um, pre 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 predominantly do is use the dry flowers for indoors. Yeah. Okay. Um, if they get windy, bashed around in the wind, or if they get rained on, you are going to see some damage yeah. there. So always think about either an in, in your home or in your indoor garden space. Right. You know, when you've got a covered garden space, beautiful there. Um, fantastic for wedding venues, and by the way. And does it take long to do this? Um, about an hour and a half. Oh, right. Okay. It depends how you, how you are with your wiring. Right. And if you're having a clumsy day like I'm having today, it might take a bit longer, OK? Well, demonstrations to come <laughs> up how to put this together. But if you would like that kit, if that's what you've fallen in love with, and I must admit I have too, uh, you get both of them for under £30. It is on split pay as well, so you only have to... Oh, is it split pay? Yes, it is. Uh, £14.99, your first split pay of two, OK? And that's LB3164. A few more to show you, then we'll come on to a demonstration. Now, this one is a single wreath but oh my word look mm. you've got this beautiful black rose in the center this is a, again a silk flower isn't it yeah that's silk and look at all the other beautiful silk flowers on here too so again it is a kit form they're all kits in the show today and this is something that's really kind of been massively popular recently people love the ideas of not only having wreaths in their home but making them making them unique you don't have to make it exactly the same no. as joanne has you can you know put your own twist on it if you want to uh, but there are full instructions and, and yeah I've, I've done a little card that you can see at the side there so um thanks to esther who printed it for me because I'm rubbish with that too um, but we've got a little ingredients and how to yeah. um, I am available on social media if anybody gets stuck with any of this That's good. just finds me on social media, ask me the questions, I'm always around. See, this is what we're all about here at Hobby Making, not just the big corporations and companies, but the independents as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, and, and I'm never, if, if somebody messages me and says, I really can't remember how you wired that, or how you glued this, or I did this, what went wrong, or whatever, just just let me know. Okay, well that one is $24.99, if you love the drama of the black rose and the white flowers <laughs> there as well. Um, now the next one, if pink is more your taste, uh, then we have the same sort of idea, but with pink silk flowers. And again, they're stunning. Everyone has fallen in love with these today. That pink in the peony is the, is the one everyone really loves. Wow. <laughs> Look at the size of it. It's huge. Mm. But beautiful quality, beautifully done. And again, it just adds such a warmth um, to a home as well. Having something like this uh, as decoration, whether it's at the bottom of the stairs or on a door somewhere, uh, wherever you choose to put it, it just means that, that there's love in that house. Absolutely. And, and I always say, and it's on the card, hang it where you're going to see it most yeah. because be proud of your handiwork and love the colours that you've chosen. Actually, this in the bedroom. But beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Stunning. Well, this one is just $24.99, VY3164. Maybe you've got a special person in your life to make a present for, but you're not quite sure what to get and how to do it. This could be the perfect solution. Now, which one's most popular? The sunflower, the one that we showed you at the beginning. We did predict that earlier on. Well, also, it was the first one we showed you. So the sunflower <laughs> is in the lead at the moment. Um, a couple more. Now, this is another popular one, I'm sure. This is a heart, so a wonderful gift maybe for a couple, maybe that's just got together or um, civil partnership, wedding, um, wedding anniversary, or just you want to give it to mum. Maybe, I know Mothering Sunday is tomorrow and we can't get it to you in time for that, but this, you could tell her, is on the way Absolutely. in addition to the box of chocolate. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. Now, this is also so affordable, just $24.99. That's how it comes. It comes as components. And this isn't the same as the other wreaths, is it? This is No, it's a heart-shaped wreath and it's rattan. Right. So all of these wreaths are, all of the wreaths can go outdoors. Yeah. The artificial, the, the dried, keep that one indoors. Um, the silk can go outside, okay? okay. Um, I would always suggest that you secure it well top and bottom, simply because when, when the wind blows, you don't want that knocking on your door no. and setting the dog barking. Really We've well, actually really. got um, some ribbon on the top and on the bottom as yes. well, so you can tie it quite yes. easily. Maybe if you've got like a sunroom or a conservatory or something, that would look lovely too. But it's just soft, romantic, uh, beautiful thing. It really is. And the price of this is just $24.99 as well. But remember, it does come as a kit. So you get all the components separate that have been sourced by Joanne. Really beautifully done, that one. Uh, well, they're all beautifully done. Then we're going to go on to our penultimate, I believe, which is the next double. That's so right. this is another stunner. 
It's What's a little bit, this one, the, the story behind this is that I'm totally messy in usually in all of my crafts and everything was quite neat and tidy until I found that rattan looked quite nice and it makes it a bit wilder really. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so the, not rattan, sorry, the, um, the raffia, 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 the raffia. So I've added the raffia to that. Um, <laughs> it's slightly smaller wreath sizes than the first two, um, hence the difference in size. But again, you get everything in there that goes with. I'm just thinking, you know, if you live in a city and you yearn for a little bit of the countryside to be in yeah. your home, what better than a wreath like this? It is kind of like um, a meadow, isn't it? Yeah. On a wreath, that yeah, one. I should it. call it that, meadow wreath. <laughs> 24.99 gets you both wreath sizes, all the raffia and of course all those beautiful dried flowers in uh, greens and purples, oranges and whites. And the last one is what Joanne was talking about. Now, all of Joanne's profits from this are going to? They're going to go to um, a, an appeal that we're running for, a, a fundraiser that we're running for Ukraine. Okay. Fantastic. So we're actually going to be putting on a large event for um, kids and adults. Um, it's going to be called Crafts for Ukraine. Um, they're going to pay a certain amount of pennies. We're going to put 50p towards re reproducing, you know, product and everything else is going to go straight into the fund. Seven pounds, 99 pence. And as we said before, it's, it's, it's totally by chance that the blue and yellow theme yeah. was was yeah. Design, decided for yeah, this room absolutely um, really lovely and it's such an affordable purchase as well seven pounds and 99 pence i put that in the kitchen window all the absolutely a lot of people with holiday homes do camping that kind of thing small enough for them to take and, and put them into their caravan or their, their tent awning and that won't take long to make at all, no, will it? Not at all it's great for a rainy day when you are on holiday by the way <laughs> well remember if you have bought anything with us uh, today uh, you've paid your 3.95 pmp you don't have to pay any more postage so that could be delivered to your door for just 7.99 if you've already bought something if you haven't bought anything yet and that's the first thing that you'd like to buy today or anything that's in this show please do feel free to sign up to us it's free to do that loads and loads of new customers joining us at hobby maker every single day all we need is your uh, email address and a password you can do that on the home page of our website which is hobbymaker.co.uk if you'd rather do it on the phone with an operator they can register you as well so that's free to call us 0800 001 443 just tell them that dave said for you to call they'll make you a, a customer and of course then you can apply for your five pound voucher by accepting emails from us in the past that way you'll never miss a show again but what a great show this is we've got some fantastic messages coming through as well already uh, now this is from tom in merseyside what an amazing selection joe is such a great person who shares all her knowledge to anyone that asks oh thank, thank you, you tom. tom great to hear from you that's my afternoon. tom tom <laughs> another one from linda in oxfordshire she says hi joe what a wonderful concept wreaths for all occasions such pretty colors loving all of the kits linda uh, linda angeletta thank you oh that. thank you linda and one more from Joanne. Joanne in Essex says, great to see Joanne Hobbymaker. Such stunning kits, Jojo. Oh, thank you. Brilliant. There's a lot of love out there for you. No, they're just, uh, these people are amazing. Old crafters are amazing at the yeah. end of the day. We're all in, we're all into craft because we love colours, textures, sharing, creating. Yeah. And, and the more we build that into our world, especially now more than ever, the better off we're going to be. And so often we craft and we make cards and yep. cards have got a shelf life. They then get put maybe in a yep. drawer, something like this. It's out Absolutely. for years. Absolutely. And once you've got the knack, and, and this is one of the, the principles of me being with you today, is that all of these kits are easy make. Yeah. Okay. Um, they are basics, if you want to call it basic, but I call it easy make. They're going to give you we're going to give you the how to's to start off with now as we go through the year we're going to get a little bit more, more difficult more we're going to be adding different elements in we're going to be looking at different themes mm -hmm. we're going to be looking at more ribbon more natural who knows who knows what i'm going to bring around you may even get me do i dare say it go on Doing a bauble wreath at Christmas. Oh, we were talking about do that. Do I dare oh. say that? Don't <laughs> hold me to it, guys. Right. It's a right tricky one to do. <laughs> now, the 799 one is not surprisingly flying. Um, and remember, all of uh, Jojo's profits will go directly to that charity that she mentioned earlier on, which is a lovely thing to do. Um, this, though, is in the lead. This was our first, first set of, of wreaths that we showed you uh, about 15, 20 minutes ago. And I, I, I'm not at all surprised these are proving so popular. They're gorgeous. They're such bright, cheerful wreaths. We're going to put the details back on the screen for you. You're going to get both. But remember, they start life like this and become this. 
but you have to do it. And that's the fun bit. <laughs> I mean, if you bought it already done, there's no fun in that. <coughs> it's a lovely thing to have, but you know, making it yourself makes it more special. And remember, we're dropping this price down to 29 99 for both of these. And some flowers just make me smile, they always do. Absolutely. There are so many people's favourite flower. Yeah. Um, and I think that's one of the things that's touched so, so many people's hearts right now because it just brings it right home to, to where we see. Everything is so visual for us with a sunflower. It's bright, it's strong, it's vibrant. Optimistic. And optimistic, it carries hope, doesn't it? So yeah, that's exactly where we are with it. Okay, what are we gonna do, the small one or the large one? Okay, I think we're gonna start with the large. Where's my glasses? Oh, flipping neck, I've left them behind. Now we're in for a uh -oh. bit of a journey. No <laughs> specs on me yet. Oh mine? no, it's all right, they're in my pocket. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Honestly, not a good start. Okay, so we're going to start with the large one. Okay. okay. Now, in here, you have your... Um, do we actually have... No, we don't actually have burlap in that one. Put that away. We <laughs> Burlap's in this one, isn't it? That is, yeah, it is. So what we've done is I've coordinated some ribbons, okay? I wanted the white from the flowers, the blue from the flowers, and I wanted the green from the foliage. Whenever you're creating a wreath, mm -hmm. always work out where on your wreath... Am I overhead? Yeah. Yeah, you are. So um, are we going to look at putting the ribbon... Which, which part of the wreath looks... Because these are natural, mm. so they're all slightly different shape, OK? So uh, where am I going to put this? I think I might put my ribbon here, OK, at this point. OK. So I'm going to turn it that way. That's my top. Mm -hmm. Now, you can put your ribbon on first if you want to. However, I'm very good at knocking cups of coffee over. Oh, me too. So if I flip my ribbon around and it goes either in my coffee or I knock my coffee over and I wreck my ribbon, I don't want to do that, OK? So I'm actually going to start with my flowers. Now, if I look at the original... Can I take the original, yeah, sure. the, the made one? Thank you, Dave. What I do is I record the show as well. I really would. If you yeah, want absolutely. To do that, record absolutely. the show. You can watch it back when your kit arrives in the next Absolutely. Few days. So, and my husband is recording, so if you do get stuck and you need to give me a shout, I'll be able to look back at it as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, in here, we have got in this wreath one, two, three sunflowers. Yep. We still stick with the golden rule of three if we can. So, we're going to have a look. Um, I'm going to keep this one. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Don't worry that the leaves slide off. We're using glue gun for this. Okay. Now, I do believe that we've got Hobby Maker's own glue guns somewhere on the website. So we do. It's on the website now. And uh, If you're in the market for a glue gun, I bought one myself the other day. Uh, have a little look. It's coming up on the screen now for you. It's in stock. It's $29.99. And that's the, uh, that's the code there, S-A-D-R-96, okay? okay? So it's our very own. So I, use, I always use a glue gun um, when I'm doing silk flowers. Mm -hmm. um, you can wire them. There is no reason you can't wire them. However, I just prefer, because this is going to go on my front door, I want a very solid hold yeah. on these. So I'm going to go with these. I'm going to put that one away over there. I'm going to go with these sunflowers, okay? I'm going to go with this blue. And I'm going to go with some of this. Now, I may not use all of these. It just depends. I may not replicate this exact shape. OK. OK. So we're just going to go for it. Now, your basics that you need for a silk um, arrangement, you're going to need your glue gun. Mm -hmm. You're going to need your glue sticks. Yep. I always use chunky ones. I'm safer with chunky ones. If I use a small one, I burn myself a lot. <laughs> um, always have a few stirrers. Okay. Or pokey sticks or whatever you have at home. You can buy these really cheaply. You can just buy packets and packets of them. You will need a pair of scissors. Right. And for this one, you will need your snips. Okay. Now, I've used these great big industrial snips, which are very ugly, uh, because I actually got a blister on my hand from cutting all these flowers. Oh, really? Up. Okay. So I've had to use the big ones. I yeah. I mean, I've cut hundreds and hundreds if of people flowers. People watching have got jewelry snips. No, jewelry okay, snips are absolutely perfect. Right. So I usually use this size. So these are your jewelry snips. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, like I say, my hands are a bit worn out from doing all of these. Because so, <laughs> it takes a while to stand and sniff all of this yeah. stuff in hundreds. Anyway. I digress. Right, so let's have a look. Now, first things first, let's think about how we want to present the flowers on the wreath. Do we want to bring them up the side? Mm -hmm. Do we want them across the bottom? First things you need to know, if you're going to put an arrangement at the side of the wreath, it will weigh one side down when it hangs. Makes sense. Okay? Yeah. 
So what we're going to look at is if you're going to do that, flip over when you're done, get a little pebble out of the garden and just poke it in amongst the vine that. and it will balance it. it will, it's like a counterbalance then, okay? So I'm going to have a look. I've got to remember I've got to work next to me because normally when I do Facebook Lives, I have to work upside down because right. I haven't got a professional setup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can see this will slide up and down until I glue it in place. I don't want all of this. Okay. This is where everyone should wear safety glasses. I did this in the house last night and my husband was sitting at the other end of the room and the dog looked at him as if to say, what the heck was that? Because it flew past the dog's <laughs> nose. <laughs> now, if you're unsure about your composition, just like any artwork, have a little play around, okay? So I'm just going to have a look at this. So don't glue it. Until don't glue it yet. No, don't glue it yet. Just chop things up first and foremost. Always get rid of your... I have got a bin down here, so I don't want to put it on the floor. But um, this, this blue will come apart quite easily on the small pieces as well. So you can actually... And they're silk as well, are they? These are silk. Yep. And they're, these, they're on a plastic stem. That's something I want to show you when we get to the gluing bit, OK? Mm -hmm. So I want to talk about that separately. I'm going to leave one piece large, and then I've got several small pieces. OK, so they're there. Um, I think I fancy this coming in to under here. Just make sure you look at the way the flowers are sitting and the way they're, they're which way they're directing as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. I would like to point out that all of these kits, although they are identical in makeup, they will um, vary slightly because the the reeds are a slightly different shape. The flowers sit differently. Mm -hmm. They're not, you know, it's not easy to just make them. Well, that, make, that yeah, makes every single exactly, week unique. Exactly. Exactly absolutely right now we've got this whopping great sunflower leaf i couldn't leave this out so i think that's probably going to go in somewhere like that and then we'll bring some white in because i do like the white mm. so we we'll chop that down a little bit is that like white wisteria it's like a wisteria yeah it is um and some of them i've put cherry blossom in as i love cherry blossom yeah. we've got so much cherry blossom on the on the trees at the moment mm. where we live, especially now that the heat's coming through. I'm quite liking, I'm already quite liking just this composition. Yeah, me too. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it like this. I'm gonna make it slightly smaller than that one, just because I like the way it feels. I think so often people think that wreaths have to be completely full yeah. all the way around, they don't. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. We will get to that further down the year. You're going to see some really big, hefty things. But let's, let's, just, just, let's just keep things nice and easy for today. Um, I just want everyone to be able to achieve this. Now, this big leaf, I can bend a little bit. Mm -hmm. And all I'm going to do, if this glue gun is going to behave for me, let's pull that out, is put, let me see, can you see? I'm actually going to put a dot of glue. Mm -hmm, come on. Give it a push. Just behind that leaf mm -hmm. for now. And I'm just going to put that in place. This is where your stirrer sticks ah. or whatever you use come in handy. Better than using your fingers. I don't want you putting your fingers close to this because the heat of that glue obviously will travel through this fabric. Yeah. So even though you won't get the glue on your fingers, hopefully, um, you will find that gets pretty yeah. hot there. I'm going to put another little dot here. Much better to use small dots of glue than great big globs simply because um, if you use great big globs and then all of a sudden you decide you actually want to put something underneath mm -hmm. as is the way of flower it's arranging way, really it? it's yeah. going to get in the way you're not going to so you're going to have to really struggle around it um, i'm not on the glue there there we are just hold that there for it a second it doesn't want to hold down so i'm going to break my rule and hold it with my fingers at home, it okay. would have... It, it'll yeah. be perfect. Because it's in the studio. Absolutely. I'm not going to fuss about it. It always happens in the studio. This one, I am going to... I want that. Can you see? I can either have it sort of sitting up like that. Yeah. Or I can bring it over to the side a little bit and open those out. So instantly, we get a little bit of a wider arrangement there. Can you see that on the camera? Mm -hmm. Can we... If I, if I do that, how does that work? Beautiful. Yeah. So I'm just going to glue this in place as well. Don't worry, at this stage, don't worry where you see lots of stalk. Okay, okay we'll, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll use different items to just um, cover that away. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour a tiny amount of glue into there 
So it will kind of seep through and hold everything in place, mm -hmm. okay? So that's those two bits. Now my blue. I'm going to change where I had it. I think I'm going to tuck this in behind. Am I going in behind there? That was hot glue. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> that burn yourself. Yes. Do I like that coming away? I like that coming down there. That's, that's where that's going to go. Okay, so can you see how I like this to be, even though it's artificial flowers, I like the organic process. If you bought three or four of the same, you could make each and every one of them completely different. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And on each one, you'll have stuff left over. So if you bought the um, wreath bases that we've got on at the end of the, sh the, end of the, the, the thingy, the counter, um, because we've got a couple of packs of, of wreath yeah, bases on their own. Actually. We've got the wreath bases on their own. We've got the large and small, and we've also got the two small ones. So if you just want to do your own thing with yeah. the wreaths, they are available. They're on the website as well right now. So there's the large and small. Okay. We'll bring those on the screen fairly soon for you, but they are available and they are on the website if you want to add them into your order. So on that one, I quite like, I'm not sure if I want, I think I want my third sunflower in. I, I think I do. I think I'm going to put it like that. So the white's going to come in here, and this white is going to snuggle in over the top of those stems. If I take it away, you can see the stems here. Yep. Yeah. So we're just going to take off those two bottom, or at least the one bottom. Don't be afraid to cut these about. But guys, if you're going to cut it about, don't throw anything away. No, everything's because got because if you like so many of us and you do multiple crafts, even your really bashed up flowers that have been in the bottom of a box for years, stick them on some mixed media, cover them up, yep. gesso, spray, away we go. So that's going to go in there. This is how quick you can make your wreath happen. I'm, I'm really impressed. I thought they'd be quite tricky to do, but they're not at all. The more you add on, the more space you want to fill. Yeah the more it's going to take your time um, and patience. Right. Um, with some of the reeds, as we come through the year, we'll be doing some hessian wrapping. That kind of thing mm. takes a lot of time, mm. you know? So it depends, and I, I literally want to get people encouraged and enabled to do some of this for themselves. I really do. Having said that I only wanted a few bits on, my wreath is now growing, <laughs> okay? It's looking great. It's, it, will, it might grow so that I end up using everything. You don't know yet. <laughs> Who knows? I just want to get this one wreath done if we've got time to see it through. How many wreaths have you got in your house? Um, in my house, none. None? No. Outside? <gasps> none. <laughs> <laughs> How bad is that? Did you have to ask me that question? <laughs> you have to um, take that one home with you and pop it somewhere. Yeah, I actually, I actually have been looking around the house whilst I've been doing this. My house is crazy. I do rescue dogs. I do my, my crafting from there. I do my lives from the house. Um, all, a lot of this work has been done from the house as well. well everybody here wants one. Um, do they? <laughs> okay, the whole got the order book open. Let's go. Okay, now I actually quite like that as is, I think. Let me just have a look. Yeah, I agree with you. Right? It's lovely. I do. I think I like that. So now we're going to look at ribbon. Now, attaching ribbon can be an absolute nightmare. It could just, you just get so worked up about where it's going and what it's supposed to do. So let's just have a little, little think. Now, on this one, all I've done, let's bring this one in. All I've done is I've pushed the ribbon through some of the vine at mm -hmm. back and I've just tied a double knot. Easy. Easy peasy. There are other um, reeds on the table where I've gone through and made a loop this way. Yeah. I personally, I personally, just my eye, nobody else's, I don't think that suits this wreath. Right. It's too, okay. too wide, too broad. It's too broad and it's too set right. for me. This is, this is much more loose and open. So with it, when it comes to your Christmas wreaths, yeah, you, have, you, you like your big ribbon yeah. and your big bow in totally. the middle. But I want this to be gentle and loose and soft. What a fab so. new craft and hobby this is. Maybe you do wreath making already, but if you haven't taken it up, these kits are the perfect way to have a go. 
because this makes me smile. Have you not noticed? Yeah. It makes me smile. Me too. It just, I just, every time. I was going around the warehouse and I was actually on a Zoom, Zoom call with um, my business partner and um, just in this project. And I was like, she's like, why are, you, why are you grinning like that? I'm just like, I just absolutely adore flowers, whether they're real or not, and it makes me smile. So I've actually laid my two smaller ribbons over the wider ribbon, okay? I'm just going to snip, just going to give it a good old chop. I'm going to turn the wreath over. Don't worry, you're not going to crush the flowers, mm -hmm. okay? I do love that colour combination as well. It's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? It is beautiful. It just brings the whole thing together, I feel. And then I'm just going to find, glasses on, I'm just going to find a little space here, wiggle about with my fingers. It could be that I go through one of these wrap mm -hmm. sections. Let me just see where my flower is. There. Let's have a look. A little bit of trial and error. Yep, you just have to wiggle away until you find the right position. If it doesn't want to lift up, just keep wiggling. Get your stick and poke. Okay. And that's not going to work on that one. Of course it's not. Why would it? <laughs> Why would it when you're on live telly, eh? It's not going to. There we go. We'll go through that bit there then. So this is a little bit lower down. That's fine. Has that one gone as well? What I do tend to do, yeah, that one's gone as well. Okay, I'm going to stop faffing. We're going to go one piece at a time and I'm going to poke it through on the cross because that's the, that's the stronger piece of vine that's gone through there, okay? Yeah. There we go. We're just going to, there we are. One at a time, one. Poke through, go on. Somebody Lovely having more than one tail, really, having like three strips of ribbon yeah. just makes it more... I think so. And I think, um, I think you know, as I said at the, at the very start, we, we stick with the rule of odds. So it's threes, ones, threes, fives. And that's the same rule as for flower angels. Absolutely. Yeah. Flowers, any, anything that you've got around your home as well. So if you're, if you're doing home decor, um, a three of something will always look better, to, more pleasing to the... I think, was it Picasso? that did this, been, that, sure. that, that initially um, created the rule of three. I'm sure it was, it's either da Vinci or Picasso, Picasso I think it was Picasso, um, who um, instigated the rule of three. Somebody will probably phone in and tell us, I hope. There we go. So, last bit. We just want to make these ribbons attractive at the end. On the large ribbon, this is something we all seek to do with our crafting. Fold that ribbon in half, hold it from the outside edge on the diagonal, snip. And there's your perfect dovetail. And there's your pip. Oh, is it a dovetail? I think so. I'd call it a V, but then I'm not posh. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that, maybe. There we go. And on these ones, we're just, I'm not going to faff around on the little ones doing the, the dovetail. I'm just going to cut on the V and then this one is done. I just think it's such a beautiful thing and it's, it's taken less than, what, 30 minutes? I'm just going to do that, that big one, that big wreath. Let me just grab the, uh, the other one from you just for a second. Yep. Just to remind everybody, if you just switched in, I just switched on even, just got in and turned the TV on. We're talking wreath making with Joanne today. Came in all the way from Wales and of course she has her own shop in Wales which is very much a community uh, base and she's very much a, a community um, champion and this is something that she wanted to bring to us at Hobby Maker. Wreath making is not just a Christmas activity, it's an all year round activity and the kits are just magical. They really are and they don't take long to do and you know you don't have to put the glue on them until you're happy with the, your composition so there's no risk at all. You can snip all these beautiful uh, silk flowers into whatever design you wish but I think they're just a beautiful thing. They look good actually side by side together. They do and Lovely. one underneath the other. Yeah what uh, small one on the top yeah or? whichever way round if people like yeah love it so this kit is only 29.99 for two wreaths but remember you get you get all of the uh, the silk flowers as well and remember if you do want the wreaths on their own they are available as a separate pair um, and we'll do those now 
Uh, they're not on the website yet, but they will be when we show them to you now. So if you just want the plain wreaths, if you've got your own, if you've got your own flowers that you want to put onto these wreaths or, or your own ideas as to what you want to do with them. So you're going to get the large one and you're going to get one of the small ones together for $7.99. Silly pennies. I put those in cheap. Really, really good price. PW3174, if you need another couple of reeds, there they are. They're now on the website for you. The way it works at the moment, fairly soon it's going to be all the products that we have available will be on the website, not for a day or two. Uh, we were hoping yesterday that was going to happen. Sadly, because of Gremlins, it didn't. Um, but as soon as we show you something on the screen, it will appear, of course, on the website. So if you want those two plain wreaths, they're really affordable at $7.99. If you want the two smaller ones, we've got those available for you as well. They're so cute. They're almost like little bird's nests. They're aren't they? so cute. Five ninety nine for two. And actually, you just said something there. Now, for Easter for children, if you don't fancy flowers, yep. but you want something to replicate a bird's nest, and your children are allowed lots of chocolate and mm -hmm. like little eggs that come in bags, then you could put those down on a saucer, build in your eggs. Nice and a few little bits of whatever you want to put. Yeah, multi, it's up to you. Multi-purpose, and it's all natural yeah. too. Five ninety nine. that's AW3158, your item number. That's on the website right now for you as well. Now, we've also got a Lucky Dip, Now I don't know about this. The Lucky Dip are the flowers that are behind you on the podium ah, there. Right. So that is... I didn't is, know it was called that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Excuse me, that is a little bag that I put together because, again, we've got the reeds, We've got wire, we've got flowers. I wanted people to have extras if they want to. Okay. If they want to, so for all of the kits that you've got here, um, you've got enough flower to do a section, what I call a sectional display, mm -hmm. okay? If you want to add additional flowers, then you have that opportunity. So there's a, a bag of beautiful quality, same quality. Is it exactly what you get or content? No, this is why it's a lucky dip. Right, okay. This is why it's a lucky dip. You'll get that quantity, may, but it may quantity, be slightly different. Quantity, may, quantity will always be the same. Quality will always be the same. Colour and style may vary okay. slightly. So okay. if you want to buy a couple of them or three or four of them to build up a collection, why not? Uh, you only pay one PMP of three ninety five. That's for the whole day's orders, no matter how many things you've bought, and that's just nine pounds and forty nine pence. And they're silk flowers. That's the guarantee. GY three one nine five. We're calling it a lucky dip because contents will vary, but the quantity will be the same. Okay. So that's some other things that are now on the website. If you want to go and have a little look at that, it's hobbymaker.co.uk. Also, it's a free phone number. If you've never ordered with us before and you'd like to become a member, you can do it on the phones with the operator. They'll do that for you. 0800 001 4433. Or you can do it yourself on the website, uh, hobbymaker.co.uk. And just basically put your email address in, make up a password that you'll remember, and that's you in, and you can order from us at any time you wish to. OK, so those are the sunflower reeds. Now, the other reeds, remember, that we've got on the show, they're all out here on the counter. Um, should we quickly run through them again for you? Yeah, okay, you go through see. those. Okay, just in case you've just switched on and missed the part of the show, let's just uh, get these caught up. I, I love these. I absolutely adore these. Rustic, rural. Shall, shall I show you how to do that on the first of the next show? Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah, so uh, that's going to be at four o'clock. Yeah. So if you want to see how to actually make these, it, it almost makes it look as if it's, it's, it's spinning because of the way that the actual dried leaves have been placed in the wreath. You get the larger and the small, just like with the sunflower. And this is $29.99. You get all those dried flowers as well. You get your twine and you also get your hesse in there to make uh, the fantastic, um, you know, the, the ribbon to hold, to hang it up with. But I just love, again, the colour combination is superb, but that real country effect, that real taste of country and possibly a city environment, instantly it takes you to the countryside, doesn't it? And that's on split paid. So you can spread the cost of this if you want to into two payments of $14.99 or pay in full for $29.99. That's those. Then we move on to our black flower. Now remember, they're all separate. So how you put it together is entirely up to you. Um, but this is showing you what it could look like if you follow the same way and same designs uh, that uh, Joanne's done. But isn't that just beautiful? So now, when it's I do want to say, Flowers aren't only for girls. No, of course. Flowers are for boys. Mm -hmm. lots, of, lots of men love the bright flowers. But also, um, I just wanted to put something a little bit darker in so that we could create something a little bit more masculine should we 
require. Mm -hmm. You're turning that always round to see which way you like it best, aren't you? Well, it you? looks good always, yeah. to be honest. There's, there's no right or wrong way. I mean, obviously, having the tassels dangling at the bottom is lovely, but you could also incorporate that into That's being right. what yeah. you hang it with. Yeah, yeah. It's great, isn't it? So $24.99 for the kit to make that. And again, all the elements are beautifully put together by Joanne for you. But if you're not really into black and white, you prefer maybe more... Um, brighter colours like pinks for example than this next one this peony like you said the peony steals the show doesn't it yeah absolutely. really gorgeous i've absolutely. had so many requests for the peony wreath at work i'm just going to be wreathing forever i think <laughs> look at that <laughs> isn't it gorgeous so this again they all come with uh, certificates and little instruction booklets but of yeah. course best thing to do record the show as and when or well, when your kit arrives not as when your kit arrives, you can then play back the show, of course, and uh, follow Joanne's instructions and tips on the demonstrations. But all these flowers will be included. You get the ribbon included as well. You get the beautiful wreath. But remember, it all comes in kit form like that. So there we go. So that's $24.99 YV3164. Moving on to another favourite. Look at this. This is actually rattan, uh, the sort of... Um, the sort of wood that you expect to find in like garden furniture that yep. sort of thing uh, but it's been made into this beautiful beautiful kind of light gray heart and then of course the flowers to decorate it quite quite stunning so there's the heart plane that's how it will come to you and then you get all these beautiful um was that um you've got cherry blossom, cherry blossom. you've got hydrangea yep. in there you've got your ivy your other peony yep beautiful and of course all your ribbon and lace yep. in there as well so from that you can transfer it or transform it into this. Isn't that lovely? Having that above the bed maybe or by a bedside cabinet, maybe on the bedroom door. Somebody actually said to me um, last week it would be lovely for bridesmaids to carry. I agree. Yeah, it would yeah. be. And also in a baby's room too, maybe. Yes. The nursery. How gorgeous yes. would that be? Yes. So that's $24.99. Uh, everything you need to make it, apart from the glue, obviously. UB3109 is that product code. Now, the small double ones we've got for you, these are really cute too. Again, very rustic. And the raffia is a, is a genius add-on, I think. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to show you the start of that next. Okay, so that's the next demo coming up in a second. Um, here comes that falling price. TZ3113 is the product code. That's what you get. You get the wire included. You get all the dried flowers, the raffia, and, of course, the two wreaths, uh, the medium and the small. And that's what they can look like. $24.99 gets you both and all of the components you need to make it. And remember, lastly, at the end of the counter just here, um, all of Joanne's profit from this particular wreath, which is just so beautiful, is going to that Ukrainian charity yeah, fund. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that's a lot of thing that Joanne's decided to do. Uh, it was pure coincidence that these colours, of course, are significant now. All of this was planned way before uh, the current situation. But isn't that just lovely? And a, a very quick and simple wreath to do, but so meaningful and poignant. And it's only £7.99. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Um, RG3120, if you fancy that. Lots of you have got that in your basket right now. So congratulations if you've ordered it. You can multi-order if you want to. We're not restricting it to one per customer or anything like that. As long as we've got stock, you can order as many as you like. Okay, Absolutely. so we're going to go on to that, that lovely um, raffia wreath now, aren't we? Yes, the raffia rustic wreath. Now, obviously, I'm going to save the, lemon, the lavender and lemon tones for, for the first demo in the next show. Okay, yeah. uh, but I want to start you off. So, again, with your kit, this, this is how your kit will come. This is, this is how it will come. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doesn't, for me, because I'm a bit of a softie and I like to give things away a little bit too much, it doesn't look an awful lot for your money. That's how I feel. But when you get your reel of um, wire you've got an awful lot of wire on here right. and you can use it for so many different projects. Is it garden wire? Um, it's a florist wire. Florist wire. It is a florist wire. It's um, 0 0.50 millimetre. Okay. So it's not bulky. It's not, um, not too strong. You know, it's not too brutal to try and move around with your hands and that's really important on making these reeds, okay? Because a lot of us slightly older crafters do have some dexterity issues with our finger joints. Right, so yeah. we do have to take that into account, okay? If you're not happy using the wire, could you still use a glue gun? Yes, of course you can. I was gonna I was gonna show that at the end of one point because especially on this one, you will find lots of little heads right. um, that you will have left on the table. Don't throw those away no. because you can glue them down. You know, if they if the heads come off, it's fine. We'll glue them down. So you've got your wire, you've got your two reeds. You've got a bag that's got your hessian um, 
ribbon lengths in and you've got a bag of raffia mm -hmm. and then in here let me just get the mat back because I am working on clean glass <laughs> <laughs> um, in your little brown paper wrap is your miniature bouquet of flowers so you can see I've actually put a selection together that works color wise okay what I want you to do to start off with when you when you do this it can get a little bit messy, mm -hmm. okay? I'm not going to lie to you. It can get a little bit... Because these flowers are so small, it can be a little bit fiddly if you don't do your prep work. So what I want you to do is actually just move that to one side. Now, I'm going to take the, the blue or the purple away a moment. I do need, I do need some, this behind me. Well, so dried flowers do fascinate me. They're, they're just... The process of drying them is... I mean, I've tried drying my own flowers, just like most of us have tried to to um, dry our own orange slices in the oven. I don't know how people get to do it. I don't understand them. I don't understand the whole process. I really don't. So what I want you to do first, and this is, this is the bit of the demo. I'm not really worried about making the wreath because I'll show you that in the next one, but I want you to see how I start off creating my bunches. Because if you don't get some kind of organization on your table, you might, may well sort of like lose the will to live because everything will fly everywhere and you won't know what you're dealing with um, and, and how. Now, when you've got flowers that have got these tiny little heads on, try to hold them like this, okay? Try to bring them so that you get the heads all working in the same direction. So, for instance, I've got this little white one here. I don't want to pull it out sideways. I'm going to pull it out from the top. I've got all my orange together mm -hmm. and then I've got a random orange in there. So again, pull it out from the top and lay it down. So now that I've got my flowers laid out, this is... Um, is it a catkin? No, I don't think it's a catkin. It's like hay. Oh, okay. Some kind of... It's some kind of somebody, somebody phone in and tell me what this is because I've forgotten. <laughs> I love you. Oh, I wish I had a brain sometimes. So I'm just going to move these things out of the way a moment. I just want a little bit more space because your natural flowers now have to be broken down into little bunches, okay? Um, I would always recommend you're going to need six or seven small bunches on here. Mm -hmm. And if you have a look at the small one that I made over there, I don't want to overwhelm it with the flowers. So I've literally just put two little bunches and some raffia on that one. You don't need much, though, do you? No, not on this size. If you put too much, I mean, you can. If you want, you can fill yeah. it right up and you can make it really big. And I'm going to show you different ways of doing that now. So what I've done, let's move these two out of the way a second. I've got my flowers split into bunches, OK? I've also cut some wire off ready. So what I want to do is I want to take a piece of this mm -hmm. and I'm going to push everything out of my way. So I'm going to lay these out now because I want to see that my bunches are going to work around the same size. So you always separate the bunches out, yeah? I always split these out, yeah. Oops, I just dropped that on the floor. That's bad, my, my bad. Such a bad habit. I always chuck things on the floor behind me. Oh, everyone does in this building. Don't <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> so let's see how much I get out of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight pieces there. I can make a tiny one out of that one. So we'll leave him up there, okay? So then I've got how many of these? One, two. I always do this, and I always count out loud. I'm very sorry. I think That's it comes right. from... That's a good way of doing it, actually, because it, it, it makes it, makes it go it further and yeah. evenly spaced so, and everything else. And not every bunch has to be exact. It doesn't have to have exactly the same in it all the time, okay? So now let's have a look at these. We'll go for about five of these little orange heads. Important tip. I learned it with making the yellow and the lavender, is that if you use a lot of the bright colour, it can overwhelm your finished piece. Right. So that was like, when I first made it, it was like, wow, that is really yellow. <laughs> so I kind of learned from that, unless you want it to be that strong, spread your more vibrant colour out a little bit more thinly. Okay, okay, and this one, the, um, the lavender and the yellow, will be the first demo in the in four the, Yeah, that's right. I'm going to go back into the green room and I'm going to make up my little bundles ready so you don't have to watch me doing the same again. 
How does that sound? That's fine. <laughs> So well, I never thought of doing it like this, but this does make sense. I think. It, do you know the amount of times? And this is this is the for me the importance of um, demoing all of this kind, any art, any art and craft. The importance of it is that we make our mistake, we make the mistakes, so that the, the our, our crafty friends don't have to. Yeah, sure. Um, so I have done it so many times where I've split flowers into bunches, thinking, "Oh, that makes a pretty looking bunch. That looks lovely. Yeah, that's fine." And then I haven't got enough to do it evenly right. all the way around. Um, and when you're in an even mood, if your head needs to have things evenly spaced, then you need to work it out first. This so is see the these, see these most effective way of doing just that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. It takes a little bit of time, and I know it doesn't make for a vibrant demonstration on the TV, but it's important. It's worth doing, yeah. So for me, you know, let's, let's just... Now, can you see all these bits as well that I'm left with here? Don't chuck those because they, they, they're still the right colour and they do add that little bit of, of vibrancy in. So for these, I can just make some nice little sticky bits and that will go with my little bunch over there. See, okay. I can even make a cute little bunch just by doing that there. And again, now with this white stuff, stuff, it's just stuff. Sorry, somebody tell me what it is. It's on the label. Oh it's, on a, it's on a label back in the shop. It's been, it's been a bit of a week, to be honest. You know. Is it like baby's breath, maybe? Um, no, I don't know. I breath. honestly don't know. It's not gypsophilia because gypsophilia is um, a stronger, more right. brittle plant than this. But um, it'll come to me. It'll come to me, or somebody it's gorgeous, will, though, whatever will it message is. me. I hope my phone's pinging away back in the green room. Oh, <laughs> it's called this. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Not all the bunches are the same. I don't want them to be all the same. Okay, so we're just doing that. And then, next, oops, next bit comes along. Chucked a bit on the floor. That upsets me when I do that. So the next thing to do is literally, we're gonna trim this lot down. Mm -hmm. We don't need all of that, okay? And it's just gonna get in the way whilst you're wiring. So we trim a small amount off. Sorry you keep that or just throw that away? That way. Okay. <laughs> On the floor. <laughs> so, I, for me, I'm a right-hander. It depends how you feel more, most comfortable. Take your wire, bend over so you've got two bits behind, so one longer than the other. Someone just suggested bunny tail. Okay, yeah, bunny tail. This stuff. The white stuff. Or the white stuff. Bunny tail, okay. Okay, thank you for that. Um, so... Two pieces of wire now at the back, one longer than the other. Take your longer piece and wrap. Mm -hmm. Wrap a few times, four times, I would say, is more than sufficient. Then get the two pieces in your fingers, pinch tight and twist. And that's okay? it. Now, that's the bit that some people might find a little bit tricky. Your thumbs may end up aching a little bit. Okay, take a break. That's when you have your coffee. Okay, so one bunch, mm -hmm. and we're just going to do that on each bunch now. This is why I always cut my little, um, my little pile of um, wire ready. Snip, wire over, and then what we're going to do once we've got all of these in place is look at the composition again, okay? Mm -hmm. That rule stays the same. Wire over, grab together, twizzle. Always need a little twizzle. Absolutely. Okay. So by the time you um, come back to me at four o'clock, not only will I have done these, I'll have done the blue and yellows as well. Okay. Well, we're nearly out of time for this hour. It's okay. been fascinating. It's so quick. The, 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 the shows do go incredibly quickly here at Hobby Maker. We're back at four o'clock, and we'll be showing you at four how to do these okay so um that is going to be our demonstration in the next show in about an hour's time whatever you do uh if you want to take the break now to put what you want in your basket whether it's going to be the wonderful sunflower wreaths the large and the small or any of the others and remember this one all of Joanne's profits are going to go to that Ukrainian charity, which is lovely. So uh, she'll be arranging that. And this is just $7.99 if you fancy that. Um, all you have to do, give us a call. 0800 001 4433 or indeed the website hobbymaker.co.uk. That's a way to join us as well and to become a hobby maker 
customer. And we look forward to seeing what you're going to be purchasing throughout the day today. Whatever you do, remember, it's only ever one PMP of 395. Uh, only one PMP of 395, no matter how many things you buy in uh, a 24 hour period. See you in about an hour, then, Joanne. See you at four. Thanks Take care. Much. And I'll be with Keith in a second. <laughs> Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker! Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are live from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. every day on Sky Channel 670, FreeSat Channel 807, and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer, and phone. Hi, I'm Sandra Rushton, and I am the owner of Sandtangle which is a small business in uh, Lincolnshire, where it's only been going uh, three years or so, but uh, we are really, really passionate about what we do. So it's a very mindful form of art. That's its basic core. So if you can hold a pen and draw a line, you can tangle. And it's about that mindfulness, that relaxation, and about you having a moment just for you. But as a result of you having that moment of putting pen to paper, you can create wonderful works of art. We do a lot of live videos, so we're very, very invested in education. We like to have people come to classes, but then, of course, the products that I design, we make ourselves. So we're involved in every step of the way, from the very, very, say, the very first drawing, to how it goes onto the computers, to how it's machined, to even books that we still hand make. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing where we go. It's the start of something new, and I honestly, I feel that. I feel that it's something exciting. And I'm, I'm so glad I'm in at the beginning because I don't know where it's going, but it's only going somewhere good. This is the place for me. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24 seven. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Welcome back. It's Saturday afternoon. You know that anyway, but we are Hobby Maker all the way with you through to six o'clock this afternoon. More wreath making uh, with Joanne in about an hour. But look who's back. Kilo Keith. Literally <laughs> Kilo Keith, because we got the kilos. Finished today, David, yes. We've got the kilos back by popular demand. What well, is the kilo all about? David, uh, if you want value yep. um, for your money uh, and for matting and layering for all of those things that you use your metallic cards for this is definitely for you we've put together these we call them kilo keith 
Because, well, you called me kilo, Keith. I did. But every one of these boxes weighs a kilo. Right. That does mean then that approximately there are over 61 sheets, I think it is. Right. Don't hold that to me because it's not done on a sheet count, it's done on a oh, weight wait. basis. Yep. So every box is weighed individually. This is the satin gold, Dave. Gorgeous. Isn't that just beautiful? It's soft, it's silky. You can die cut. We're going to put it through its paces. You can die cut with it, you can emboss with it, you can mat and layer with it. This means that it's really, really affordable. So you get a kilo of this beautiful matte satin gold. You're also going to get a kilo of the silver, which is a high shine silver, yeah? High shine silver there, David. As you can see, the reflectiveness on the counter. You see all of the reflective there uh, in there for you. I mean, again, lovely nice weight. Thing. He's waving there. Hey, hey. <laughs> um, yeah, so again, value the kilo of the weight is just brilliant. I mean, look how thick it is, David. It's unbelievable, the thickness of it, the weight of it. Uh, so it's all about bringing the viewers the value. And this is the sort of thing that you're going to use all of the time, today, Actually, tomorrow, next week, next year. It's never going to go out of fashion. You don't have to use it all at once. It's there in your craft room, in your craft store, to be able to use when you need it. Honestly, but it means the metallics are affordable. This is one of the thickest mirror cards I think I've held in a long, long time. Great for your projects, matting and layering and box making, anything like that. Now, the star for me has been for a long time this. This is your holographic, but it's your holographic gemstone sheets. Now, all of these have got like faceted gemstones etched into them. How you do this? Some may, well, they will vary slightly. Some have got uh, slightly different patterns on, but you're gonna get a whole kilo of this as well. So you're gonna get three kilos of cardstock, silver, satin gold, holographic, delivered to your door for 3 95 Now, Laura, my producer, can you look up on Royal Mail's website how much it would cost to send three kilos any day of the week, say, first class? I think you did this just under £16 for first class to send three kilos of anything through the post of that sort of size. We'll deliver it to you for 3 95 And if you've already bought something, maybe bought a wreath in the last show, you don't pay any more postage. And we'll deliver three kilos to your door. What a deal. And they come in separate cardboard boxes as well. Now, at £41.97 for all three kilos, plus your PMP, that's a pretty special price. That's what it will look like. Three separate cardboard boxes to keep all your cardstock in pristine condition, arriving in the next few days, thanks to Kilo Keith. LB2147. That is not your price. We're going to go below £10 a kilo, under 30 pounds for three kilos, delivered for 395, and this is core card stock you'll use every day, I'm sure, and it's even on split pay, Keithy. Wow, that's amazing, David. Can I tell you, this is honestly, I will not kid the viewers because we're, 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 in, we're in crazy times at the moment yep. um, it, with inflation and everything else that's going on in the world. But a friend of mine said to me, he said, Keith, if you've got any money, put it into paper. I said, why is that? He said, because paper is just going to go up. And I can tell you, Every week I'm getting uh, price increases from uh, the supply chain, from yeah, yeah. our vendors. It is only going to go up. We're bringing this to you today at the best price that we can. Look at the value there, David. Three kilos. Look what how thick watch. it is. If you drop that, it'll make the whole room shake. Well, it's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, 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 much, it went much better in rehearsal. Take two, it? Steve. It, it, went much Take two. it went much better in rehearsal. Let's do that again. Ready? There you go. That's better. It made the whole world shake. <laughs> but you've got the value there, David. I mean, all joking aside, it's about the value. But this is today's price. I can't guarantee that we can hold that price forever and a day because my prices are going up not just by one or two percent, by a serious yeah. amount. And that does mean then, uh, less than under 10 pounds for a kilo is the best value, honestly, amazing value for money. Our advice to you is stock up your stash. Lots of you coming in for it already. We've got uh, quite a few new crafters coming in, new, new oh. customers. Helen in Midlothian, Celia, hello to you, you're in. Uh, and hello to the two new crafters that are coming through. And some of you are actually buying more than one. You're buying a couple. That makes sense. That would mean that your first split payment would be uh, 27.98. Okay, 27.98 it would be today. And then the same in four weeks' time. But what about that? It's like we're giving you a box for free, really. Yes. It's like a kilo's yeah, yeah. coming free of charge if you go for that bundle today. You can buy them individually, so if maybe you've got a project coming up and you want the satin gold for weddings or special parties or whatever, you can multi-buy any of those options. Satin gold, high-gloss shine silver, holographic silver, you choose. But they are available as a buy the lot for $27.99, less than £10 a kilo, and delivered all of it for £3.95. 
Try and beat that for price and value for money. It's like three for the price of two. It really is. But if you do want them on their own, they are on the website right now. How much are they for a kilo individually? $13.99. Okay, so you can go for one for $13.99 or go for three for $27.99. Yeah, it's un unbelievable value, David. Seriously, it is unbelievable value. Now, you're not going to use it all in one go. We, are, you know, we know that. Yeah, yeah. And it's not designed to use in a day or well, a week. That's why they come in boxes. It's why they come in boxes. I haven't got the box to hand. Normally, I have the little boxes to hand, but Jimmy, well, uh, we need the boxes <laughs> to hand. Because it does come in a protective carton box. It's a double wall box, so it's going to get to you in pristine condition. Here, Here we, we go. go. Our magic hands bring it Thank in. You, Jimmy. This is how it's going to come to you, all in these beautiful boxes boxes that will protect the product for you so you're going to get them come to you exactly like this which is what we what you need really so you can stack these on your shelf you can do them like yep. a library fashion on the ends and um, you can write down gold silver holographic down the end there it takes up that much space in your craft room so you don't need to have a lot of room to keep them nice and neat and when you want them David they're there they're, absolutely they're, you can get them straight away and the value look let's just show you what we can do with this them. is why we call him Kilo Keith because he's famous for the Kilo amongst other things <laughs> and also of course uh, oh, I like the food, a bit of a lamp, also the food that? liz as well which is coming <laughs> a bit later too we'll talk about the food liz later yeah, on yeah. listen uh, this product i can tell you this product is what inspired paper dynamics to um work with our ink supplier yeah because i said because this is actually dave let me just put my spectacles on i want to just show the viewers the difference between what we mean when we do our metal inks which is a metallic ink that we've applied onto a, uh, a lovely uh, uh, metalized board. But this is actually a film. So what you can actually do with this is, is just to show you is that it is actually a film uh, that's applied onto a baseboard. So you can actually peel it off. Can you see how it's separating there? So that actually is a film application that's been put onto the, the board. It's almost like it's almost like rolled gold, David. Well, I, absolutely. Uh, look at the callers that are coming through. Carol in Derbyshire, Sylvia in Greater Manchester, Teresa in West Midlands, Brenda in Surrey, Margaret in Dorset, uh, Roseanne in East Sussex. You've all gone for this deal. Even if you went for it last time that Keith was here, stack up, stock up. While these prices are so low, it's like you're getting one kilo of whichever of those for nothing. $13.99 is all we ask you to pay today, plus, of course, your three ninety five pm p unless you bought something earlier on, and then you have to worry about that anymore. But look at that. And this is what we meant by we're saying, we, but obviously this is a film application, yeah. but look how soft and satin the effect is and how beautiful that, that is going to emboss. And that's why we invented the metallics, which are going to, we've got a new range coming very soon. Yeah. But th this is what inspired that. And I love this board for that reason. Even though you've got the film on there, it still die cuts a dream. Oh, it die cuts. Use it in your cutting machines as well. Oh, absolutely. Do it. I mean, uh, I've, I've, I've only had a little <laughs> test with the Gemporia craft machine, which I have to say, uh, highly nice. recommendable for sure. Um, it's, it's, it is very, very good, and I don't think you would be disappointed if you uh, uh, invest in one of those at the offer price that we've got on today. I don't think you would be disappointed you know, at all. You know, Jamie from Creative Expressions, he put a Facebook post on uh, today on our Hobby Maker Facebook page. Have a look at it. He actually bought three, I didn't realise. He bought three the other day, one for his mum and two for himself for his workshop, and he says it's the best, gem, um, best die cut machine he's used. Well, it's, I, I have to say, I, up until today, I've not used one of these. No, no. Uh, but I have to say, I'm really impressed. Yeah. And you know the thing as well, you know, we talk about energy prices are going up mm. and all of these things. It turns itself off. Brilliant. Now, that might not, nobody may, may have mentioned that, but I can tell you, to get it to go, you've got to, you've got to press the button and a little light comes on here. Yeah. And then obviously you then press the run button to get the rollers to turn. But if I leave that for more than five minutes, it turns itself off. And it's Gemporia branded as well. Uh, this machine, when the stock of this is gone, that is going to be it for as it stands. OK, so if you do want it, it's at $99.99 at the moment, down from $149.99. It's our launch machine offer. And when it's gone, that'll be it in that colorway. So treat yourself. And Jamie, as I said, has already got I think whoever invented this should apply that logic to Xboxes and televisions yeah. and games and gadgets that yeah. boys use so that I don't have to come home on a night time. I kid you not, I went into one of my son's bedrooms at like three o'clock this morning because I was up at three o'clock this morning like you do um, and his lights are on his television's on and he's <laughs> snoring himself away so I turn the telly off and turn the lights off they've got no idea <laughs> let's get back to business shall we look I've got an embossing folder here which and it's a really deep embossing folder this David yeah uh, I'll tell you it'll go with a bit of a crackle this so just bear with me don't jump off your sofa but we're just going to put that through it's a beautiful beautiful embossed pattern but let's just put this through the Gemporium machine and we're going to show you the quality 
of the satin gold and the effects of what you're going to get with that. So we're switched on, we're going to press the run button, we're going to pop it through and uh, it's just going to drag it through. Oh it's, oh, it's got it stuck, Keith, it's got it stuck. Uh, let's go, go the other way. Let's run it, run it, run it. I've got it out of, out of kilter, but there you go. It's back in kilter again. Just got this slightly out of line. That's my fault, nothing to do with the machine. And it has got a reverse mode as well. So I did tell did. you it made you jump. That made me jump then for a minute. <laughs> it did make me jump, but that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Honestly, now here comes, this is the best bit. Yeah, if, it, if you are nodding off there for a moment, I hope I'm glad you're back with us. Let's just show you. This is the grand reveal. Look how beautiful oh, wow. that is, David. Wow. Look how amazing that is. Now, if you wanted to make jewellery boxes with a beautiful lid on, or a, a chocolate boxes, if, if cooking is your thing, or you want to make boxes with that, you could, I mean, look how deep that has embossed. That is what you call an embossed. But it's the quality of the card as well. If you haven't got good quality cards, you're not going to get a great quality embossed. But if that's going to be maybe a wedding invitation or anything like that, it really is a fantastic card stock to invest in. You're going to get the satin gold, approximately 60 to 61 sheets, but it's done on the weight, a whole kilo of that. It is like a champagne gold. Yeah, really, really nice. Then you've got your high shine silver, a kilo of that. Then you're going to get your holographic, a kilo of that. It still mesmerizes me how they do that kind of bullet effect on there. Really different. It looks like you're looking into outer space, doesn't it? You're going to get all three kilos for $27.99, like you're getting one for nothing. N loads of new crafters coming through. Uh, yeah, there's three or four brands new people who've never uh, bought anything from Hobby Maker before coming through on the phones and on the website right well, now. Well, welcome. Welcome. Celia. Welcome to the show. Celia, hello to you. The new craft has gone for four. Well, why not? Now that's, you see, that's what I say, investing in your future. Shall I show you the same results of what you'd get with the silver, Dave? Go on. Because yep. the silver, again, is equally. So we've done the satin gold. This is the silver. And I'm actually going to use this, hopefully, in a bit of a demo in a few minutes or two. So this is, uh, again, lovely mounted into the centre. You can see the, the high reflection. You can see, yeah, you can tell what it is there. Uh, uh, we're going to put this through. And let's just put this through its places again. I'm always mesmerised by the quality of, you know, what you can do with embossing folders is yep. amazing. And what it can do to the cardstock. Paper Dynamics is about giving you quality and value uh, of all of our product ranges, and this is no exception. So pressing the run button, mm -hmm. uh, got that lined right. Um, it's about bringing you the value, but what you can do with it as well, we want you to take all of these products on a creative journey, Dave. Now, if you wanted the machine details, we're just putting that up on the screen now for you. $149.99, that's what it should be and will be in the future if we are able to get any more. But this particular model and in colorway is discontinued as soon as it sells out. This is our launch machine and it's $99.99. 50 quid off, three split pays, 33.33 is all you need to give us today. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee. You're not gonna need it. You're gonna be well impressed with it as Jamie was. Look at that. Now look at that, Dave, again. Fabulous, isn't it? You know, with the polka dots all over there for us. Beautiful, no cracking on there whatsoever. It is fabulous. So again, the results of what you're gonna get from this is just amazing. So that's the silver. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, there's the gold one that we did uh, a moment or two ago as well, side by side, just to show you the different kind of effects of what you can get with that. Isn't that great? I mean, that's just using a, a normal ev everyday yep. embossing folder. It's not one of mine. It's not one of, you know, I, I, we, we use all sorts of different brands here because I want to be able to show you that anybody's you know, embossing folders or die cuts will work with a collection like this. Absolutely. It's just one of those opportunities that don't come along every day to stock up on your basics. Not that this colour or this offer is anything but basic, but, you know, you need your card stock. Any crafter, any card maker needs a good quality card stock to rely on day in, day out. And that's what this is. You know, how often do you use gold satin card stock or wish you'd had it in your stash and didn't have any? That's why some of you are going for as many as four of these bundles. We've worked out that Royal Mail charge in the region of around about 15 pounds to send three kilos of this bulk um, first class. We're delivering this to your door for 3.95. Whether you're buying one set, two sets, three sets, or as someone's done, four sets, that will be just over 100 pounds, about 110 pounds if you bought four, and one postage of 3.95. And you'll have then just the most incredible stash to use on a regular basis. And it's also on um, split pay. So you don't even have to pay the full 27.99 today. All you have to give us is 13.99. Um, yeah, so basically for the price of one, you're gonna get all three today and pay the next split payment in four weeks. So it's just an absolute bargain of an opportunity. And one of my favorites, and I'll never forget the first time I saw this, I said to Keith, how on earth do they do this? Because it, it looks, it's like an optical illusion. Uh, some of them kind of look like you're looking through a magnifying glass or a, a spy hole in a door. The other 
other one looks like a gemstone. How that's done is beyond me. But you say this is actually commercial packaging, isn't it? It is, uh, Dave. Yeah, it uh, definitely comes from the, it's come from the packaging industry. Um, what Smithy does is, obviously, I've been in the paper industry for a long time. We've got friends and connections, and they, they'll ring me up and say, oh, Keith, we've got this stuff coming in. Are you interested in it? And my wife, let me tell you, the, good, the current Mrs. Smith, the, the lovely Karen, the beautiful Karen, uh, she's going out for a walk today. Is she? Without me. Can you believe that? Oh, she's going out for a walk. Never been heard of, David. <laughs> I said, Karen, just go steady because that's fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and the other thing as well, because I've, I've taken the car today. We're, 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 we're down to one car at the moment. That's another story. Uh, she's going on a bus on public transport. This could be a new no. phenomenon in the Smith household. The wife is going on a bus. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, now, but Karen said... What are we going to use that for, Keith? Seriously, why, why are we buying this material? I said, Karen, we've got to have this material because this is amazing. What you're going to be able to do with this is second to none, really. And actually, if you think about, if you go to the supermarket and you go down the drinks aisle, uh, you'll probably see a well-known spirit, I think it is, uh, in a box very similarly decorated to this. And that's basically where it's come from. So you're getting the opportunity of getting a high-end, uh, manufacturers packaging which you can use your own way however you choose and doing what Paul uh, what um, Paul Keith's doing here Paul who's Paul <laughs> doing what Keith's doing here using your die cuts to actually cut out those holographic yep. gems or uh, discs and this is the thing David you know use your tools with this to be able to take this wherever you want it to, to go to on a wonderful wonderful creative journey uh, I mean again let's just say um, we, we could do all sorts of things really with this we could take we could say for, say for instance we could take um, what was I looking for well I'm, first of all you can use all of the other elements as well to be able to die cut things like your words as well so we're, we're going to put it through so we'll, we can use all, all of that in one go so I've got, I've got a sister one here I'm going to do the mum because I'm going to use that on another thing but we've got a sister one there but again look at when you get your things like your dies like this if you wanted to be able to create you know beautiful things like there's the bullseye there let's just put that bullseye into the middle of that oh, we'll put the like die onto there and then you can create the most amazing effects by the fact that you've got something that nobody else, I can tell you, you know, unless you invest in this collection, nobody else is going to have this for sure. Uh, we can say we've put a few little dies on there and now we're just going to die cut them out. But you've got loads, absolutely loads, Dave, of, of little elements down on here. So, for instance, if I wanted to, uh, I could cut out my little circle there. We'll do that. I'll put the glasses on because oh, I'll yeah. use those on, a, on another project. So we'll put the glasses. But Bearing in mind that that's going to cut out the centre which you just watch this, David, it's going to be... You're the only brilliant. person that I know that brings cardstock like this. It's so different, it's so fresh and, and unusual. Whether you look at it and you see gemstones, whether you look at it and see CDs, whether you look at it and see the universe, whatever you see when you look at it, you can use it as really enthralling and unusual backgrounds. But each sheet may be ever so slightly different, might not it? Oh, yeah, they'll be in different places. As I say, it is a packaging product. Uh, so when we've chopped it down, we're going to find that you will find that the, uh, the, the circles, the bullseyes, all of the elements are going to be maybe in a slightly different place. But if you're going to use it like this, in, as I'm doing with my dies, that doesn't really matter too much because you're going to create the elements. And don't forget the wastage we can use on all of our small little dies. Yep. How many of us have got tiny little dies? Butterflies. Kilo Keith, we have a question. Yes. Uh, this is from Michael in West Yorkshire. It says, good afternoon. Can I ask if these cards can be used with alcohol inks and acrylic paints, please? Thank you. Thank you from Mikey. Well, I think so, David. I yeah, for so sure. Too, because yeah. uh, I'll, um, as long as it dries out and not dries in, yeah. then uh, you will be fine. What do we mean by that? Alcohol You'll inks will dry on any surface, smooth surface. So it'll yep. be absolutely fine. Acrylic paints, I think... Your yeah, acrylic dries out right. again. It's like a, right. uh, it'll dry out because. Um, what do we mean by that? If it's like watercolor, it has to absorb into the fibers. Yeah. It has to absorb into the papers. These are coated materials that probably so that that's definitely not going to work. It's going to sit on the top. You'll smudge it definitely. But um, things like uh, your acrylic paints. Uh, that will dry and, out. And so your alcohol will, inks as well, they, yep. they kind of evaporate, don't That's they? That's right, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. So they will work so for Yeah, sure. fine, should be fine. Thank you, Mikey. Uh, good, questions? great question, yeah. though. Lovely question. Thank you very much for, for that. Uh, I can see, uh, I'm just going to turn this over. Now, let's just peel all of these off, David, for us. Uh, I've got my little spectacles here, which we might use on another little project uh, to do with our foodlies. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll get that one out there. Uh, let me find my little porky tool. I've got a porky tool here underneath here, David. I'm a messy crafter. I do apologise. It's just the way that they are. But, but again, look... Uh, then uh, oh I've lost my glasses there's the glasses I'll come back to that in a minute too uh, this is brilliant just look David let me let me give you this because there was the die look oh wow 
Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Now, you're creating your own jewels here, David. I mean, that could be a little steampunk cog, couldn't it? <laughs> It okay. could definitely. It's, it's like you're looking through a peephole. In, yeah, there's Steve, look, giving you a wave. It is like a security. And, and, that's what, and that's why I said to my good lady wife, this is why we need this material, because that's what you can do with it. Make your own jewels. Isn't that brilliant? I mean, it's fun. you can't get this anywhere else on planet Earth other than here. Wow. I just think it's fascinating. It really is. And if you look at each sheet, if you're going to do what Keith is doing here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, it's about 15 odd of those on there. And then, of course, you've got the gorgeous mirrored card that you can still use with your other dies. Uh, maybe if you're going for that 30 piece die set that Keith bought today with the crowns and the glasses and the beards and the. so you can dress up people. Um, yeah, what a deal this is. That's your holographic. You've got your beautiful metallic silver and you've got your satin gold. The satin gold is just my favourite. That is so rich. Yeah, sometimes so, sometimes Miracar can look a little bit cheap and cheerful. This is the other way, the absolute opposite. Luxury personified, it really is. And now if you've if you've got um, a special event coming up in the next few months and you know that stationery is going to be a real major expense for a party invitation or a wedding, reception, RSVP, all those things where you need your absolute luxury card, um, a stationer would charge you a fortune to use cardstock like this. He really, really would. Today, you're getting three kilos for the price of two uh, and a, pay a postage of just 3.95 on all of your orders that you order between midnight last night and midnight tonight, you'll pay no more than three ninety-five maximum. Even if you bought fifty things, it's still just three ninety-five wow. for that all of those to be delivered. And then what we love about hobby maker, uh, Dave, is the fact that you can do all of that. Yeah. Now, look, I've just popped all of these bits out on on here for us. Uh, that one's just going to come out. Going to bring that one out. The carrier sheet as well. I've still got lots of room around the outside, but Dave, you've got a couple of bits here that I've yep. just popped out. I've still oh, got lots this. of circles and things that I can cut out this sheet lovely little diamonds down on the bottom there diamonds are a girl's best friend and this is no other, no different to that Dave look at what That's you've cool, got there. Isn't it? think of all the dies that you've got and how you can use this cardstock with them and then of course you've got all that lovely high shine silver mirror card as well that you can of course enjoy with things like your uh, your dies for your words and your relations really cool so every bit of it is going to be used. Nothing will be wasted. So it's a perfect investment to consider going for. If you are buying um, Keith's dies today with the glasses, the top hats, the wigs and all that sort of thing, that's in the show as well right now. But it's all about the kilos. That's why we call him Kilo Keith. You get three kilos for the price of two and one postage charge of just three ninety-five. We'll give a, a, a big shout out to those of you that are putting this in your order and checking out in a second. But it's LB2147. If you are brand new and we've got loads of brand new customers coming through right now, uh, all you have to do to register as a customer is either dial our free phone number and ask the operator to register you. They'll do that for you, no trouble at all. All they need is your email address and then come up with a password. But you can do that yourself on the website at hobbymaker.co.uk. So do that on the website. It registers you. You're then in. And then, of course, you can buy away to your heart's content. David, can I give you a diamond? Oh, you wow. You can take it on the stick if you like. Oh, OK. Well, I was going to say Put like, it on the back of your hand. Put it on the back yeah. of your hand, David. Like, on the back of your hand. How about that? I look how fantastic that is. I mean, that is it like, look like a diamond. It's like a real cubic yeah. zirconia. I tell you what, our friends next door in uh, Jewelry Maker and Gemporia, they're going to be jealous of that. Look at that. But look just that, that on one of your little cards is a little accent. Your yeah. friends, your family are going to be mesmerized. How did you do that? Where did you get that from? Well, it's part of this Kilo group. Absolutely. That's the holographic Kilo. You can buy it on its own. You don't have to buy all three, but you can buy it on its own. The best value is to buy all three. But if you want it just on its own, you can get that Kilo of holographic just well, on its own, Dave. We've got another but brand new shopper that's putting three in their basket right now. Maureen Anne in Northumberland. Hello to you. You're in. Margaret in Aberdeenshire as well. Uh, lots of brand new crafters who, once you actually register, will then know your names and we can give you a shout out whenever you buy something, which is fantastic. Okay, so $27.99, um, one for Nothing. I've got a message from Lottie in Shropshire. Uh, hello, Dave and Kilo Keith. That's stuck now. <laughs> Uh, loving the show and demos. I bought the three kilogram bundle a couple of weeks ago. Such a bargain and beautiful card. Thank you. Well, Lottie. thank you very nice much. One. That's great. Thank you for the endorsement. I mean, I mean, again, Dave, uh, oh. we're talking about obviously uh, the about the scene. carrier sheet. Um, you've got so much here that you could cut words out. So, Dave, let me give you the sister word there because. 
so much space. Don't throw any of this away. You could get your punches out. You could get your small dies out. You could get all of these elements that are on the die sets today. We could we could cut out our hats. Yeah. But the other thing as well, and look, I'm just going to do this for you because this is going to be brilliant. Can I just uh, say, Sylvia in South Yorkshire is a big fan. She says, hi, Keith and Dave. So glad you're on the channel, Keith. Uh, we're big Keith fans in this household. You're oh. a tonic. Seriously, laugh out loud. There you go, Teresa. Well, that's brilliant. And uh, well, do you know what? If we've made people laugh, then uh, that's job done as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I like to have a bit of fun uh, because crafting's fun. It is. Um, and uh, that's what it should be around. My kids would tell you that I'm not funny at all. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, but I don't, frankly, don't care what they think, really. Look, going back to the carrier sheet, David, we've got we've got a little hat here, or it could be. I mean, that could be. What could else could that could be? It could be a Wayne scale. Could be a, be a, a baby's cocktail uh, glass. Could be, a little co co you know, could be one of those baby cradle things. Oh yeah, yeah. Could we see where that goes? Um, I mean, I don't know. It could be a could megaphone. Be a megaphone yeah, yeah. Could turn it that way. It could be a megaphone. Old-fashioned yeah. gramophone. There we go. But the idea with this, look, see the tiny little ones on here. Yeah. You could place the end of that over the top there, and you're going to get the most amazing. How good are we at getting in there, guys? Oh, yeah. uh, we got the good things. Oh, or we could really go and we could really give it that diamond effect. And let's give it the diamond effect, Dave, because I wanted to do that. Now, bearing in mind, you can't get this anywhere else. It's here, right here, right now, on this show. Put it in your basket. You need it because, look, this is what you can get. I think this is a brilliant... I, I, I love the effects. And, and it's just thinking outside of the creative box. Well, thank you for taking the time and trouble to endorse what you bought a couple of weeks ago as well. That's lovely to hear that you're happy with it and you love it. And the quality I can really vouch for is second to none. And the fact that you're not paying for one kilo of this cardstock, you're only paying for two of them out of the three, is exceptional. Uh, and remember, if you do want them on their own, if it's just the gold you want or just the holographic you want, you're not interested in the other two, they are available on the website individually at $13.99 for a kilo, which is great value. But if you buy the three, you get one free. You get one free? Buy three, you get one free. There you go, Dave. Uh, I, I mean, it is literally uh, the best value that I could bring for you in the current climate. And I kid you not, um, seriously, seriously, Friday afternoon, late on, five o'clock in the afternoon, I got another email from one of our major paper suppliers to Paper Dynamics. And again, uh, come the, uh, I think it's about the 6th of April, prices are going to go up yet yeah. again. I'm not scaremongering, it's just well, life. It's just the, it's the, just way, life the way it's going is. at the moment. Uh, but, you know, whilst, so we're trying to hold the prices down, we're trying to give you the value and the best value we can. Now, David, look at this. Let me just pass that to you there. Because if you wanted a, a hat with a diamond on, it, that is just amazing. Isn't Look it? at that. If you're going to have a hat, why not have one with a diamond on the top? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about it. The fact that you can create these unusual things with any of your tooling. I mean, that could have been a top hat. Um, uh, you know, I could have done a top. In fact, let's just do that. Shall we? We'll do a top hat with, 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 a, uh, with a diamond uh, in the middle of it, really. You can have um, some fun with it. Oh, you can have so much fun, Dave. I love it. Um, I mean, this is, just, this is just me. So when I said to the current Mrs. Smith, look, that this is why we need to have this stock. So, well, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, and and I mean, I need to buy a bit, Dave, to be able to bring these kilos in and the volumes that we're selling here at Hobby Maker. You have to buy I, I brought a whole load. tons of the stuff yeah. um, uh, because it's right here, right now. Again, oh, I've got to get used to pressing this button, but I love it. The fact that you know, it turns itself off when you're not using it. You can press it to run. You can press reverse if you want it to. Oh, it, it really is a limited edition Gem Boy craft machine that was developed purely for our launch. It's only been what three weeks old. And when that has gone, the stock of that's gone, it will not be coming back in the same colourway. It may come back in a different form. But it's a top quality machine, so much so that Jamie from, of course, Creative Expressions bought three of them because he used them on the show and was so impressed with it. And he actually posted on our Hobby Maker Facebook page today just how amazing that machine was. So, Jamie, if you're watching, thank you for doing that. But, yeah, your chance to get hold of it at a £50 reduction, under 100 quid for an electronic machine that's of that quality and it's one of the lowest priced electronic machines, I think it is the lowest, that we've seen on the market. So grab it, it's purely a launch special for that Gemporia Craft die cutting and embossing machine. I can see you in that hat, Keith. Isn't that great? I, I mean, it's just, it's just so much fun. Uh, I, I, that is just my cup of tea, really. I mean, uh, talk about being a mad hatter. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I could see you with that on, definitely. So this is the sort of thing you can do with the holographic, but remember, you've got your real classic standalone must-haves of the silver mirrored and the satin gold. I think this is one of the most luxurious cardstocks I've seen in a long time, this, Keith. That, that gold is just gorgeous. 
and the weight of it as well is superb. So it's great for construction, great for boxes, great for frames. Um, what was the GSM on these again? There were 280 GSM, uh, David, on, on this, and really nice weight. Um, you know, really, really good weight for you to be able to use. So you got your beautiful, I mean, it is, you can Look, see the reflectiveness you there. See the reflection of the gold in the silver. How about that? That's the reflection. There is Steve. On camera too. <laughs> That's how good the reflection of that mirrored card is. There you go. And Brilliant. there's the holographic. So, yeah, fill your boots. I know lots of you have gone for three sets of these. Uh, one of you went for four. So that will be four times 13.99. Maybe 12 that'd kilos. Be 56, that'd be 56 pounds, your first split payment today. One PMP of 3.95, but you'd have four big boxes on the way. You'd actually have... Uh, one, two, three... Uh, you'd actually have 12 boxes on the way to you, delivered for 3 95 Where can you get that sort of value apart from here? It's amazing, Dave, isn't it, really? Now, look, again, I've just done um, a quick pass through. I've got one little heart there that's just popped straight out the page. Let's just take that off, take the holding tape off there. Um, I'm getting all sticky up on there. Uh, again, I've got another little... This is just one pass through this machine. Beautiful, the effects of what you can get, really, on there. Let's give them a bit of a drop so we can get the bits to pop out. Again, lovely. And again, look at all, all of them just popping out, David, all those little stars out of this particular die. Fantastic. The quality is amazing. So there's another little heart that we've got there. And then we've got the bigger heart that I wanted as well. So again, I might actually, I'm going to use these, David, in a bit of a demo uh, okay. for a minute. We're going to put something together to show you that you don't necessarily need too much uh, in your crafting room to be able to make the most amazing effects. And finally, uh, since it's Mother's Day tomorrow as well, let's do, we've done a mum die cut. So again, you can cut big things out. You can cut small things out. They are all here. And let's just show you that again. Don't forget, that's clocks coming. go forward tonight at 2 a.m. So losing our sleep. Just uh, making gain, everybody's day, David. You're just continuing nights. to make everybody's day. We gain later nights. Uh, lighter <laughs> nights, not later. Not lighter, no, lighter, lighter mornings. Lighter nights, not later. Yeah, lighter mornings. That's, that's good, isn't it, really? Yeah. So look, I've got my, I've got my hearts. So let's just pop one or two of these bits out as well. So we don't want them in there if we can help it. So we just want to get those out. Uh, take the little hearts out. Uh, I mean, it literally is just really, really, you know, great fun to be able to work with and uh, what you can do with them. Now, I'm just going to quickly, I'm going to do all of them, Dave, because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm bored now. Um, I'll be here all day, just <laughs> taking all bits. So I'm just going to take a few of those bits out. Let's now, right, I've got the mum die, so we'll just put the mum die there. Let's just take all of those elements. We're going to need a few of those mm -hmm. and we'll put something together. We're just going to try and put something together that, uh, look, I've got so much of my little uh, fairy dust around. That we, there we go. Let's put them over there for a moment. Right. Now, what did I do, Keith? I had a card somewhere. What did I do with the card? Where did I put the card? Oh, I think I've got the card here, Dave. Right. So, there we go. Small six-inch by six-inch card. Yep. I'm going to use a piece of that because... Um, I'd cut some down at the back of the office, to be fair. This could be a little bit wasteful, to be honest, because I would probably cut these out. If you cut these out, you're still going to be left with the square. So yeah. I would definitely cut these out. But just because I can, I will, I'm going to be a little bit naughty and just say, right, I'm going to just stick it on. All right. OK. But I wouldn't normally do that. I right. would normally... I should have really cut out all of those hats and glasses and, and circles. I should have cut all of them out. And then I could use the, the, the carrier sheet then as the backdrop. Yep, got but you. I only want the backdrop for this, so it's got a silver edge. I mean, maybe yeah. you've got a spaceship dial or something like that, and you could actually have a spaceship going through the planets, because that's what it would look like. Oh, it's brilliant. Honestly, it's very futuristic, as you say. Yeah. But I've got that now, so that's giving us a lovely little silver backdrop. But then, do you remember, the f we started off by showing you about the embossing of the gold card, and look how wonderful that is. When it's trimmed down, how beautiful that is. Look at this. Remember, it's suitable for your cutting machines as well, if you've got a Brother Scan and Cut or the Silhouette Cameo, whatever you've got, fine for that. And great for your acrylics, as we talked about earlier on, and your al alcohol pens too. You can colour those on the, uh, on the cardstock as well, no trouble. But I mean, this is wow. just high-end luxury, yeah. isn't it? We're giving you high the highest luxury products that we can at the best price we can today on, on Hobby Maker. It really is, uh, you know, astonishing. A, a kilo of this fabulous cardstock, and you don't need too much to be able to make an amazing card. Thank and of you. course, it's cardstock. We're absolutely saying to you guys, you can make and you can sell as much as you like with this range of products. I mean, how much sure. would that sheet be if you bought that pre-embossed? 
already done. I bet you'd be paying what? One pound fifty for that? Oh, maybe absolutely, even more? Yeah, 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 for sure, David. Uh, uh, and that's if you could get anything quite like that, really, for, for sure, really there. Now, look, I'm going to take those lovely little hearts. As I say, we've not, we've not popped out all of the little bits, but I'm not going to worry too much about that for the moment. We're going to put um, some 3D foam pads on the back of this. So we'll just put one or two, three... 3D foam pads on the back there, and uh, we'll see if we can just get a few more of the little elements out. It would be nice if they just popped out of the page as well. So we'll just get a few of these bits out to show the viewers. Again, normally you'd spend a bit more time, but because we want to try and show you all of the things that we've got on the show live, it's live. This is not rehearsed, it's not recorded. This is live non -scripted. TV. Non scripted. Non scripted as well. Thing. People do worry about what I'm about to say. Yes. Um, and um, <laughs> <laughs> particularly when we start talking about the foodlies. Yeah, the um, foodlies uh, are, um, are coming up a bit in a, in a minute or so. And also, we're going to have a full hour on them at five o'clock today. Basically, it's food with whimsy and kind of saucy. Uh, seaside postcard humour, that's the best way of putting it, I think. Seaside postcard humour there, David, yeah, for sure. And uh, again, now, look, let me just find my tape. Where's my tape gone? I've got my tape. I'm going to put a bit of tape around the back of this uh, this particular die uh, down the centre here. So I'm just going to put a bit of tape down there. That's going to go nicely onto the back there. And uh, these are some dies that we did previously. We are looking at a new range of tooling dies uh, coming in, but uh, uh, some of you may already have these from Paper Dynamics. And uh, these are great, lovely little love hearts. They've got a little crease down the centre, so that's going to go nicely down there. Bearing in mind, uh, we've only, we haven't even used a whole sheet there. No, we haven't. Not even a whole sheet. And then we'll use the smaller one. We're going to put one of those down the center as well. So we're just going to put a little bit of that down the center of there. Again, it's got a bit of a score line down the middle. So we're just going to put a bit of a bend line down in there for us. So that's going to go nicely down on there. It doesn't matter what tooling you've got in your crafting stash. A lot of dies, you can get dies with magazines. You get dies, there are so many offers. Of course, um, you know, we've got lovely... Uh, uh, my friends at Crafters Companion that were, were doing some shows earlier on this last week with their takeover shows and things. There's so much, so much choice available from mm. all of the people that we bring here at, uh, at, at um, Hobby Maker. It really is fabulous. Now, now, Laura, our producer, she said, we'll make a wonderful wedding invitation, but if you had that made by a stationer, that would charge, they would charge you a fortune. You'd be looking at hundreds and hundreds of pounds for a set of that sort of stationery, certainly if it's kind of, you know, kind of personalized as well. Do it yourself. You can, David, and you can definitely 100% do it yourself, and it's that easy to do, honestly. Uh, you've got the quality of the materials that's going to give you these kind of results. Now, I do appreciate it's not going to be used in five minutes. It's going to take you a little while to get through it all, but you might want to share it with a friend, mm. which is equally just fine as well if that's what you want to do. But well, Now we're going back to being kind of sociable again and being able to go to like um, you know, crafting meets and that sort of thing, then maybe you've got a whole group of friends that you want to craft together and you want to go in on this, share the cost of it between three or four of you. If you're all going to be using the same materials, doing the same projects, a uh, great ideal opportunity to stack up, stock up. Maybe you do um, you know, craft... Um, make and takes and things like that, then this is the way to buy your cardstock in bulk at a discounted price with capped postage of only 3 95 when the Royal Mail would charge you between 15 and 16 pounds for three kilos in this sort of size first class. We're sending it to you, or Keith is, for 3 95 postage. And they come in three separate boxes. So it keeps all of your cardstock in good condition as well, keeps the dust away, keeps the animals away as well. Um, that's what you've got. But if you want one on its own, if you've fallen in love with a holographic or you want that satin gold or just the silver on its own, it's all there for you on the website. They're 13 99 each box. But of course, if you buy the set of three, you're only paying for two, so you get one for nothing. Very good, isn't it? Lovely, beautiful, David. It really is. And bearing in mind, uh, uh, this demonstration was about showing you, you know, what you could do just with the kilo uh, without anything else. If you got, if you only bought this, this was your first, uh, you know run into doing crafting this is just showing you very quickly with a few gemstones a little bit of tape um and some 3d foam pads what you can do with it um with just with with a with your tool in your embossing folder. but we've only used one a4 sheet absolutely in fact less than that because we've still got quite a lot left so i'm just going to put this last one dave on the bottom here and we'll move on then to to uh, the other projects but isn't that a lovely card yeah just basically they're all been done just with the metallics for you what, as well what mum would not really love to receive a card like that tomorrow absolutely stunning 
Remember, it's on split pay. And what does that mean? It means that basically you can uh, split the payments into two interest-free payments if you want to. One today plus your PMP, and then the final payment in four weeks' time. LB2147, and it's yours. Uh, right now, let's move on and talk about the Foodlies. The Foodlies launched today in the one o'clock show. Um, you may or may not have been watching. You may or may not have ordered during that show. But Foodlies are just really, really good fun. Now. Let's have a little look at the collection that we've got for you. This is going to include, up here, I'll show you, we've got the A4 inserts, but they, can, of course, can be trimmed down. You can easily get kind of two cards out of those because they're double printed. Uh, in the middle here, you've got your mini stash. Now, they can be instant toppers in, you know, you can cut that into two and make two toppers out of that. You get loads in there. Keith will go through the quantities for you fairly soon. You've then got a lovely collection of your printed backgrounds. You've got your um, topper stash, and you've also got your um, decoupage stash as well. And they are really, really comical. And then you've got your fantastic backgrounds with all the printing and all the, uh, the words on them. But it's what they say. It's, it's the comical side of them that just makes you laugh. Uh, they are, some of them are quite saucy. Um, some of them are just, just generally really, well, they're all really good fun. But you've got, say, for example, if I just flap through some of these, you're totally awesome. The food comes to life. With the food leads, you age better than cheese and wine. Oh, that's complimentary. Uh, let's toast your special day. Sorry it's late. Can't milk carton. Uh, you're just like breakfast, the best part of my day. Oh, that's cool. Ah, uh, that's nice, David, isn't you it? Have an excellent day. Uh, not to be corny, but you're serially wonderful. Uh, I'll butter you up any day. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, let's be besties, for, or besties forever. Get a few of each. Um, we go together like strawberries and squirty cream. There you go. Uh, there we go. I can't say that one. Keith would say it, but I'm not going to say that. Uh, and then you're the cookie to my cream. See what I mean? They're lovely. Uh, most of them are just really endearing and some of them really comical. You condiment me. Uh, let's get glazy together. You make me so corny. <laughs> and then let's get saucy. See, you get the idea. That's what flu foodlies are all about. They're, they're food characters, and they're a bit tongue-in-cheek. They are kind of saucy seaside postcard humour, but you loved it earlier on. Laura, my producer, has fallen in love with them as well. Now, you can buy individuals. So if you want extras of the toppers or extras of the decoupage, I'll show you the decoupage quickly too, because this is cool. You've actually, with the decoupage, there we go, you've actually got all the characters, but numerous drawings of them and artwork of them. So you can actually stack them and make them three-dimensional. So and you've also got little verses and sentiments there. Give me some sugar, nom, nom, nom. Love ya, fun times. Um, you're baking me crazy. Don't go baking my heart. You're smoking, smoking. Um, this one, uh, you've got, oh, there we are. That's your, what does that say? Time fries when you're having fun. Yeah, great. They're really good fun. So that's your decoupage, okay? So if you buy the whole lot, that's where you save the most money. So that's going to be all of the toppers, the decoupage, the backgrounds, uh, the printed uh, versus backgrounds, and all the inserts, and your mini stash as well. All of that is $62.99, and it's on to three split, yeah, three split payments. So it's £20.99 today, plus your £3.95 postage if you haven't paid that today already. Uh, and already we've got Julie in Highland. She's coming in. A brand new craft is coming in right now for this as well. But this is only part of the offer, because if you buy the show, you'll get all of this, plus you'll get this. So you'll get some more fantastic holographic cardstock, like that there. How many sheets, Keith? 24, David. 24 in that one. That's basically what we showed you a few minutes ago in the kilo. So you get 24 of that. Then you're also going to get your card blanks. How many, Keith? 20 card blanks, 20 envelopes, and 20 pieces of the adhesives. And that's the adhesives. That's the adhesive sheets in all these lovely colours that are going to go well with the bright artwork of the Foodlies. So that is if you want to buy the show. And you also get the dies as well, which are over there. You're going to get 31 dies, and you can actually you know, put hair on the Foodly characters. You can put googly eyes or glasses on them and all that sort of thing. Put top hats on them too. That's what we were using in the demonstration with the holographic a few minutes ago. You're going to get everything for 92.35, and that is on max 
maximum split. That's on four split payments. 23.08 is all you pay today. So it's only three pound more. Okay, it's another split payment to pay. But it's only three pound more to get the buy of the show, if you'd like it. Uh, or you can go and just buy all the food list bits. It's entirely up to you. That's on three split payments. The whole buy of the show is on four. FX2152 is the product code if you'd like to go for the buy of the show. If you just want to go for all the food list together without the dies, without the holographic, and without the card blanks, then that's available for you, and that is 62.99, and that's on three split payments, okay? But we've got the details on that of buy the show at the moment. All right, Keith, are you doing a Foodly's demo next? Oh, Dave, I'm having so much fun, honestly. Uh, <laughs> you know, I love it here. It's uh, very relaxed. I hope you're having a relaxing afternoon uh, with us uh, at home. Uh, we hope we're not putting you to sleep, that's for sure. We don't want you to be going to sleep, but um, just having a, I'm just having a bit of a play, uh, Dave, because I love it. I this love is, the... This is your humour, though, isn't it? It's right up your alley. Well, this is up my alley, and, um, I mean, some of them are a bit risque, if I'd have had my way, they'd have been even, even more risky. I know. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, there are. I have more than one woman in my life uh, because my daughter's involved in the business as well, right. and I was overruled. Right. Dad, we can't have that. That's taking it too far. You, 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 before nine o'clock, no. <laughs> But anyway, you get the general idea, really. But uh, <laughs> uh, listen, I might do I might do another set. I just said this will go on a repeat after midnight. Yeah, but probably 6 a.m. That may not be appropriate 6 a.m. on a Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, do you remember when we embossed this car? But yes, we're going to use this as our base drop, really. So we will put together a beautiful card for you, um, which I'm sure you're going to love, all using the food list. And the reason that, to have this in, listen, we, we think of, well, we've got to send a card because it's our birthday or it's an anniversary or somebody's getting engaged, yeah. or getting married or whatever. With it. Listen, no, 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 no. The foodly is about sending a card any time, any time. I always think the best cards are the ones that aren't expected. Because that's yeah. a surprise. You know, on your birthday, you expect to get a card. Thank you very much. That's not much of a surprise. But, you know, when you're not expecting something and something comical arrives through the post because someone's thought to send it to you, that's special. Dave, um... I think a lot of relationships start up with, with a little bit of humour and a bit of banter. A lot of people meet at work, yeah. for sure. This is a thing that you could send a card to somebody unknowingly, you know, maybe with a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek there about, you know, um, you know, uh, I, I, I want to lick you all over or you lick ice cream or whatever, whatever. <laughs> if you're wondering why, why Keith's saying that, he didn't just make that up. It's one of the cards. Okay? It is on the card. It is, isn't it? I'll try and get you out of that one, too. That's just one of the cards. Oh, right. come on. That's a good bit of fun, that one, isn't it? Lick me till I sleep. <laughs> yeah. Now, my, my, my good lady's nan, uh, um, Magdalena, um, she is German. She loves it. She absolutely loves this collection. She was uh, giggling away to herself, and she's 97, but bless her, she was giggling away to herself. Um, and it's all about having... A little bit of fun, isn't it, really? Now, again, I'm using the second part. This, the first part of this element I'm putting down now was actually uh, used on the, the one of the cards that I did in the first show. This is now the second part that's left over from no that. No waste. Which is really no waste whatsoever going down on there. And now I'm just going to say to you, the idea of these sets is because they are all roughly six inches by six inches square. Use your tooling, use your dies. Let's just put this through on the cutter. We're going to die cut it out because I wanted to show the viewers, you know, don't just think of it as being a square. Don't just think of it as being, oh, it's only going to be something where I'm just going to mount that down and stick it on. No, 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 no. You can use your tooling with this. You can use your dies with it. You know, put it through its paces. Cut them out, make them whatever shape that you want that will fit within the confines of whatever project that you're underway with. And then it's all about having... And don't forget, that die-cutting machine, £99, £50 off, getting grave reviews, even from professional crafters like Jamie. He bought three. He says it's an amazing machine, best machine he's tried. And, you know, he gets to try all the machines on the market. So that's a real endorsement. Thank you, Jamie, for doing that. Yep. Um, it's a limited edition because it's only here because of our launch month. When that stock is gone, that will not be coming back in exactly the same form. So we'll probably get it back in the future, but it won't be that colour or won't be that shape or whatever. But certainly, it's incredible. An incredible machine for £99. The most cost-effective electronic machine on the market, as far as we're aware, and one of the most reliable and certainly one of the most impressive. So it's on the show right now. It's on the website, and you can have it with Split Pay too. 
Oh, there we go, there we go. We've now got an inner and an outer. So we've got a frame that we can use on one project. Yeah. And we've got the actual character topper that we're going to use on this project, David. And this is brilliant. So again, I'm just going to put some of my 3D foam pads on the back of this just to give it a bit of a lift up on, on there as, as, as well. I mean, it, this is a set that you're going to have a lot of fun with. You want to make and sell. Your 48 topper sheets, your 48 decoupage sheets. That's effectively 48 three-dimensional cards. Yep just straight out the box Absolutely. regardless of the backgrounds the additional backgrounds the inserts the inserts cut them in half you'd have another 72 there you've got the mini stash there are 30 sheets them cut them in half which is what it's designed for that's going to give you 60 workable elements in those as I mean well. you can make this go such a long way you really really can uh, and remember if you want to go for the uh, I was going to say by the show of the the food the foodlies um that's everything to do with the foodlies except the holographic card and the card blanks and of course the dies. But you'll get everything else to do with the foodlies if you go for that. And that's what's, uh, I think we've got the buy the show on the screen at the moment, haven't we? Yeah, buy the show is going to include the holographic card, include the card blanks and include the dies. There you go. Now, Dave, look, now I've just got, I've, uh, here's some I prepared. I've done a bit of die cutting uh, earlier on, a uh, bit of uh, cutting out, because now it's a case of, look, let's take those base elements and let's have a little bit of fun. So, again, we've got the bacon there. I hear you like bacon. Want a strip? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the way you say it. Uh, yeah, it's the way you say it, really. It's, uh, the, uh, absolutely brilliant. But it's fantastic to just, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good sense, you know, dry humour, what mm -hmm. I call dry humour. Uh, it's the sort of thing that you would see on those postcards on the pier front for sure. But, you know, really, really uh, unusual and different. And, of course, it's handmade, it's hand-finished. And we've got all of these elements that you're going to be able to pop out on there as well. Now it becomes three-dimensional. You can see it and pick it up from the centre there yeah. as you create that dimensional effect. Then we can go up another tier as well then, Dave, because you've got all of these elements. This is not from one, you know, it's all from one sheet, not two sheets all from the one sheet, just one sheet is going to give you all of these usable and pop out elements, which is brilliant just to have and that. They're, they're all so easy to cut out as well because you've made sure it's got like a bleed line going around the characters. So you can easily cut out these slices of toast. It's just like a, a, a very, very shallow curve. Um, the glasses and the bottles you can easily cut out because there's that bleed line around them as well. So yeah, really, really simple to cut out. And they look really fantastic when they're done. That's easy to cut out, just straight lines. So yeah, all the decoupage, Dead simple, dead easy. Catch up soon. <laughs> Love it. Then you've got your donuts there. What does that say? Enjoy your day, especially for you. Love you a whole lot. The big donut hole. There we go. Have an amazing time. Uh, give me some sugar. Love you. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's a great theme. Really cheerful. Something different. Something refreshing. And from a colour point of view, when you've got your cards on display and you're trying to sell them, all those colours are going to really pop, aren't they? People are going to get noticed, or people are going to notice your cards. Aren't these brilliant, Dave? And then look, this is the the, the, the little bit of the uh, piece de resistance, really, because I've even got the extra little eyes. Yeah. Have, have I got eyes for you, Dave? Um, they, they look, these got these lovely little extra eyes just to go onto there as well. So <laughs> brilliant, uh, just really, <laughs> really good fun. Now I haven't got to the best bit yet. The best bit is still to come because I've just had a. Uh, well, Stevie was over there talking about the foodlies and what you're getting for your valued for your money. I thought, right, I got a little idea. Do you remember this, David? Oh, the top hat. The top hat. This is why you need to get the dies. Yeah. Look at what happens with a top hat. Uh, is it <laughs> I love it. This is just going to be amazing. Look, because now our little character there is going to have a little bit of a top hat on top of him with his diamond on. So he's got his diamond on his top hat. How cool is he? <laughs> and let's let's put the uh, the Mrs. Bacon into a party mood as well, Dave. Shall we? Okay. Um, we're we're going to give. And she's got. Don't forget, she's got a diamond tipped hat on. There, that's going to go really brilliantly onto the end over there as well. Uh, it is honestly about having all of that creative fun in it, really. Um, <laughs> I love it. Keith and I are back at five o'clock for the final show of the day. Um, and we're going to be talking again more on the foodlies, more on the kilos as well. Uh, remember, you can order them in between the shows if you want to, too. And we've also got what? Another old cardstock bundle as well coming up at five o'clock so that's something else to look forward to so that's in about uh, an hour and five minutes time but remember everything that keith is bringing us today you'll see on the website if you go to uh, hobbymaker.co.uk by the show is proving very very popular right now where remember you're going to get all the foodly goodies you're going to get this holographic cardstock 24 sheets i think you said from that that's right Dave. 24 yeah. sheets of that you're also going to get remember 20 of the card blanks and envelopes as well they're eight by eights i believe and you're also going to get 20 sheets of this now this is actually uh, a self-adhesive 
printed self adhesive um, film that you can see here, which you can die cut, which you can, of course, put through your scan and cut as well. But all these colours, look, are going to go with the artwork from the food list, toppers and everything perfectly. So it's a great match and a great marriage. That's if you want to go for uh, by the show. You're also going to get, remember, the dyes as well. It's a bundle of absolute luxury and fun. Tongue-in-cheek seaside humour is the best way of describing it. This is what you can get in by the show. So you've got the Foodly's topper stash, the Foodly's decoupage stash, uh, the background stash, the sentiment background stash, the insert sheets and the mini sentiment card pack as well, uh, the Foodies cards and envelopes and the Colorco adhesive assortment as well, party accessory dies and the Silver Circles holographic card pack. All of that in that bundle and that's where you save the most money. It's costing you only 23.08 today, the first split payment. Uh, if you want to pay in full, you don't want split payments, you can pay the full 92.35, but it locks that price for you. It allows you to spread it over four interest-free payments. And remember, all of that huge stash will be delivered for just 3.95 postage. Absolutely crazy. Keith, I'll see you in an hour. In an hour, David, In yeah. an hour, for so our last show. That they can check it out check it out and check it out they only got that one pmp absolutely we love that and remember everything if you're not a member just join on the website it's free to become a member of uh, hobby maker all we need is your email address and make up a password or if you'd rather talk to the operator about it 0800 001 4433 it's the free phone number and the call center's up there i'll see you with reese next <laughs> Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P&P. &P. Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, Freesat Channel 807 and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Hi, I'm Sandra Rushton and I am the owner of Santangle which is a small business in uh, Lincolnshire, where it's only been going uh, three years or so, but uh, we are really, really passionate about what we do. So it's a very mindful form of art. That's its basic core. So if you can hold a pen and draw a line, you can tangle. And it's about that mindfulness, that relaxation, and about you having a moment just for you. But as a result of you having that moment of putting pen to paper, you can create wonderful works of art. We do a lot of live videos, so we're very, very invested in education. We like to have people come to classes, but then, of course, the products that I design, we make ourselves. So we're involved in every step of the way, from the very, very, say, the very first drawing, to how it goes onto the computers, to how it's machined, to even books that we still hand make. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing where we go. It's the start of something new, and I honestly, I feel that. I feel that it's something exciting. And I'm, I'm so glad I'm in at the beginning because I don't know where it's going, but it's only going somewhere good. This is the place for me. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 
Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Good afternoon, everybody. Yes, welcome back. We're over halfway through our shows today. Great to have your company on this Saturday afternoon. I hope you're enjoying the shows. Lots of brand new customers this hour as well, or the last couple of hours. Every day there's numerous branding people finding Hobby Maker and wanting to join up. Uh, now, maybe it's for this show that you want to join up. If you want to become a member, the easiest way of doing it is just go to our website, hobbymaker.co.uk. You'll see uh, there's a section there that says, if you're not an existing customer, click here. Click that. Uh, then we just ask you for your email address and then just make up a password that you'll remember and that's it, it's as easy as that. If you'd rather do it with the operator, it's a free phone number in our call centre upstairs, 0800 001 4433 and they will uh, of course get you membership, no trouble at all, completely free of charge. And then you can enjoy all the offers that include capped postage of 395, no matter how many orders you make in a day, you're not going to pay any more than 395 in total for all your orders to be delivered. Now this was a brand new show uh, two hours ago at uh, two o'clock. Loved it, and I'm going to love it again this time. And if you weren't with us at two, I'm pleased to say we still have stock. Now, this is Joanne. He's with us. Welcome back again. Hello. Great first show. Was it? Yeah, loved it. it. Absolutely loved it. I was it. this side, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about wreath making. Now, you've, you've got a long history of craft, and you've been doing yes. craft for a long time. Yes. So I first began crafting when my children were teeny weeny, and I had a son who was... Uh, very, very, very active, very low boredom threshold, and he liked everything messy. And I had no money. Right. So I had to find ways to keep him occupied with very little money. And I started with potato printing ah, back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah back in the day. And hand prints and everything. And then I went back into work after I had the kids. Um, and I started working with, in a, in a playgroup. Mm -hmm. And then I started looking after or supporting two children with very profound needs. And I learned that they um, didn't have any verbal communication. So I introduced arts and crafts. We just got started getting messy and those communications came through in the expressions on the face, mm -hmm. the sounds that they could make and the excitement that, that they so showed in their body. You, you hear that so much about craft. Absolutely, it breaks down all barriers. Um, the other story that brings us to the more recent and the adult side is that I had a big group of ladies around the table and it was, felt a little bit sad to start off with but then it, it really opened up because one lady kept her eyes down. We all know that talking one to one, eye contact mm -hmm. can be quite difficult. Mm -hmm. So these ladies had their eyes to the table and they were crafting away and one said, oh, you know, when I was poorly, I didn't think I'd ever be able to do this again. And another lady from over here kept her eyes to the table and she said, oh, were you poorly? I've been poorly as well. What, what was wrong? And they started talking, but they didn't look at each other. Right. So they spoke through their craft and they carried on communicating until they bonded. And within uh, half an hour, I had a peer group of support all around the table where people were sharing their experiences. Wow. And it was all fine because they weren't looking at each other because they were busy doing. Well, Jo, jo, jo as she likes to be known, um, is from Wales and you've got a shop in Wales. I but have. You're very much a community-based shop, aren't you? Yes, we are. Yeah. We, we're, a community, we're a social enterprise with full community aims. That means that what we do is we're not for profit. Everything goes back into the pot to keep us um, going, including salaries. We don't, we've, we've not taken salaries now for seven years. Right. Um, and uh, that was an active choice because I wanted to keep the doors open and we couldn't do both. Mm -hmm. um, so we are all volunteers and we just keep the place going. We, we, you know, we are a shop, so I do keep good stock rolling through and always make sure that it's accessibly priced. Um, it's so great that you're here today with us because what, what you're bringing us is some, something different, wreath making. Now, 
Wreaths I always associated with Christmas until I started to work in craft and realised that wreaths actually are all year round for any season, any room in the house uh, and for any occasion. So what we've got for you today is a lovely selection of wreath kits. So this is what they could look like, although yours will be completely unique because you'll put the flowers on. You know what design you want to put where and what colour to put where. But these are just to give you an idea of what they can look like if you do the same as Jojo's done. Um, this was one of the most popular ones in the first hour, a couple of hours ago. Uh, and there's two wreaths. You get the medium size and you get the larger one. And is it, is it wicker, did you say it was wicker? It's grapevine. Grapevine. Yeah. So it's a natural, natural wreath, which I think looks absolutely gorgeous. Just plain, it looks lovely. But then when it's decorated with the silk flowers and the silk, beautiful sunflowers, it's just a dream. So this is the kit you get. You do get a little um, leaflet with instructions. But what I'd suggest, and I said this in the earlier show, record the show because then when your kit arrives in the next few days you can then watch it back and, and actually do what Jojo's doing in the show at home in the same time but there are all of your beautiful silk flowers and leaves all separate all individual you even get your ribbon of course as well you get your leaf foliage there too all of that all you need is a glue gun with this and that is 29.99 for two beautiful wreaths. Where are you going to put yours? Indoors? You can even put them outdoors, can't you? The silk ones are very able to go outside all year round. Okay. All year round. Right. I would say as well, that, uh, what we've recognised is that this is a massive trend at the moment. So many people want wreaths for their homes, mm -hmm. their indoor decor, their outdoor, their garden spaces. And this, the, the purpose of me bringing these kits to you is so that you can learn to create them yourselves, that you will be able to expand as we go through the year mm -hmm. on the different themes and on the different um, aspects of what we're gonna bring into these kits, um, the instructions, everything you need, and the fact that these kits are coordinated for you. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to go to a florist or a supermarket or wherever you would normally go to buy a few flowers and wonder what goes with what. These are done for you. OK, now, if you were watching the earlier show at two o'clock, you'll have seen that towards the end, uh, Jojo was actually getting a, a binding with some wire, little bunches of, of dried flowers. That was to make this wreath set. So this is the next set we can offer you. Again, they don't come like this. They come as complete kits, but all of these are real dried flowers, not, not silk flowers in this instance, dried flowers. And we showed you, or Jojo did earlier on, how to kind of collect them into little bunches so that you get like an even distribution Absolutely. going around. So the kit consists of your two beautiful rustic wreaths. <laughs> Tangled up. <laughs> there we go. So you My get thought. those two sizes. You get your wire, which is a quality florist wire, to actually bind your bunches together and you get this and you get the um the hessian as well the jute and you get all of these beautiful dried flowers you've got lavender we're not sure what the other ones are but they're, they're all real and dried to perfection but it's the blue and the yellow again which obviously when you planned the show yeah. wasn't as apt yeah as i started now. yeah i started planning this at christmas right so you can imagine um I was a bit torn when I when I realised where we were going with the blue and yellow, and I just decided that we were going to go with it anyway because mm. yeah we do show that solidarity oh, anyway totally. um, yeah. you know we do show that compassion and care. Well, that one is what we'll demo and finish off that wreath in a second. So that's going to be our first demo in a minute or so. Let me come on to some other ones. Now, this is a little bit more dramatic. This is the Black Rose. And you said that the you wanted to do a wreath that wasn't just feminine. Yeah. Uh, you wanted to do one that was a little bit more masculine. Are you design, do, you, do you think it's a good idea to hang them from the ribbon or let the ribbon dangle? It's whichever way takes your eye. With that one, I personally use the ribbon as the hanger. Right. Um, however because of the way the flowers are set on it, you can use it whichever way. You will put the ribbons on wherever you like. So if you wanted the ribbons, the, the flowers at the bottom mm -hmm. of the wreath, you would move that you would hang the ribbon from, you would turn it a quarter and you would hang the ribbon from above the flowers. This could also so, be, bearing in mind it's black and white, it could be a, like a memorial tribute. It as could, well. yeah. It's something that we're all very, very scared of um, is actually doing things for, um, in memory of people who are no longer with us. Um, and so, you know, it has to be considered. You know, we, we find it difficult to make sympathy cards. We find it difficult to sometimes put our arms around people and just give them a hug. Mm. Um, I don't, I'm a bit of a hugger, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, you know, you can use it um, as a memory wreath, as a 
um, something that you would actually take to a grave if you Which wanted to. $24.99 for the kit. And all of the flowers, they, these are silk again, so they're perfectly suitable for out, the yep. outdoor use as well. Gorgeous ribbon, all nicely packaged for you. And of course you get the natural wreath as well. Now if that's a little bit too dramatic for you, what about the same sort of idea but in pink? And this one I know is one that you very often get asked to make yeah. because look at that focal flower in the middle. That peony is amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it looks so real. Uh, they are. And the, the, um, where I get these from, um, one of the things that I will always do is make sure that I bring you flowers that don't look one-dimensional one mm. uh, your flowers need to be as dimensional as they would be in the garden um, later down the line I will show you how to spray flowers different colors okay um, as well so that you can create your own looks but I always will bring you flowers that have that the most realistic look well, if you like this one, this is FM3118 and it's $24.99 for the kit. Uh, and again, it's a free phone number if you'd rather call to make your order, or if you'd rather do it on the website, of course, it's free to order there as well. Now, the next one we've got, this is actually rattan, which you may have got garden furniture made out of. It's the same sort of wooden material, um, but this is gorgeous. Uh, when you're looking to say that you love someone, whether it's mum, I mean, obviously we can't get this to you in time for tomorrow, uh, but if they know it's on its way and they know they've got this coming, what a fantastic little gift that will be. Uh, but also it could be uh, uh, the, the top table at a wedding. Or absolutely, party. absolutely. And once you've got the idea of how to bring the flowers together, there's nothing stopping you from creating a big table display as well. If you had, let's see, if you had four of <coughs> those and you laid them on the table with the top round parts together, mm -hmm. what a focal point that would be with the flowers in the centre. What a focal point really that would, would be. be. It'd be beautiful, wouldn't but it? But of course it could go in um, maybe a kid's bedroom, in your bedroom, on the bedroom door. Uh, just showing that there's a lot of love in the house, basically. Mm. Really, really lovely. Now, remember, it does come undecorated but you will get all of these fantastic silk flowers uh separately is that what was that one again that was um, that's um oh, cherry blossom my brain's gone. Uh, you've got cherry blossom and hydrangea that's it that's cherry the blossom one. and hydrangea there we go and of course that lovely rattan heart as well that one is 24.99 and that's ub3109 the project number product number now this one is the one that we actually demoed or, or jojo did in the last part of the hour um well it was no, wait, I put that? I um I it was earlier, wasn't it? Yeah, in the last part of the the like, the first show I snipped the flowers and, and wired them together just to show you how. Okay. So that's what these look like after you've put them into little bunches and then uh, the raffia is included with this as well but again you're going to get two wreaths uh, and this is just 24.99 for the two. Uh, and again look at all the dried flowers you're going to get. Absolutely beautiful. You do get your florist wire as well. But um, yeah, we were showing you, or Jojo was, how to actually space out your dried flowers and position them in little bunches. And then you can place them around the wreath and it all looks even. You haven't got too much on one side and not enough on the other. So that one, if you like the look of these two, again with the, uh, the jute uh, as well to actually hang it from. Uh, that's TZ3113, I think it is. Yeah, TZ3113, 24.99 the price for that one. Now the last one, is the most affordable and did prove very popular. Again, bearing in mind the significance now of blue and yellow, which, as we said before, Jojo planned this show back at Christmas when the significance wasn't there. Um, tell us, you're actually donating your profit from this. Yes, yes. So once all of the costs have been accounted for, so that's the products um, and other costs on costs, once we've, we've calculated that, the entire profit will go to the um, Craft for Ukraine appeal that we're running at Crafter Parks. Fantastic. This is only £7.99 pence, and also it's a lovely way of you showing your solidarity too. Absolutely. Maybe you know, putting it in the kitchen window or the lounge window or whatever you want yes. to do, wherever you want to put it. £7.99 for that and uh, again it won't take you long to make that at all because it's just a single uh, sunflower which is silk. You get these beautiful buds and a smaller sunflower as well and really that's all you need and of course the ribbon in the blue and the white as well. £7.99 and that's RG3120. Okay. okay, back to you then. Now, I have a little confession to make. So in my bunch of um, florals for this wreath product project, yep. I have missed out some elements. Okay. You will get the elements in your kits. I haven't got them in mine, so I will be demonstrating with less than you have, okay? okay? Right. I also need to tell you that the sample piece that you have there, this wreath base is larger 
because when it came to me, so this, the large one of the two that you've got there, Dave, mm -hmm. um, is 22 centimetres. Right. This one is 25. So we had a change in cost, of course, that's been absorbed um, because we couldn't get the 22s because at the moment shipping into the country is a little difficult. Mm -hmm. So we are having to source very carefully right now. So I just wanted to make you aware of those two differences, okay, uh, before I start. So what I'm going to do, because I've got less flour, I'm going to use, and I used the big wreath out of the first kit on the first show. Okay. So I'm going to use the small wreath on this one. Right. I'm actually uh, tempted to move the, the purple mat, but I better not. <laughs> <laughs> so what I've done is I've already wired together my flowers, okay? As I showed you in the last um, show, um, I've wired these together. You can see that I have some elements missing. Mm -hmm. I have less of the yellow, which I chose to do. However, it has made a difference to the size of the bunches that I have. Mm -hmm. I chose to put less in on mine. Um, so we have to be aware of that. And I haven't got the, the fat little corn um, heads that are in that one as well. So I'm working with less. You will get what you can see on that wreath there. I loved your idea earlier on that the wreath, especially the smaller one, could actually be like a little bird's nest. And with Easter, you could put Easter yeah, eggs in it. Yeah, now let's, so let's have a look at, should we have a look at that and see if we can make it like that? Yeah. Okay. So let, let's just have a little play around. This is how I do, this is how I do my Facebook lives. Everyone goes, uh oh, she's off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so first thing I want to do is have a look at the length and the, the shape of my bunches. Don't forget, you can gently move your bunches around a little bit. When you're wiring them together, I did show in the first um, hour how to wire these together. Mm -hmm. If you did miss it, then just give me a shout on social media and I'll happily do a little live something somewhere for you. It's not a problem um, if you haven't managed to record the show, of course. Mm -hmm. So let's have a little look. Also, now. you can watch the show back um, yeah. on our website as yeah. well. So you don't have to record it. If you want to watch back the two o'clock show, you can do that later on this evening or tomorrow. How or long does that stay live on um, there? Do you know? Two weeks, I think. Okay, that's yeah. cool. So as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of bringing this around now. I've got one very thin little bunch there and I wanted a thin little bunch just in case um, I needed a little filler. Can you see how easily you start to cover that wreath base. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to actually start wiring this on the smell of this lavender. It's just delicious. You can't help but be relaxed around lavender. Um, it is actually, um, um, as an essential oil, it's something that we use to bring relaxation mm -hmm. and calm to the mind, which we all need sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so I've wired these together. The most simple way of doing this now, if by the time you've wired these together, your thumbs are aching a little bit, they may well do. Um, hold your flower in place, bend your wire over and take it to the back. And then if your hands are tired, pinch and turn the wreath. Ah, rather right. than the right wire. Keep the wire static. Yeah, keep the wire still. Because if you're doing this all of the time and you've maybe got an arthritic joint or something, you know, we, it happens, doesn't it, as mm -hmm. we get older, um, keep twiddling a lot and you'll find that you, your joints might hurt a little bit. Um, so don't be afraid to twizzle the wreath around instead. Okay, good tip. That's a technical term in <laughs> floristry is twizzle. But okay. that's why people watch for the demonstrations because it's through your experience yeah. you found that to be a problem. Yeah. So. This is why we do it. This, yeah. is, this is why as crafters we like to show and share because at the end of the day we know the mistakes that we've made and yeah. how costly they can be. So let's prevent people from yeah. having to deal with that. Now you can see here this second piece that I'm putting down. The stalks are going to be quite wide so I'm actually going to cut these down once I've got it in place. Okay. So good, safe, but sharp scissors. I always use the larger scissors. Mm -hmm. I'm safer with big things that I can see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> small, small scissors and small tweezery things I struggle with. So again, pull that to the back and you can either twist, hang on, get those wires together, twist tightly, because it does have to be quite a tight bind. Okay, snip away the excess and bend the stick down. The thing is, whenever I go to a house that's got a wreath somewhere in the house, it just means 
I don't know, the whole house seems calmer. It, because colour is also a therapy method, we use colour therapy, don't we? And flower therapy. So it, it's all created, it's all there for like you harmony. to... harmony. Yeah. Mm. Um, and it's either, if you... So you can either have it as a karma. Um, somewhere down the line, we're going to be doing some really vibrant, bright colours that really... So like festival mm -hmm. colours, so that that really brings us to a, a, you know, an, a sense of excitement for the summer. And, but spring is gentle, and this is where we are right now. So these colours are gentle and soft, yep. um, and that's where we want to be right now. We don't want the snow, thank you very much. Weatherman can keep those. So can you see, although this is making a wreath, we're actually making a table centre at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to carry on wiring. Um, just, I'm just going to keep going round and round and round until I get to the last part. Um, on, on this, I am going to I am going to put the um, hessian through the back of the wreath again, like right. I did in the first show, uh, simply because I want this to be a full um, a full wreath. Okay, so I don't want any part of this to. Um, to not work for us. I want it to be really soft and gentle. I think the first wreath I've ever made was these colours as well. I love them. Ever, I absolutely ever love made. that colour combination. It's just, it's just a soft, gentle reminder of, you know, blue and yellow, um, colours of hope, colours of spring, colours of new beginning, all of that kind of thing. It doesn't take that long to do either. No, once you've done this bit, this is the this is the bit that takes the long time. Now, I know um, wreaths can obviously cost an awful lot of money oh to gosh. be able to make two of them for the twenty nine ninety nine, yeah. and we have it on split pay as well. So only paying fourteen ninety nine today plus your three ninety nine or three ninety five, sorry, uh, uh, P and P charge. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Well, I you know I mean I've I've had orders for these at the shop, and this is this is a little hint to those of you out there who want to maybe start your own mini business. Um, I'm never too precious that I won't share. Um, but the large one that you've got there in front of you, mm -hmm. um, I've just taken orders for those on their own for £30. Right. So to be able to make both for £29.99. Yeah. 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 Um, and, you know, I, I think, well, I, I kind of go, oh, I don't really want to charge that much. But when I'm being told... No, I want to buy that and I want to pay this much for it because it's worth it. Then you kind of go, oh, okay. Just think about, you know, uh, a high-end florist. We've all got them where we live. You know the ones that you think <laughs> about going into and then maybe think because <laughs> you know it's just everything's going to cost a fortune. I, ca I can imagine that being 30, 35 pounds, maybe even 40 pounds in yeah, some high-end florist. florist. Absolutely. Absolutely. more. Yeah. You know, if they're sold as being handmade and have been done by hand by someone in the shop. Yeah. So you can see now I'm really getting this full. I'm using all of the flower on this one because I'm packing it really tightly. What I've done on those ones is I've actually packed it more loosely, mm -hmm. although there are more florals on this one here that Dave's holding. Um, there are more florals on that one, but I've actually packed it very lightly and I've spread that yellow flower out quite a way so it covers the wreath base. Okay, so... Again, think about how you want to use the quantities that you have um, and how you want that wreath to work mm -hmm. best for you. Okay, this one we wanted to look at so that we could make an Easter project, an Easter table project, didn't we? So, Absolutely. So that's where we're going with this one. But equally, after Easter has been and gone, you Absolutely. could easily put it back as a wreath Absolutely. and hang it up on the wall. Absolutely. Hang it on the, on the door handle or whatever. Absolutely. Just... So obviously, when we're, doing, when we're working with this um, with dried, um, you don't want to cut anything with your wire cutters apart from the wire. Use scissors for everything else because the wire cutters are a little bit more brutal than normal scissors. Um, so you just want to um, cut. There we go. We're nearly there. And this is why I wanted the little one, right. just to fit in there. Mm -hmm. okay. But this is also where I would put my ribbon. Um, so I, I will show you that. Um, I will show you it as a hanger right the way around the wreath, but we'll pretend that it's going to be a table decoration mm -hmm. as well. How does that sound? Okay. 
and again, I'm using great big wire cutters. Please just use your little snips at home. Oh, sorry, I'm making an awful mess in here. That's all right. Everywhere I go with this, I do <laughs> just spread it about a bit. Okay, now, ordinarily, if I was going to make this as that table centre, I'm just going to move this away. This does look incredible, doesn't it? Laura, my producer, just said that looks amazing. I'd uh, love that in my house. I mean, it just looks lovely. Yeah, and it smells beautiful. Mm. And when that smell eventually fades, because obviously the natural smell will fade, uh, but when that smell ev eventually fades, just get yourself some lavender oil from usually chemists or holistic mm. shops, um, health food shops, some essential oil, and dab it on. So long as it's oil and not diluted, so if it's water, it will rot away the flour. So, so long as it's oil, put some on and you get that smell back. And this is purely for indoor because it's a dried flower. Yes. Yeah. Now, one thing I will say is when, you're, you, when you've got your, your um, dried flower, it does dry. You can see that the, the, the seed heads drop away. Um, get yourself from your cheapest shop possible um, a cheapest possible unperfumed hairspray. Right. Give it a quick blast with the hairspray and it will stop that dropping. Ah, okay. okay. Holds everything in place. It holds everything in place, unlike on my head. <laughs> right, so if I was going to have this as a table decoration, that would go there. Yeah. Okay, and then a flameless candle mm -hmm. in the centre. Beautiful for your Easter table. Battery operated one, there's lots of them looking absolutely, out. That look yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Especially if, and I, sh I could have brought one, thinking about it, wrap your spare piece of hessian around the, the belly of the candle. Yeah, great. And then you've really got your Easter decoration. So not only are these wreaths, they're almost table, table decks. decorations as well. Table decks. Time. And if you want your kids, you know, now what you have to remember, if you're doing this with children, yes, you need adult supervision for the wire and the scissors mm -hmm. and the cutters, okay? The flowers themselves are not going to hurt any child because they are natural. Okay, there's nothing in them, there's no chemicals there. So at the end of the day, you can use these with children so long as you've got supervision. You don't want, we know how, oh yeah, can I? Oh, 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 this is good. I'm loving this, thank you very much. There we are, look at that. So we just pop a candle straight in the middle. That does look good, doesn't it? And then if, this is a candle in a glass jar, yeah, obviously. That's one of our candles from our candle making kit, I think. Oh, is it now? Is it mm. now? I'm impressed. I might have to look at these candle making kits. They're great. Mm. I think I might have to have one of those to play with. Now, I wouldn't ordinarily tie the hessian around something this small. I would glue this, okay? But, again, let's just look Beautiful. at that. As an Easter table decoration, or if you wanted to put maybe some um, mini eggs or something like that Absolutely. in the middle of it, uh, put it on the coffee table. And then when Easter's done and dusted, you can then, of course, Ta -da, hang it up on the wall. There you go. Put the, Ooh, uh, put the hesse in and make it into a, a bow and then hang it up. So, so it's just gorgeous. So really that's nice. your table decoration. And to get your hessian in place, because that's what we're going to do right here, double your hessian over mm -hmm. so that you have a loop at one end and two tails at the other. Okay. Go round the inside of the wreath, push, my fingers don't want to work, push the tails through the loop, take the loop backwards and just ease that down and there you have. Perfect. Absolutely love that. Your wreath with your hanger. Now, what I also like to do with my hessian, by the way, just because I have to do this, guys, I have to. You know I'm messy. I just like to add Give it a bit of a that display, so. little bit of, yeah, and you just do that by getting hold of the end. It's quite satisfying doing that. <laughs> it's lovely. It's <laughs> like peeling sunburn <laughs> or peeling glue off your fingers, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> so there we go. And you can make that as rustic as you like with as many strands as you like. Brilliant. Well, let me just remind you of that particular wreath kit because you don't get one, you actually get enough to make two. But remember, they don't come like this. You make them into this. And if you do want to watch back the two o'clock show where uh, Jojo was showing you how to actually bunch the bunches together, uh, you can do that maybe after we go off air at six o'clock. It, it's easily accessible up to two weeks after the shows, okay? So that is $29.99, and amazingly, you get both the large and the medium size as well. All that dried, beautiful dried flowers that you've got there as well, the hessian, 
beautiful presentation. You even get, of course, the wire to make your bunches as well. So everything is included, uh, very, very good quality. Um, and you can really tell, I think, that JoJo puts her heart and soul into each and every one of these. It is also on split pay, so you can spend just for $14.99 today. That's uh, the first payment. The next payment in four weeks' time will be $14.99. And it's uh, LB3164. LB3164, that's the product code, okay? Okay, so let's quickly remind you of the wreaths on their own. Now, the wreaths on their own, we've got them in two different size options, and we've also got some flowers on their own as well. So the two different sizes, first of all, is this one and this one. So if you've got your own idea, your own agenda, or you want to use uh, flowers that you've already got or whatever, it's entirely up to you. Or maybe just love them as, as natural wreaths because they look lovely on their own without any decoration. $7.99 is a really good price for the large and the medium. Uh, they are uh, PW3174 product number. And then if you want the two smaller ones, and these really do make me think of like little bird's nests and that mm. sort of thing, they're really cute. But they're good sizes. The kind of bangle size, I suppose. I think they're uh, about eight, eight, ten centimetres across, okay. somewhere around there. Only five ninety nine for the two, and it is all natural. It's grapevine again. Grapevine. Yeah. There we go. So a lovely rustic rural look. Five ninety nine, and if you've already bought something today, remember you don't have to worry about any more PMP. It's just three ninety five for all of your orders in any one twenty four hour day from midnight to midnight. Now, the Lucky Dip of flowers, now, it's called a Lucky Dip because basically you're going to get this quantity, but the variety of flowers you get may be slightly different. Um, but it gives you a rough idea of what you're going to get for the price. Uh, only £9.49, and pence, but you will get a lovely variety to play with. Absolutely. Um, and that is, that's the bare minimum that's going in as well. The, it could well be that... Um, I, I kind more of, generous. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do tend to do that. I get told off quite a bit when I get the girls come along and go, oh, hey, hang on a minute, what are you doing there? And I go, oh, yeah, but it'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but that but is a bare minimum kit. Of, uh, but the quality and the quantity uh, will not drop. And they're all silk. Yep, they're all silk. All silk flowers. Uh, a lovely array there, but yours may be different to this, but it will be the same quantity for £9.49. That's GY3195 if you'd fancy doing your own flower arrangements or making your own wreaths or just having lots more artificial flowers of quality to actually play with at home. £9.49, and that's yours. Right, so where are we off to next? Can I tell you something? Go on. I have forgotten to say this, um, but... You know the little tiny wreath at the very end? Yeah. Um, for me, I kind of put it together thinking that it would be perfect for a kid's activity. Mm -hmm. It's a really good way to get children involved because it's not too big. Um, with that, we have actually included a mini packet of sunflower seeds. Oh, right. That's cute. And the little instructions about how to, um, to um, plant those out as well. So you get three giant sunflower seeds right. in there as well as your little kit. So you actually kind of got two activities there. But only 7 99 yeah. as well. And remember, all of JoJo's profits from that is going to go to the Ukraine Craft Charity. Yes, so. it's Craft for Ukraine. It's um, Craft of Hearts is, is doing its own fundraiser. And we, we've already started raising funds for, for that. And, and the profits of that will go to Crafts for Ukraine. RG3120, that's the product code for just £7.99. pence. Okay, let's remind you then of the big sunflower. Let's go back to the big sunflower collection. There we go. So you're going to get both of these not decorated. That's the, the job that you've got to do, and you'll have so much fun doing it as well. Uh, you get a lot of foliage. You get at least three sunflowers, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and you've got lots of greenery there as well. What are the blue flowers? Do you know what they're called? They are... You keep asking Sorry. me this, and my crib <laughs> sheet with all the names on is back at the shop, and I can't remember because I wrote them down. I didn't keep them in my it's head. Cornflowers and blue. It's not they? a cornflower, no? but cornflowers would look absolutely glorious on there as mm. well. At the end of the day, we've coordinated, or I've coordinated these kits for you so that they work pleasingly to the eye um, for me. Um, hopefully for you guys too. Um, but if you've got other items around the home, there is no saying you can't use those. 
Um, I do want to show you how to incorporate some raffia okay, great. Uh, later and a little bit of ribbon on this next demo as well so that you can start using your craft, craft room items in your projects as well. well. I know this was one of the most popular reads that we had in hour one. So if you want to go for all this, you're going to get the large and you're going to get the medium. And you don't have to decorate them as, as Jojo has. You can do what you want with them. But I think you'll agree they look absolutely glorious like this. They really, really do. And that was the first demo we did in the two o'clock show, which you can watch back if you want to whenever you've got time. Um, OK, so we're going to go move on to the... Uh, onto the well, I want to do the heart wreath because um, one of the reasons for that okay one of the reasons for that is that when I first did a heart wreath I got very carried away with myself <laughs> I loved it I had a great time but I lost the shape of the heart in amongst all of the flowers that I was using uh, easy to do that wasn't really it? easy to do it's a really simple thing because we kind of um, we kind of automatically look to put a large flower at the bottom there then if we fill this we lose the fact that it's a heart shape, yeah? Gotcha. Yep. So we have to remember that we need to, the, the whole point of having this shape is that we want it to look like a heart. We don't want it to look, look, we'll look like a up. bumpy circle or something like that. So that's why I wanted to bring this one. Um, I also want to explain something about some of the silk flowers. Now on the back of some of the silk flowers, you will see that they've got little cups that the flowers sit in. If I hold it like that, you can see that little cup there, mm -hmm. okay? Now it's very tempting, especially when you're in a rush, to think that you can just pull that flower head off instead of snipping it properly. Right. Yes, sometimes it will work. But if you happen to leave that plastic cup behind, your whole flower will fall apart. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you're gonna have, for some reason I've got a, oh yeah, I have got a white peony in my heart. Um, I actually did it with one of these and I pulled the end, not realising that there isn't even a little cup on this one. Right. <laughs> I pulled it off and the whole... It just went... <laughs> 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 so try and have a look at your flowers before... It, so for instance, this, I can pull the whole of that off, mm -hmm. but if I start pulling the flowers off individually, they will fall apart, right. okay? So just double check, that's all I'm saying, because what you don't want to happen is you get this beautiful idea in your head of where your flower's going to go. You start chopping them up or pulling them apart and they will fall apart. So that's another reason that I wanted to bring this and show how to. So with the heart, would you use the wire or would you use glue? I'm going to use glue right. on this occasion. You can use wire. Um, let me just find a piece of wire. So we can, because obviously this is a very thick stem, now, I'm not sure if it's got wire in the middle. It has got wire in the middle. So if I want to cut that stem down so it makes it more usable to go inside part of the wreath, mm -hmm. okay, but I still need some length. Let's get that out of the way. I can wrap this. So I can bring that wire in. I can do my twisting around. And at this point, I would twist both ways and actually overlap the wire as you're twisting and you bring it down the stem I haven't got enough length on this wire but you would bring it down the stem and you would twist it at the end and then you'd have a certain length where you could wrap that through okay, okay. I personally with the silks always always like to just glue right because this and this hot glue Hot glue. I use hot glue. I pers I haven't got any experience of using cold melt glue. I don't know how it performs. No, I'm not, I've never um, seen that. I've never quite fancied it, um, so I don't use it. Right. So I always Stick use hot glue. You know. And again, if you're using hot glue with your children or anybody who is um, not so sure about their dexterity, do supervise, do sit close by, because mm. obviously hot glue is a, is a little bit of a, mm -hmm. we don't want that, uh, that kind of accident to happen. Okay, so first thing I want to do with this is I want to work out whether I want to see the flower sitting forward or if I want to bring it inwards. Mm -hmm. Now again, if I want to bring it inwards, look what happens with that heart shape at the bottom. I start to lose it straight away. Yeah, you do. Okay, so I'm going to have this, I'm going to tuck it in, and the great thing about any of your wreath bases, if you're using this kind of wreath base, is that you're going to be able to tuck things in and then glue. 
rather than as, as we bring more shows forward, you're going to have to glue on and, and it gets a bit trickier. But the idea today was we're starting out. So I'm going to want my beautiful white peony to sit there. I think this is a peony as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just get me glue gun. And I'm going to look at where it's sitting. And all I'm going to do is glue a few little presses. Glue comes out slowly on this gun. Just where those petals and that part of the flower is going to sit. Okay. And this rattan's slightly more open, isn't it? So it's yes. a bit easier to position yes. the flower. Yes, so you're actually able to poke yep. in a little bit more. Um, I'm also going to, can you see this, these um, little leaves here? They can provide a really good anchor point. Okay, so this is, we're getting a bit technical now. You need anchor points, especially on a large flower. It's going to be weighty. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look at how we can best anchor that. I need my specs on. There we go. And just dab that onto there. And again, I'm going to go in under here. Um, it's always good when you're doing your hot glue in and you've got an open wreath like this, it's always good to have um, a heat resistant mat underneath you right. because your glue will drip through. Can you see here? Mm -hmm. I've got a nice big string of glue coming under here. So that will dry solid and you can chip it off. Can't That's you? right. You can yeah. just, just pick, you know, this will just pull off. But do be aware that some will drip through and that is hot. Yeah. Don't rest your arm in it like well, Jojo did. Either a heat resistant did. mat or a glass mat would be good. Glass mat, heat, yeah. Th this kind of mat, the self-healing and also the... Um, Silicon mats. Silicon mats and tef what's the, is it Teflon that goes in the oven? Teflon yeah. is a brand. I know there's other brands yeah. available. Oopsie. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that kind of thing. And, and those are quite cheap as well. So And you can just roll the, the glue off when that happens. So, <coughs> excuse me. So now I've got my big peony here. I don't want to interrupt this heart shape anymore from here. So what I may do, I'm, I want to enhance it perhaps. So what I might do is use this ivy to come down the side nice. and enhance that shape. Mm -hmm. So making a wreath is just like any other crafty project. Look at your shape, look at your colour, look at where you want to place things and look at how they might help, because I might not want to put the ribbon dangling off the bottom of this one. But also, I mean, if you've ever thought about flower arranging, I know your background has been in flower arranging, yeah. but if, if you've ever felt daunted by it, thinking, I haven't got a clue, this is a relatively it's simple project. perfect. Yeah, to start. Perfect, because take away the wreath base, add a little bowl, or just tie them in a bunch, just using the same principles... This is how you can do it. Mm -hmm. And this is, again, if you've got children who are um, a little bit challenged in their um, thinking processes, take away the glue gun, give them these, some string, let them make bunches of flowers. Yeah. It's what kids love to do. Yeah, yeah. Kids, you know, any child will go into a field and pink, pick a bunch of daisies for gran, grandma, auntie, carer, whoever, you know, teacher, you know, they'll always want to take flowers to somebody. So, so let them, let them do this. And because you're working with silk flowers in this instance, they can't damage them. They're not nope. going to ruin them. Um, and if you're really crafty, you know, if they get a bit grubby, you can always paint them. <laughs> the kids can paint them, you know. I love nothing more than spraying flowers with something. Absolutely. Now, I'm tempted to tuck this here. I just need to check that I'm not losing that shape and I'm actually not I'm still staying within shape here because I'm not bringing it around the corner and all I'm doing is just putting some dots of glue down not getting my fingers involved with this glue if you notice because well, in, in the first show you have these little um, almost like lolly sticks lolly sticks they're great to get into contact yes. with the, the glue so you don't yes. get your fingers near it now when we do a, a, again a show further down the time I'm just gonna get the plug on this a second um, when we get a show further down the line, I will be showing you how I like to, I like to really ram flowers right in to give a, a much denser finish. So when you, you can't do that with your fingers with hot glue, so you're going to have to have a stick or a shovel. I tell you what I have got is um, an old knitting needle okay. because they're coated. 
Or maybe so a kebab skewer. Kebab skewers. Mm. They, wood will always gather some glue, so yeah. you'll always end up with a knob of glue on the end and you can't get it off, so you'll need more of these. Mm. But if you've got something that's coated and that dry glue can be taken off, you just keep using it, keep using it. Oh. So less waste. I do really like a little bit of less waste. I'm such a stingy moo. <laughs> so we can see here that glue now there, just dried. Just yeah. pick it up, get it out of the way, okay? But you just have to remember that it's hot and it's there. So this piece here now, I'm going to bring towards the centre. Now this will mean that I can keep my shape need to take a little bit of the end off. As I was pushing that in, I could feel it wouldn't go far enough mm -hmm. in for me. Now with this area here, you can see it's going to be hard for me to put a dot of glue in there. I want the end of this to go right into that little gap there. If I, if I get my finger out of the way, right into that little gap there, okay? So I'm actually going to put some glue in there first and then I'm going to poke this home. Okay. Okay. Now don't forget, we can't get this to you in time for tomorrow, sadly. Um, it would have made a fantastic Mother's Day gift, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Um, but if Mum knows it's on its way, if you uh, maybe you're watching the show with your Mum right now, would you like me to get that for you, Mum? And then you make it when it comes in the next few days. How special would that be? If I know that it's for a Mother's Day gift, <coughs> I might add something extra as well. Oh. There might be some beads or some oh. pretty crystally things or... Let me know if it's going to be a said, I thought you said you were stingy. You're generous. Well, it just would be a nice thing for Mum, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I know the guys at home are going to be going, stop it, she's on it already, she's doing it, and she's giving stuff away again. I just, I just like the idea that people will really enjoy their projects. Yeah. Absolutely. And the person that receives it is going to love the Absolutely. idea that it's not just been bought, it's been made by you yeah. for that person. That yeah. makes it even more special. Yeah. Um, now this one, this end here is too bulky for where I want it to go. So I'm going to snip that away. Those are going to poke. This is going to be a bit fiddly. Those are going to poke in there. Now at this point you can put a tiny piece of wire around these just to hold them in place. Mm -hmm if you're trying to poke something in and it's it's too open-ended it won't go it won't go in properly okay so a tiny piece of wire doesn't have to be really really solid just enough so that I can get that into the gap that I want it to go into which is right there right in there and I'm just gonna take my gun move that bar out of the way because I want to get this right in now, I do have to warn you that sometimes we have to remember that the stalks are plastic, okay? Oh, okay. So when you're using a hot glue gun, I'm going to show you one of the downsides. Okay, right. Okay. Um, when we are using a hot glue gun, if your hot glue gun is super, super hot, you may apply it, the hot glue, to the end of your stems and if you're lucky, they won't melt. There you go. Can you see that melting up? Yes. So just remember that if I glue the end of that and I want to push that home, by the time I get it to the gap that I want it to go into, it's changed shape completely right, and yep. I'm not going to be able to get it in. So always put your glue where you want to put the flower and that's why you need your pokey stick as gotcha. well. Okay. Gotcha. So we're just going to snip that little hot bit away. I don't want that on my fingers. Thank you. And we're going to see where I want to put these ones. Let's have a look. I'm going to, I think I'm just going to continue around here. Again, I'm, I'm looking to make sure that I don't lose my shape fully. So I, I'm going to want that one to go in there. I have to say, I do find a cordless glue gun very useful at this yes, point. Yes, I've got one of those as well. Yeah, very they're very, handy. very handy. Um, the cable usually gets in the way all the time. A friend of mine um, was with me when I was doing a live in the hotel room, and I, I had the tiny little shelf in the hotel room, and she said, you've got that glue gun going all over you, and the cable, and it's just not safe. And she said, no, 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 we're going to go and get you one that, that's much safer. So also, if you had a cable one, it would start probably interfering with the flowers. It and does, it does, yeah. And it, that is something that you really have to be very careful. Let's just have a look and see what that looks like in there. And this, you know, this is how I want you 
to start putting your reeds together. Don't glue it until you've seen how it looks. I want to just see. Yeah. Do a dummy run. Do a practice think, run first. Yeah. If you like it, glue it. I think I really quite like that there because that counterbalances yep. this piece. Okay. So I'm actually looking at where I poked it. Often what you find is you work your way around and you push things in and you think, oh, it doesn't go in there. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't go in there, it doesn't want to go in there. No, exactly. Okay. So don't try and force it in there. Now remember, this is only 19.99 if you'd like it. Um, SADR 96. Is, is that all? 19.99? Oh, yeah, flipping okay, out, I am And you also get... Well, if you go for the... Oh, this is for the glue gun. Beg your pardon. Sorry, that's ah. 99 for the heart. Um, there, <coughs> what are the details of the glue gun? So the glue gun is coming with some glue sticks as well. And it's a Dremel as well, so a great brand. Ooh. If you fancy that, 0800 0014 uh, 433 is the free phone number, or you can order at, of course, hobbymaker.co.uk. 1999 if you need a glue gun. The details, though, for the heart, if you want that, that's going back on for you. And here, that comes any minute now. And that price was... 34.99 or 39.99 it's going down though not to that price it's going to be a lot lot lower than that it's going to go down to 24.99 you get all those beautiful silk flowers and of course uh, that fantastic heart as well from rattan and That's we're just going to finish this off now yep. okay we're just going because i'm i'm watching the clock ticking down i'm putting the other piece of the long ivy at the other end mm -hmm. again counterbalancing so you're always thinking about your design i've got this big leaf left now i'm not sure if i want to use this i'm not sure where it might go that piece has just twizzled in the wrong way go that way if i use this big piece now with the design that i've got i could well lose the shape of of what i've been working to so you could always put it on another project yeah i'm going to save that and i'm actually going to save this tiny bit of flower as well so i've got i've got these two now, there's no reason why, again, candle mm -hmm. with a little bit of, of string wrapped around it and these two added in, or some of your ribbon, okay? So, I don't want, because I've now got this ivy extenuate, extending, extenuating, extending the shape of my heart, okay? So, I want to bring my ribbon in in a different way. That ivy does, it kind of acts like punctuation, doesn't it? Yeah, it it does. kind of really gives yeah, you yeah. a contrast. Absolutely, and you, you've got your stop and your start on the design, you've got your content. It's just like any other craft project, mm -hmm. any other cards, anything. Now this piece of ribbon, I'm actually, I love this stuff. It's, um, it's like, a, it's almost like a spider web. Yeah, do they call it angel's hair or something like that? I don't, I don't know what they call it. I'll have to have another look. This is something I will improve on. I will write names of everything <laughs> down for us, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I actually want to, I'm going to make a little bow to go on here, which mm -hmm. is what I did on, on the demo piece. Now, I don't do bow makers, all right? Oops. I can't work out bow makers to save my life. So this is how I make my bow. I get a loop. I wrap around, I can't remember how I'll do it now. <laughs> so take it round the back, that's you, it. You do it without explaining so, it. Yeah, you do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So make my loop, take, it, take the long piece over my thumb to make a second loop here, poke through, grab the ears and wiggle. Perfect and bow. then what we do to make it into the perfect bow, and this is what you can't do when you're using a bow maker. You can't faff around with it because it ties it tight. Right. So what we do is we bring it right down in, sh in size and then we pull again and then we bring it down in size, pull again, tighten it up. There we go. Oh, that's a nice sound, that guillotine. I, guillotine. I love the sound of a guillotine. Kilo guillotine. Keith is getting his guillotine out. It's a bit of a worry. <laughs> I'm glad you said guillotine. <laughs> Saying nothing. Okay, so I'm just going to slice on the diagonal. That is just going to sit right there, okay? Well, I think you've inspired so many people today to take up wreath making. It's I been hope fantastic so. To meet I you really do hope so. These kits are great. They really are. And they're going to look fantastic in everyone's home, whether it's we're buying it as a kit to make yourself for your own home or whether you're buying it as a, a project to gift to someone special. Absolutely. <coughs> to make sure that we tie the ribbons together so we make it look like it's meant to be, not just an add-on. 
I'm actually going to poke a little loop of ribbon into a gap there. Touch of glue. I know we're about to finish, aren't we? I just want yeah, to finish this one off. Push it in. And this is where you need your stick. Push that right home. Just so that you can see a small amount poking through. Okay. Beautiful. And that's it. I'm not going to do anything else done. to this one. Um, just hold it up for us. You sure can. There we, there go. we go. Look at that. Let me move to the side because my top's pink and cream. And you said earlier on that a, a bridesmaid could, or a bridesmaid oh, could, yeah. could carry that, or even the, the, the bride herself. The girl. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could make this. Um, you could you could increase the amount of flower. You could make it. You could really bring that ivy, a lot of ivy, I'm down yeah. off. Yeah. And then bring your flowers down as well. Um, using some wire to extend the stems and it could be a beautiful flo uh, floral piece for a bride. Well hopefully um, that demonstration has inspired you and all the demonstrations from Jojo today has inspired you to take up wreath making. Whether it's uh, for your kitchen, your bedroom, the hallway, uh, the entrance hall, whatever you've got or a gift for someone else. Um, maybe it's going to be a housewarming gift. What a really <gasps> nice thoughtful idea. gift that will be. You know, to give them something they can put on the wall in the kitchen or wherever and think oh mum got that for me or my daughter got that for me or my son got that for me um, there's so many to choose between and do remember this one which is the uh, lowest price in the show only 7.99 it's going to come with three sunflower seeds in as a well packet, so maybe yeah. it's your first sunflower that you're going to be growing as a little a kids uh, kids project or something like that okay. so you forgot to mention that earlier but there will be three sunflower seeds so you can actually grow the real thing in the garden. The kids can get involved. But remember this, all the profit, for, or should I say Jojo's profit from this, is going to go to the Ukraine um, craft charity as well. So uh, you'll be doing your bit to only $7.99. And of course, the reason that we're doing this is the colours blue and yellow, although that wasn't even really considered because this was back in December. December, we were, we yeah. Were planning it. So um, all that's happened since, obviously. So uh, what about, you want to go for the larger sunflowers? Again, you've got that beautiful yellow and blue combination, all that wonderful foliage. This has been one of the most popular uh, wreaths of the show, most popular of the day. Not surprisingly, we all thought that would be the most popular. Yeah, um, so you've got that lovely large and the medium size of wreath and all those beautiful silk sunflowers as well. But all the other kits you'll see, I think my personal favourite actually is, is still this That's, one. That has proven to be a massive favourite, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I, do, I love the rustic, rusticness of yeah, it, I really yeah. do. It's authentic, isn't it? Absolutely. Safe journey back to Wales. Thank you very much. Great having you here Thank and you. Uh, making your debut today, but I'm sure you'll, we'll see you again soon. Uh, yeah, I've got a show date for the 7th of March, I think. Great, okay. No, 7th of May, 7th of sorry. April. Oh, May. 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 Yeah, right. not April. I right. can't, April. can't do that quick. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you do, stay tuned. We're still live here, of course, on Hobby Maker. Uh, we're live until 6, and we've got our final show coming up with Kilo Keith in just a few seconds. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P and P. Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are live from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. every day on Sky Channel 670, FreeSat Channel 807, and Freeview Channel 73.
You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Hi, I'm Sandra Rushton and I am the owner of Santangle, which is a small business in Lincolnshire where it's only been going uh, three years or so, but uh, we are really, really passionate about what we do. So it's a very mindful form of art. That's its basic core. So if you can hold a pen and draw a line, you can tangle. And it's about that mindfulness, that relaxation, and about you having a moment just for you. But as a result of you having that moment of putting pen to paper, you can create wonderful works of art. We do a lot of live videos, so we're very, very invested in education. We like to have people come to classes, but then, of course, the products that I design, we make ourselves. So we're involved in every step of the way, from the very, very, say, the very first drawing, to how it goes onto the computers, to how it's machined, to even books that we still hand make. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing where we go. It's the start of something new, and I honestly, I feel that. I feel that it's something exciting. And I'm, I'm so glad I'm in at the beginning because I don't know where it's going, but it's only going somewhere good. This is the place for me. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Happy Saturday. Hello, it's the last live hour of the day. Great to have your company here at Hobbymaker. Look, he's back for a third helping. Happy, Sat happy Saturday. <laughs> It's Saturday, isn't it? It is, David, yeah. 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 I thought I got a day wrong for a minute. <laughs> Happy Saturday, Happy everybody. Saturday. I must remember, clocks go forward tonight. So everybody remember that. Mothering Sunday tomorrow. We're going to be here live as ever between 1 and 6 for some Mother's Day shenanigans, which we're looking forward to. Um, right, it's good you'll be told with that, David. Otherwise, they've got the wife up an hour early. Earlier than... I've been up there, a cup of tea, you know, yep. bacon butty. Yeah. Best behaviour to But about on. four o'clock in the morning, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go down well. Uh, right, now we've got the kilos in the, the kilos show. Are here. Skippy Skippy here. Kilos are here. Absolutely. Uh, they flew earlier in the last show that we did a couple of hours ago. We've also got the foodlies that you've absolutely loved, the tongue-in-cheek humour of the foodlies. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, all will be revealed fairly soon. But something extra we put in the show right now as well. This is your core cardstock, isn't it? Your core cold. Do you know, David, I uh, started to sell this range of product, this exact same range of products, um, the best part of 25 years ago. Really? It's lasted the test of time for 25 years. It's the, it's the product that should be in everybody's craft room. It's a solid core, 236 GSM, yep. uh, four-ply board, which basically means it's a solid core. It's pink on the front, pink in the back, and pink in the middle okay. on all of the sheets. Now, we've got three collections for you, which you can see on your screen there. We've got the uh, core basics, which is your blue and your greys and your creams and your ivories. So this one here. That's that one there. Yeah. Uh, includes black as well. So it's a lovely, what we call everyday essential kind of products range there from the biscuit to the black to the cream to the ivory. And of course, you've got that lovely blue where we make it up colour number eight. Lovely. Then you've got the pastels, Dave, which is this one that you've got in your hand here. This is beautiful. I mean, again, you've got the pinks, the light blues in there, the light greens, the mauve colour. Again, uh, um, the sky blue, the lemon included, the strawberry pink. And of course the uh, the green as well, the jade green. So that's the pastel. That's, that's a pastel. Now there's 24 sheets in each one of these, so that's 48 in those two. Okay. And now this is the bright version, which again you've got your bright deep purple, you've got your bright Christmassy red, you've got your oranges, you've got your golden oh, yellows, yellow, beautiful yeah. there. And of course the sky blue, uh, lemon yellow, the daffodil I should say, the raspberry, and of course the lime green. Now the thing with the range like this, Dave is. It's timeless, yeah. and I can tell you, the reason this has been popular for 25 years 
is that there's all of these colours will have some part in the year. Mm -hmm. Now we're in spring now, mm -hmm. so your daffodils, your oranges, your lemons, all of those colours, the lime greens, all of those colours come into their own. So these are all colours that you'll use every single part of the year. So that's why there's, the, there's not going to be any wastage or anything like that whatsoever. You get 72 sheets in total for 21.75, which is a discounted price. And remember, if you've already bought something today and you've paid your 3.95 PMP, this is going to be delivered without PMP because you only pay 3.95 no matter how many orders you put in during the day. Maybe you went for the kilo cardstock in the last show that uh, Keith did about two hours ago, and you're thinking, oh, I wish I got that at the same time. I didn't know that was available. It doesn't matter. It's not going to cost you any more in your postage. Just order it now. It's FW2110. That's the product code. Uh, you can do it on the website. You can do it, of course, on the free phone number to our call center. 0800 0... Oh, hang on. 0800 001 4433. That's the way to say it. I always get the phone number. Yeah, it's always difficult. To, you have to try to put your teeth in, Dave, really. Yeah, that's I the thing, really. I know. And it's a hard job to do. Uh, but the, this is a, a real, as I say, 20, uh, 72 sheets, 24 in each color range. But this is timeless. You're not going to... Let me just put them all the other way, David. I'll mix them back up again. It's, it's all right. It's no problem. I'll mix them back up. I'll put the green into there. And we'll, what colours are there? But, all right. Just so I know where the separation is. But look how, how thick that is. It's a real cascade of colour. And if I do that and just show you then what this colour palette looks like when we spread it out for you, look at that cascade of your colours. It's like going into a paint shop and having it, you know, all of those colours at hand in your craft room. So when you want to matte and layer, when you want to die cut, you've got every colour in there, Dave, that will work for every occasion. It you've is got, timeless, honestly. You've basically really got is. every eventuality covered with this in a one-stop shop. So FW2110 is the product code, 2175 the price. Give us a call or use the website, whichever you find most convenient. And by the way, if you're not a customer, and we're urging everyone who's not a customer that's just watching to become a customer to take advantage of our fantastic deals, uh, all you have to do is register on the website or the, you can do that with the operator as well on the free phone number. The website is, of course, hobbymaker.co.uk and you basically just click the you're not a customer and then they ask you for your email address and make up a password that's all you've got to do and then you're in and then you can enjoy all the fantastic deals and the capped PMP per day uh, okay now those are your, of course your core colors so from your neutrals right the way through to your pastels through to your brights and we'll get a demo of those? We'll or? play around in a minute too, okay. yeah. And we'll show you what So what else about. have we got then? We've also got the kilos for you. Yes, if you missed it earlier, where were you? Where were you? Never mind being out in the garden, doing a bit of gardening today. Well, even the good, the good news is, though, we've still... Hey, we're glad that you've joined yeah. us now. Better late than never. still again. got stock, that's the thing. Now, <laughs> we know that if you were to go to Royal Mail and post three kilos of cardstock, you'd be looking first class around about 15, 16 quid. That's what they quote on the website. What we're giving you are a kilo of the satin gold, a kilo of the high high shine silver and a kilo of what has to be one of the most unusual card stocks ever this beautiful holographic silver now we're going to let you have it at a great price we're going to deliver, deliver it with our pmp of just 3.95 or if you've already bought something today you were not even charging you with that they come in three separate boxes Loads of you earlier on actually ordered as many as four sets of this, which is just brilliant because for $27.99 or the two split payments of $13.99, you're going to have, th well, around about 60 sheets. We can't say exactly because it's done by weight, but yep. three kilos of gorgeous, luxurious cardstock. If you go to our website, you can buy them individually as well. Uh, but of course, that way you pay more. $13.99 is the cost for one. So it's like you're getting one set of the kilo cardstock for nothing if you buy the set of three. And that's over 60 sheets per box yes. Dave so you're looking over a hundred and one hundred and eighty oh, yeah and well, I love, it'll be over that I love the fact that the boxes are included too because you can keep them nice and dust free and in good condition in the box you get three cardboard boxes imagine trying to post that and getting it posted for 395 it just doesn't happen except here at Hobby Maker so that was one of our most busiest and most popular products in the uh, what time was it three o'clock show wasn't it yeah LB 2147 if you want to take advantage of Kilo Keith's Kilo deals, killer kilo deals. Uh, 0800 001 4433 or hobbymaker.co.uk. Okay, I'll oh, be doing the food list now as well. Yeah, okay. Just right. mention it, Dave, because then I'm, and then we'll drag it into what okay. I'm going to demo. Now, what is the food list all about? All right, let me explain. What are the food, food list all about, Dave? The food list. Uh, kind of tongue-in-cheek seaside postcard humor that's what you've got here some of them are a little bit saucy um, but so they're all just really great humor they really really are now you can go for the buy the show which gives you all of the foodlies 
goodies, but it also gives you the dyes, it gives you card blanks, it gives you adhesive paper as well that you can die cut to, uh, or you can just buy the Foodly's bundle on its own as well at a discounted price. But let's get saucy. There you go. Look, um, some of these I'm not going to read out, but I just, uh, I just. Oh, I like it when you lick me all over. <laughs> I like it when you lick me all over. <laughs> uh, I like bacon. Do you want a strip? <laughs> Oh, this is just really good, you go oh, it's for it, good you. British, you know, uh, tongue-in-cheek humour, it really is. But there you go, look, um, uh, I mean, isn't that lovely? It's a lovely little special sentiment. day, there you go. There you go. Let's get gla uh, glazy together. Let's glazy together, I yes. Mean, this one, look at this one. Who doesn't like donuts? Yeah, not to be corny, but... You're so serially wonderful. Serially wonderful, David. There you go. There. <laughs> These are really, really great fun. Yeah, really we're deep are. fried. We're deep fried, David, honestly. Uh, it is a, a real great fun collection, all about that humour, bringing in those elements in there as well. And there's more because you've got this product in your hand now, Dave. OK, so that is the buy the show. So you're going to get, basically, you're going to get your 48 toppers. Uh, you're going to get also 48 of your uh, decoupage stash as well. You're going to get your background cardstock. You're going to get your sentiment background cardstock. As well as that, you're going to get your card blanks, 20 card blanks, 8x8, plus the envelopes. And you're going to get 20 sheets of the adhesive. And the colorways of the adhesive uh, match with the colorways that's used in the Food Leads cardstock. And you've also got how many of the small stash? You get 30 of those, David. 30 but of those. bearing in mind, every one of those is designed to cut in half. So that yep. is six, 60 workable elements in that little so set. That, that's there. 60 cards in your hand without all the other elements so you can make probably a good couple of hundred cards depending on how you know, how you actually break it down so that is the by the show you're going to get also the dies which are just here yes and they're all elements that you can add to the food list you've got uh, top hats you've got crowns you've got ties you've got glasses all that sort of thing so you can actually can put some love heart glasses on one of the foodly characters you could put those glasses on that ice cream cone if you wanted to or on uh, anything else that's in the foodly's collection but really good that's in there as well together with your holographic card stock and also you get of course the card blanks as well there's everything in there for that price of 92.35 we do have it on four interest-free split payments as well. So it's 23.08. That's your first payment today, 23.08. And that's going to get you everything that you can see on the screen there. All of the Foodly's goodies and the card blanks are the adhesive sheets and the dies and the holographic sheet as well. Now, if you want the collection without the dies and without the holographic and without the adhesive sheets and cardstock, you just want the food list, then that's available for you. So you'll get your inserts, you'll get your toppers, you get your decoupage pad, you get your background sentiment cardstock, the background printed patterned cardstock, your double sided uh, uh, elements there, the stash, which you can make two cards out of each one. All of that in there for $20.99, your first split payment of three, or you can pay in full if you want to, $62.99. The choice is yours. Product code for that, UM2140, and anything that takes your fancy singularly, you can buy those on the website as well. If you just want some more um, like decoupage stashes or topper stashes, they're all available as individuals, and they're all listed on the website, hobbymaker.co.uk. Right then. So, Dave, I'm just going to take a few of the elements um, and we're going to use it with the core range of cards. Uh, and I say, small amounts goes a long way, really. So I'm just looking at what my demo is that I'm going to do. And I was thinking, right, well, yeah, we'll have a little bit of a play with that. We'll put one of those in there. We'll, give some, we'll do some glasses in the same blue, possibly, as well, just to have a little bit of fun with those as, as well, Dave. And then I thought what we might do on here is we might do a little bit of a, a tie in the, in the lemon yellow. The thing is, when you've got, 20, uh, when you've got all of these colours, you know, 24, Four different colours, you know. Mm -hmm. Very rare that these days you can go into any craft stores and you know be able to have that choice of being able to pick out all of those colours, you know, in one go. And of course, you've got the great cascade of, of colour down on there uh, as well. well I'm looking at my demo and thinking, right, what am I going to do with it, really? So let's just have a little bit of a play as to what we're going to we'll do. We'll do a little crown in the purple as well, just because I can and I will. And I think I'll just do that. Really. And we'll, uh, we're going to put these two just to show you. This is great just for your die cutting, your fun elements on there to be able to play around. So let's just put one onto there. We'll put that one onto there. I'm saying, Keith, that this has stood the test of time for 25 years. It's a classic. You yeah. Know, you, it's never going to go out of date. You've got virtually every colour and shade you could wish for at any point during the year. It's an instant. If you are a brand new crafter, it's an instant stash. It's an instant, really useful stash of card at a great price. 21.75 for 72 sheets in total. Find out why it's been a bestseller for Keith for so many years. It has, David. I mean, this is how our, our crafting journey started, seriously, with this particular product range. Uh, we have sold literally, and I, and I kid you not, we have, uh, not exaggerating, we have sold tons and tons. And imagine, uh, just to put that into perspective, a ton is around about 
Well, it's, it's roughly this entire counter uh, from end to end and this high, that's how much you're talking about everywhere. Yep. And we have sold absolutely tons of it over the years. It really is fabulous. Now, again, look how these uh, beautifully die cuts. So, David, let me give you a crown. I'm going to give you a crown you. there. We've got, you know, you've been crowned. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you've been crowned uh, amongst with everything else this afternoon. And we'll just take that off of there and we'll just put that onto there. Now we've got some uh, lovely little, uh, we've got a little top hat in there, David. Let mm -hmm. me give you the top hat there again. I mean, these dies are really fun. If you just want the dies on their own, you're thinking of you know putting, I don't know, glasses onto someone's picture or something like that. You can have a little bit of fun with it. There's beards. Uh, I think there's a, a top hat. There's lips as well. Different size glasses and different shaped glasses like Elton John. Uh, Mustaches as well. It's yeah, all there. Masquerade there's, there's masks. glasses, David. Let's give you the glasses there right, for mine. you as well. That's brilliant. I mean, they are literally just such a good fun element aren't they yeah uh, and of course we need to have the tie so I, i'm hopefully going to try and use these with my demonstration of how we're going why does your craft room deserve all of this stock because it is that uh, useful to have it all available for you there you go there's a tie david look, look at that tie it looks i've got a little bit of an embossed feel on there as well lovely as well. cool uh, absolutely beautiful and of course i've used tiny little strips as well dave so we're not even using big full sheets are it's we it's a we great way of using up waste if you've just got like little off cut slips of paper or whatever it might be these are brilliant because they're not big at all they're only about an inch inch and a half long something like that but they're really useful to have they are now as well as it being die cuttable of course it's always embossable as well dave so it you is. can do all of the things that you want so again let's just put this one through with this folder no idea what it's going to come up like i don't practice with everything i just try everything and see make sure that it you know it's going to come out for you but i do know you know from the years that we've been supplying this product into the to the trade because we, we we supplied this originally to the trade right. as well as into the uh, you know, uh, you know, TV shopping we, we were supplying this all over the country into the can trade. I just also point out we still have a few not many of our Gemporia craft die cutting and embossing machine this was launched or uh, well, actually developed to launch hobby maker so it is still available if you want it at an incredible under a hundred pound price, 99.99, 50 pound off, but only until the stock sells out, which won't be long, and then it won't be coming back in that same guise. So if you want the machine, there it is, that's how it's gonna come, all cutting plates, and Jamie Rogers from Creative Expressions bought three, he was in last weekend, I think it was. Uh, they arrived the other day, and he's raving about them on our, our Hobby Maker Facebook page. So thank you, Jamie, for that. Yeah, he got one for his mum, two for himself, for his workshops and that sort of thing, raving about it, so it's the best machine that he's used, amazing. So if you wanna put it to the test, you've got a 30 day money, that guarantee it's on three split payments as well of 3333 dgv189 you've been impressed with it haven't you Pete? oh I, I, do you know dave uh, you know i'm being very honest with the viewers i think it's really important to be frank if, if i thought it was rubbish i'd tell you it was rubbish because i'm a yorkshire person we don't tell fibs or lies but i'm actually really impressed with this yeah. uh, um they, they, when i got here today they said keith we want, we're, we're, we're doing special offer on our machine do you think you could show it i said well i've never used it i've never used it but I have to say, it's brilliant. It is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And it's whisper quiet as well. It doesn't it's struggle or strain or anything like that. I think the other thing I like, which uh, maybe nobody's pointing out, is the fact that it turns itself off. Yeah. So you're not wasting electricity, which no. is, you know, cost of everything going up. But that's a, that's a really good USP, really, is the fact that, you know, when, it, when it's tired, you know, when, you, when, you've, when it's redundant, just like, so, like just turns itself off. Mm -hmm. Love it. Okay, well, if you fancy putting it to the test, uh, give us a call. I, I don't think you'll regret it if Jamie's impressed and everybody else I know that's bought one has been well impressed. There it is. It is still available. The, the stock is going very, very fast. Word's getting out. People are telling their friends, get the Gemporia craft machine. There it is. Right. There we go. And now, David, I'm just, uh, I'm having to play. I'm having to play because I, I like to really. You're the cookie so to I'm my just cream. Gonna, we're just going to, we're going to do the cookie to my cream. You're the cookie to my cream. Um, all these things are very fashionable these days, you know, uh, uh, cookie dough and all that sort of thing. My uh, my young son, he's into his cooking and cookie doughs and donuts and all these things he makes. All these, he's only 14. So you watch him Had a parents' evening that. the other day and uh, they said, does he does he cook at home? I said, oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's quite handy around the kitchen. Master chef, maybe? He's, he's, well, he's only 14, there, but he's coming along. Really. He could yeah. be a junior master chef, maybe, I don't know. Could be the um, next Gordon Ramsay, you never know. Well, yes, I love Gordon Ramsay. He's my kind of man. I just be. think he's so <laughs> funny. Well, you can imagine his humour and my humour yeah. hand in hand with each other, like gloves to each other, really. Um, absolutely brilliant. So, again, uh, uh, I think my die might have moved a little bit, but never mind, Dave, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's definitely it. moved, but we'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll pretend that that happened. 
It's live TV. Anything can happen. And usually does. And it usually does. But we've, we've got the die cut bit out the middle. You got away with that. I have got yeah. away with it, apart from the fact I was going to use the other little bit on the outside. But never mind. We'll, right. see, if we can, we'll see if we can rescue it, maybe, later on. OK. Is that one of the inserts you cut out? No, that's one of the foodly toppers that I've cut out there, David. Oh. Just one of the foodly toppers that we, we've just die cut out. So let me get rid of all of those. Right, let's bring things oh. into play now as to how we're going to use them. Because stop, yeah. we mentioned, obviously, about matting and layering with the metallics, uh, with the metallic card, with the coloured card. But look, here, here we go. We're going to use a couple of these bits on here. So just thinking, you know, this is one of the inserts. If yes. you don't want to use it as an insert, you could have... That's why I thought you maybe cut it out of here. You could easily use that as a topper and put another sentiment on it, and you can use that as a topper. Or cut it in two and just use it as two inserts. Dave, leave that to one side. We might bring that into play in a minute right. or two, for sure. Right, so we've got the 8x8 card, and uh, we're going to use a piece of the... From the brights... The lovely, beautiful violet. I love this colour. Uh, again, we could emboss that if we wanted to do so, but for the benefit of uh, this demo uh, and how it ties into the food list, and I think it's really important to say, why are we giving you all of this stuff? Because the brightness of the colours of the food list works with anything, but yeah. it particularly works really, really well with this uh, core range of cards. Because obviously we've used every Actually, colour we could under really the good food point. Let me just grab a few of the toppers just here. Yeah, I mean, you've got this, these colours in this core card range every step of the way. Whether I'm showing you this one that's got like a lavender and yellow, there's the yellow that matches with that, there's the red that matches with that, you've got your purples and your, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Yep, it does honestly David, it just goes with it yeah. and, and uh, you know, works really, really well. So if you can get it and you want to get it, you know, it's well worthwhile putting it into your crafting room because you're definitely going to get your value out of being able to use all of this. And when you want a colour to work with your card making projects, then that's going to work really, really well. And look at how it uh, embosses as well. Look at that. Very impressed. So it's been a core product for Keith for 25 years. Why? Because it does the job. It does the job every day of the week. So stack up on it. If you want to go maybe for, or stock up on it, if you want to go for a couple of sets maybe, uh, that will give you 144 sheets. And remember, it's only ever one PMP of 395 here at Hobby Maker for all of your orders for the entire day, from midnight one night to midnight the next. Even if you spend, I don't know, buy five, six, seven things, it's only 395 for the entire order. One thing though, just to point out, Everything that you order in, on different shows won't come in the same box because um, when you order something from Keith, he sends it out and dispatches it. When you order something from Crafter's Companion, they dispatch it. So things will be separate, but you're only being charged one P&P. Oh, I think that, that, uh, that enthuses the excitement yeah. of it. More, because it more means parcels. That more goods, more parcels, more the doorbell's going to ring. Yeah. Oh, it's like Christmas. Absolutely. <laughs> All your Christmases are going to come in the same week for sure. Right, you can see now I'm mixing and matching, Dave, with the purple, and now I'm going to put a little bit of the blue on from uh, the blue collection as well. So you can see how the colours mix and match. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason that I wanted to try and keep this intact was I was going to use this. So let's just see if I can rescue it, shall I? Because uh, we might be able to do There again, we might not. So we'll see what happens and we'll whether it turns out or not. Um, I, my die moved by a millimetre. It only took a millimetre, but it moved That's a millimetre. That's all mill. it takes. That's all it took. I'd blame, I'd blame the operative myself <laughs> more, so than the, more so than the machine. But anyway, um, who, who cares? Um, That's why listen, no tactics The thing about, for your the, about paper crafting, Dave, is that sometimes you can make a mistake and it doesn't, matter nobody's going to get hurt nope. you know nobody's got themselves damaged or anything the paper's not turned out quite how i wanted it to but c'est la vie it's um, the end of the world not the end of the world and if it's rubbish you can tell me so you say well i don't like that keith it's not what i would do it's not my cup of tea well i'm sorry on this occasion we've got it wrong but never mind somebody else might think do you know what keith that's the best card but you never made. you don't know until you try do you well, and some of the happiest accidents come out of mistakes. For sure. And you know what, David? I always say there's no such thing as a bad card, for sure. There's definitely no such thing as a bad card. Right, I'm going to put that one down on there. Let's just see if we can get this right, see if Smithy's any good at salvaging things. Oh, we're not doing too bad, Dave. We're not doing too bad, I don't think, maybe. We're definitely, we've got it a little bit too much over the edge, but we've gone now. We've stuck it down. We can't change that. We'll put that one down on there, and we'll put this one... We'll take this off of here. We'll put this one up on here. We're about three mil out. Oh. All right, never mind. It's only a measurement, and it's only an illusion. It's just an just illusion. Just imagine it's there. There you go. It's a pop song. It's just an illusion. However, the bit that I wanted in the middle is the bit that we're going to put some 3D foam pads you know on what? the back. That, it's hard to see that. You get away with that, I think. You think I'll get away with that, Dave? Yeah. Good. 
If you think I'm going to get away with it, David, or that'll do for me. You could cut that away. I could. I could have done, couldn't I? Yeah, Let's just do that. Should we do that, David? Yeah, I like that, David. And it's the same both sides. Yay. There you go. See, I'll make a crafter out of you, yeah? <laughs> I will. We will make a crafter out of that, David. That David, David of Bradford. Uh, we will do that for you. Um, I think I've told you this before. I am a Bradford boy, so um, oh, yeah. you know you and I have got a lot in common, haven't we, really? Yeah. Um, I yes, I was born in Bradford. Uh, a few years ago, when, uh, when well, they just about got electricity when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to Bradford, never. You've never been to nope. Bradford? You haven't lived, David. I know. You haven't That's lived. That's what I'm hearing. We have a whole city but there. You think you know? I'd go to my, you know, my, my namesake town, wouldn't you? But I never have. Well, yeah, well, you'll have to visit sometime. Yeah. Just let me know, and I'll be out. Um, <laughs> 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 only kidding. So, obviously, we've cut that out of the uh, out of the die there. Now, we're literally just going to, uh, you know, place that back into the centre there. Probably could have done with a bit of a metallic behind there. We should have probably cut a circle, Dave, I think. Do you think we should have cut a circle? What? Uh, out of the yeah. metallic, do you think? Do you think we should? Well, I think maybe. Maybe, maybe we should. What about uh, the gold? We, should, we, we could try that, couldn't we? Have gold we got or silver? Well, well, let's just try. Yeah, well, let's try a bit of... Uh, Whatever colour, what do you think? Gold. 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 Our, our okay. producer's telling me the gold is the colour. There's gold in them there hills, you know. Um, <laughs> and uh, listen, this is the best value gold you will ever get. Honestly. A whole kilo full. Do bear in mind, you can buy the kilos individually. So if you want to go to the website, hobbymaker.co.uk, you can buy the gold on its own for 13 99 You can buy the silver. Now, the gold has got a lovely satin finish to it, which I think makes it look really opulent, really, really rich, really expensive looking. Um, the silver, that's the gold. The silver, though, has got more of a, a kind of a mirrored finish. You'll be able to see Steve on camera too in a second. We'll wipe it away for you. There he is. See, that's the sort of shine you get from that one. And then the holographic is also available separately. I don't know still how Keith has done this. Well, he's actually, this is actually um, corporate packing for a, a well-known kind of spirits box that you might see in your local supermarket. If you have a little look next time you're in there, you might see it. They did that for that, their brand, and this is actually uh, card stock from that run. Uh, so we've got here all these beautiful holographic <laughs> gemstones and spheres and circles, almost like CDs on there. Now, that's available as well. They're all available for $13.99. They all come in their own cardboard boxes for storage, so they keep in good condition. But if you want to go for all three, we're only charging you for two. Which one's your free one? That's the big question. $13.99. In other words, you only pay today if you want split pay the cost of one of those, but you're going to get all three delivered in the next few days from Keith. Uh, and then the final sp uh, split pay in four weeks' time. But you get three kilos delivered for $3.95 postage. That's what set the phone lines alight earlier on. And that's what caught a lot of you coming through that were brand new customers as well, thinking, I want to take advantage of this. I want to get this three kilo deal. Lots of you bought two. Loads of you bought three and four. They did. Mm. We're going to be busy, David, packing you all are the clothes up. We're going to yeah. be busy. The boys and girls back um, up there, we're in Halifax. Is that what so, you're based? Yeah, we're based in Halifax now. Yeah, I okay. moved out of Bradford. Right. Because uh, nobody came to see us, so I moved out of Bradford. So you see, <laughs> if only you'd have come, Dave, I would have, I would have stayed. But if I'd have got an invite, I'd have been there. Oh, there you go. So, well, look, that could be a good call to put the gold because it's picking up the gold of the lettering yeah. of uh, that. You know, um, today will be soup. -er, soup. -er. Do you get it? See what you did it's there. It's fixed. Uh, it's super. It is really. You won't believe this, but I actually stuck this down to another piece. But now I've rescued that as well, really. So we're just going to offset that slightly because that just gives us the gold edge. Which I think is cool. I think that's all right. That's all right. We're all right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Right. So now, now you've yeah, got we've got the three D foam pads behind there. So now we've taken all of the elements, Dave, that we've uh, we've decoupaged out. We've just literally take all of the pieces, and you can fussy cut these. Absolutely brilliant to be able now, to work with. Yeah, the decoupage. You, you know, these are great. The decoupage images. Where are they? They're down the front here. Um, let me just show you, there's actually a bleed line that Keith and the team have printed. So, like here where you can see the, the slice of toast, there's actually a bleed line going around the outside edge of it. So you don't have to be that precise with your scissors, but it means you're going to get a lovely professional finish when you cut them out. And a lot of people like to fussy cut. There you've got your cheeses as well. So you get 48 sheets in here, don't you? 48 sheets, yep. Dave, and that matches up with the toppers exactly. So 48 sheets of the, uh, of the decoupage elements. Of course, if you wanted to use them as individually, that takes that card making count potentially into a different yeah. atmosphere, you know, yeah, totally. stratosphere altogether, really, because you've got 48 toppers, 48 of those sheets, and there's many, in many cases, there's two or three elements that you can make cards out of. So it depends how, how frugal you want to be or which journey you want to take it on. So there's the actual base 
Topper, which, you know, stand so alone. He, yeah, so you could make card one, card two, and possibly, you know, the elements of card three there if yeah. you wanted to do so, if you just wanted a smiling um, waffle. Yep, so if that's why we get those. Just a smiling waffle um, on a card, uh, that's it. You just put a bit of colour card, a smiling waffle, job done. You're the waffle to my syrup, that's what it said. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Love them. Oh, I'm terrible with syrup, Dave. Are you? Oh, yeah. Do you know, it's taken me a long time to get the ship. So I won't spoil it, but I put syrup where I can. I put syrup on anything. <laughs> I kid you not, honestly. I had, uh, this is a kid, I, I know, uh, uh, you'll see me, I'm getting slimmer. Um, I had, the other night, I had a uh, chocolate chip um, lovely bun. Yep. Yep. What, like a hot cross bun chocolate like, chip? Like, yeah, chocolate mm. chip bun. S no, it wasn't, uh, wasn't hot, hot cross. It was a proper, you know, bun bun. Okay. Chocolate chip smothered in ice cream. Ooh. <sighs> lovely. Put it in a microwave to melt. A little bit runny all over the hot, all over the bun, syrup all over the top of that. Wow. Wow, it's a solid. <laughs> Is that a carb overload? Oh, that's definitely carb yeah, overload. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Thought so. laughs> Don't oh, well. tell the current Mrs. Smith, will you, whatever you do. She didn't know. <laughs> she she didn't knew know about that. the ice cream. She knew about the bun. She didn't know about the syrup. Okay. But there you go. Shh, we'll take, we keep it to ourselves. Oh, anyway, yeah, I am going on a safe. diet. I have to go on a diet because of the wedding coming up. Oh. It's, it's two years' time, so I've got plenty of time. But, you know, one's daughter's married? decided... Oh, your daughter's getting she, married? Your daughter's going to get married. Ooh. Expensive time. Could be, David, could be, could be. <laughs> yeah. Um, have to sell as many kilos as we can. I'm going to have to sell a lot of kilos. <laughs> uh, funny story, though. Talking of cake, this is true. Honestly, it's true. We went to a wedding fair. Have you ever been to a wedding fair, David? Yeah. Mm. Wedding went to a wedding fair with my daughter and um, her fiancé. Fiancé, I like that word, fiancé. And... Um, this lady was was giving away these strawberry cakes as a bit of a test to David. Well, okay. I like my cake. You can tell I like my cake. And um, so I got a piece of cake. And then it was lovely. It was really, really nice cake. Beautiful cake. Uh, but then Thomas, the fiancé, he didn't get any cake. Oh. So we went round a few more stalls and poos and looking at flowers and looking at this, looking at that, the other. And, and Thomas was looking a little bit sad and, you know, because he didn't get any cake. He didn't get any cake. And then I, um, so I went back to the cake lady. I said, I said excuse me. Would you mind if I had another piece of your gorgeous cake? I said, honestly, it's not for me. <laughs> it's for my future son-in-law. I said, and his dad's a multi-millionaire, and I'm trying to keep well in with him. Right. I got Did the you cake. Get, you got the cake. <laughs> yeah, 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 I thought you might. <laughs> uh, dear me. Where are we going to put that, David? Shall we put that there? There we go. You're so sweet. Oh, honestly, you've got to have a laugh, haven't you, really? So is that you can see the elements that are coming up there now, Dave. Isn't that great? I mean, we could add a little bit of ribbon if we wanted to. In fact, let's add a little bit of purple ribbon, because we're on a purple card. Why not? So we'll add a bit of purple ribbon to it, and then we yep. can see. But the other thing being, Dave, what about making and selling these? How much would you sell a card like that? I reckon what? that card you'd probably get 350 Yeah, so do I, David. I think yeah. definitely, 100% you would. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah the sure. more elements you put on it, the, the more expensive it will be. But yeah, 350 easily. And when you consider how many cards you could make, depending on how you use the actual uh, kit itself, all the decoupage, the topper stash, the fact that you've got these, how many of these do we get again, Keith? We get 30 sheets, 30 sheets. that's 60 that's usable 60 elements. 60 usable toppers, 60 cards just from this alone. It's amazing. So, you know, you can really make it go a long, long way. Um, you get, of course, if you're going to buy the show, which I think we've got, no, we've got by the by the collection at the moment. So just the collection without the by the show. You get all these wonderful printed backgrounds, all of them cardstock, not paper. And then these are great as well, because these have got sentiments on them for these backgrounds as well. All kind of um, saucy and, and kind of innuendo-y and just a bit of fun at the end of the day. It's just a bit of fun. And then these fantastic inserts, beautifully printed papers, uh, nothing stopping you, cutting these into half and die cut them as well. And yeah, I mean, who you send to what? I mean, some of them are, are really quite lovely and some of them are quite kind of ooh, risque. So be careful who you send who to what. But, uh, Where's that topper sheet, that, that insert, David, that you had that, on the end there, on the end? Oh, this one? Yeah, let's have the insert because obviously we spoke about the inserts. Here, here's the insert and the insert, you can see the coordination there. Look, where you go, hey, yep. look, it's like magic. Look, we can see. So we've done these, some of them will coordinate perfectly with that. So what we could do is we could die cut that out or if we wanted to, we could literally gonna use that as it is there. So what we're gonna do is just put that to one side, David. Mm -hmm. This is how you can make 36 inserts turn into 72. Are you watching? This is magic, David. You've never seen this before, like ever. Are you ready? Ah! Done. Done. <laughs> so now, 
Two Becomes One. That could become a pop group, could, could be. Or yeah. a pop song. pop song. Two Becomes One. Uh, but it's as good as that. Now, I'm just going to give that a bit of a trim down because I know that it's slightly taller than the 8-inch uh, by card. So if we, if we just take the top off a little bit at the bottom and then we'll show you exactly what we're going to do with that really because this is going to be called uh, it's a bit of a loose leaf insert david a bit okay. of a loose leaf so all we're going to do i always think they're the poshest the loose leaf ones yeah just all it needs is a little bit of tape on the top there to fix it that's all you need to do it doesn't need to be any more than that that's it simple fixed let's go inside now david open up the card look it looks really nice inside there but that is going to look gorgeous just inside there and it the, and the words just say it all doesn't it really so again just take the backing tape off of that let's put it onto the uh, front of there and that's going to sit really really nice now again i could have dressed the inside of the card one of the things i do like to do occasionally is dress the inside of the card i could have put some purple card on mm -hmm. there if i wanted to do uh, but i've just put that on that it's a loose leaf insert so you see it's a, it flops around a little bit that makes it more expensive because it, it's flopping around it's, it's a moving part cards that have got moving parts parts are more expensive and the other thing as well is that's a pound a pound a ribbon put a ribbon on a card add a pound to your yeah. to your card right. yeah. so your three pound fifties become four pound fifty and all of a put a ribbon on and one half of an insert bish bash bosh shut the front door isn't that a card and a half? Absolutely it is. And remember, you're going to get the Foodlies. We've been talking about them for the last few days, actually. And, um, and Keith gave you a little bit of a hint that the Foodlies were coming. Did you know what the Foodlies were? I didn't. Now I do know them. You've got your, you've got your fantastic decoupage pad. So basically, remember, the decoupage matches the topper stash. So you can either use the decoupage completely on its own or decoupage onto the topper stash. You'll find exactly the right ones that work. So that's that. And you get 48 sheets of printed cardstock uh in total 24 designs two of each in both the toppers and the decoupage you get remember a total of 60 30 sheets of this but they are duos so you can cut these in half and uh there we go uh and look, this is just showing you all the toppers these are all the toppers that are in, in the pad okay yep. so all these toppers you can see on the boards there. Uh, this is just one section of it there are 12 there on the sheet uh, are you looking at my wiener are you looking at my wiener <laughs> just checking <laughs> Oh, I, man. I'm looking at your wiener, David. Oh, man. Uh, there you go. <laughs> and um, look, you make me so corny. Now, there's a play on words. This is the sort of thing, David, I think that you could send to your work friends. You could send to somebody who maybe you admire that you'd like to get to know a little mm -hmm. bit better, but you don't have to tell them it's from you. This could be your secret, your secret card uh, uh, escapade as well. But they're just good fun uh, playing with the English language as we are so... You know, I mean, obviously anybody who's learning English, this is just a bit of a nightmare for you, really, because <laughs> this is playing with the English language in a different kind of way, really. Um, you know, uh, let's be besties forever. Yeah. Uh, is great you know, have an excellent day i hope you're having an excellent day as well uh, is it hot in here um or, or is it uh, just you yeah. that was a new one we haven't seen that there one. you go uh they're the brilliant you're the syrup to my waffle david uh, let's get glazy together and of course um you condiment me <laughs> uh, and that's one half let's just go over there let's turn that over yep. put that one in front there we go we've got more there's more coming in there's more on, on the top on here as well look uh, again uh, where should we start should we start up here with saucy oh no we're starting over there um i think you're great <laughs> cheese great great cheese did you get it yep uh, you're, <laughs> you're just like breakfast the, the best, best part, part of the day, day. And I like this one. I know David's a bit embarrassed by this one, but I, I like it when you lick me all over. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Let's get saucy. Can you imagine sending that to your mother-in-law? I like it when I you lick love, me all over. <laughs> I would love you to do that. That would be so funny. <laughs> That would, uh, I'll butter you up any day. Uh, there we go. Uh, and no, I'm gonna, uh, you could. Can I just go back to this one? Because I've seen a card to me. This one here, beg your pardon. Can we go back to this one? Because I've seen a card today that our Suzanne's made. Uh, it'll be, if you follow us on Facebook, got you, please follow, join us here on Hobby Makers Facebook page. Yeah. But also join us on uh, at Paper Dynamics. Join Paper Dynamics. Because we put all of our finished samples that the DT make and we put them on there. And what Suzanne's done is, can you see the contour of this? Yeah. She's just sort of like, um, you know, cut that contour out. But then I don't, I don't think I can really show you, Dave. But if you imagine that that then would sit over there like that, right. it almost looks like it's peering over the top of the card, doesn't it, really? Oh, you see? Okay, yeah. so you can have it. You can really make it think where I'll butter you up. And that, that little bit's just peering over the top of the card. Absolutely brilliant. I sent her a message today saying thank you very much. But that's it. There we go. Uh, again, anybody who likes the beer, don't, don't worry, worry, be, be happy. happy. Yeah. Don't worry, be, be happy. happy. 
uh, let's um, let's toast your special day again. Anniversaries, birthdays, engagements, and um, not to be corny, but you're serially wonderful. They're great. They are really, really good fun and a great price as well. You know who you can send them to. Um, you know, you've got to know someone pretty well for some of them, but they are just really tongue-in-cheek humour, seaside postcard, saucy postcard sort of humour. And um, first time we've seen them here, isn't it? It's the first, it's the brand new launch, David, the brand new launch, uh, for sure. Uh, sending you a latte love. love. There you go. Uh, it is brilliant. Uh, fantastic. Uh, if you've got them, congratulations. If you haven't, why not get them? You need them in your life. Remember, it's going to bring you fun and happiness. There's two ways of getting them. You could go for them as the, buy the bundle of the, um, the actual, uh, foodlies themselves or you can buy the show which has got all the foodlies goodies and it's got the um it's got the holographic cardstock it's got of course the blanks uh it's got the uh, adhesive as well uh the adhesive uh, papers and it's also of course got the fantastic dies as well that's the buy the show but that is just if you want the foodlies all the gorgeous foodlies products that is it you get the whole lot 62.99 or that first uh the split payment of 20 pounds and 99 pence that's over three payments okay um 2140 that's the product code uh just 62.99 and if you want individuals if you just love the toppers or you just love the inserts or whatever you can find them on the website individually labelled and numbered and priced good enough time for another demo and Dave it's just as easy as that really look this is from the decoupage sheet all of these bits that you can see on the uh, on the thing there they're, they're, they're all there just to cut out and play around with and have the words I mean and again the easiest things to cut out they're they? really easy to be able to cut them out you know uh, again the contours you don't need to be an expert at them you can just literally cut them out and make them go uh, uh, you know a long way uh, <laughs> oh yes I'm cracking jokes that you don't have to realize be an it. egg spurt do you really boom boom oh, i love it uh, so and it's easy then it's a case of just putting your 3d form pads on the back and layering them up it can this you, you can make this easy crafting or you can make it as creative as you want to totally, do yeah. really depends on the journey you could die cut this out really you could get your dies um, as we've just shown you there we could take the circular dies we could die cut them out that one's a bit too big you put Maybe some glossy accents on the middle and make it a really kind of runny yolk Make it look like a shiny yeah, you could play. You could, and, and of course, there's nothing to stop you. That on the mini sentiments, there's additional sentiments that are yeah. uh, that will coordinate with this as well. So you can really have a good play around. This then gives it the opportunity to be three dimensional because obviously you're adding in those those layering days. So that's layer number one. Then we've got the uh, the uh, layer number two, and we're going to go up to layer number three as well. So that we're just going to put that one nicely inside there, and then we'll put the yolk in the middle. You're not yolking, are you, David? <laughs> you better not be yolking about. This collection. You're cracking. Uh, you're, you're cracking. cracking you are. Uh, and, and again, we got that on onto there. Now, uh, did I cut some out of glasses out? I did cut some glasses out earlier on, didn't you I? Did? Really? Yes. Now, if you wanted to, you could put those glasses over there like that, which uh, would be cool really cool. That would be great, wouldn't it, really? And then the other thing I thought, David, as well, is we could put the little tie underneath there, couldn't we? We could give him a bit of an elongated tie um, uh, down on there as well if we wanted to do so. And if you really wanted to go uh, over the top, you could then give him a bit of a top hat as well, really, couldn't you? As well, you know, <laughs> having an excellent day. Uh, so it becomes a little bit of creative. Or if it's not that, it could well be the crown. And we didn't put the crown on the other one, but it could be a crown on there as well. And that comes from the dyes that are on the show now, as well. Also, these are called the party accessories die sets. They, they stand alone brilliantly too. Um, also, uh, cards for guys, that sort of thing, not a problem anymore. You've got your top hats, you've got your crowns, you've got your uh, moustaches, you've got lips there as well. You could cut them out in red cardstock. You've got all these different shapes of glasses that you can think of. You've got your two Ronnie's glasses, you've got your Elton John glasses there, uh, beard, the ties as well. They're really great. And you can have fun not only with the, um, the actual foodlies as characters, but photographs you've got of your other half or your dad or your best friend or whatever. You know, you can have a bit of fun with them as well. So these are great. And they're available separately on the website if you want to buy them on their own, but they are also in the buy the show as well. 30 dies, is it? 30. 31, I think, 31. is it? 31 dies, uh, David. Yeah, 31 yeah, up here. Yeah. Um, so great value, amazing value. As I say, you can get them on their own or you get them with the bundle. But the, the, the sort of thing that you're just going to go to if you, if you find anything. You mentioned about photographs. Yeah. You know, goodness me, uh, how many of us now take photographs on our phone and we never print them out, do I know, we? I know. It's terrible, really. You know, a whole industry of photo developments has gone away. But well, you really I'm, try. I'm, I'm making the effort now. I've got a few photographs taken recently of like um, when we all said goodbye at another channel, all that sort of thing. So yes, I can print those yep. off and put those in a frame and stuff like that. So. Yeah, you need to do. But if you do print them off, 
You can then add the glasses to them and you can make them humorous, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is, you know, really, really nice. So, you know, don't don't forget about these things, printing them out. I mean, I've got thousands of pictures on my phone, mm. literally thousands of pictures on my phone. And um, and sometimes you think to yourself, do you know, it would be really nice if I could get all these printed off and put them in an album. The only trouble is, you take that many pictures these days that uh, that we post on social media. Totally. You, you couldn't afford to print them all out, could you really, Dave, for sure. But those special ones, those special event ones, you really need to, to do that for sure. Now, I've just mounted that little egg one there on the top of the silver card and it's at this point then we should then really talk about maybe uh, this little group of, of card stocks here let's just bring them into play oh, perfect or we could uh, bring into uh, this little group of uh, card stock down on here there we could bring a little bit of those into play as well mm -hmm. um, or if we wanted to we could bring the blacks and the whites in as well but look how this cascade of colors would possibly work let's take the blue out uh, from that range and just leave leave those in there and say that's a colour palette that really works well with this card doesn't so it? That's why Keith you put this in the show today because the core card stock if you want to go for that it's going to be a perfect addition to work alongside the Foodleys but it stands alone as well and like you said to us it stood the test of time for so many years. We've been selling this for 25 years David it is brilliant honestly um, uh, Don't look you, old you can have so much fun with it let's just take the yellow for a moment this lovely golden yellow you can see how that would contrast I suppose I mean if you really wanted to it's slightly the wrong uh, wrong size for for sure but if you wanted to you could literally take that down on there what, what do we mean by matting the layer I mean, we're literally just going to put a bit of a line there we're going to put a bit of a line there and then just get our uh, little guillotine uh, if you haven't got one of these you need to get one they're uh, well worth well worth their weight um, lots of different guillotines around on the marketplace today and uh, this one's a craft uh, companion one we've got a new website coming soon here, we have we? yeah it's not up and running yet I was told it's gonna be yesterday but unfortunately there were a few gremlins so it should be coming early uh, next week fingers crossed where you'll have all the products from every supplier at your fingertips at the moment the website just shows you what's in the show right now uh, but soon very very soon we're gonna have an all singing all dancing everything available website which would be amazing it would be great wouldn't it Dave? yeah we're really looking forward to that really so we're progressing thank you for everybody who's been supporting the mm, shows absolutely. over the last uh, four weeks now David I think it is nearly four weeks nearly, okay. just about four weeks that we've been live on the British TV Airways uh, and it's a pleasure to be here here. Uh, it's all downhill from where I live. It's all uphill going home, but never mind. <laughs> um, there's a, a yin and a yang in everything. And um, but you know what? No, it's, it's, it's been the outpouring of support from everybody. And, and people have just been so nice and saying so how much they're loving the shows, loving the channel. Um, so glad that we're, we're here, which is lovely. And there are more and more. Uh, That's Crafty are joining us. Their first shows are in, a, I think, a, a next week or maybe the week after. Uh, they've announced that today that they're coming to Hobby Makers. So Joe Chan and, and the gang will be here. Um, uh, Dreamies, they're coming as well. Um, amongst many others, so lots to look forward to. Just pass me one of those 8x8 cards there, Dave, really. I know, I think, yeah, one one of these. that'll be fine. Yep. Uh, that would be great. I mean, normally I'd like to say, right, well, what else could we do? I might just try and see if we can possibly uh, see if I, how we can make that different. Of course, that's going to go straight away on top of there, which is fine and it's easy and it's another card job done. But I'm trying to think to myself, well, um, you know, could we do another thing else with it? And I think we probably will. I've just got a bit of a line on here. Look, see, my perfectionist got a little ma pencil, my pencil mark still left on there. <gasps> Terrible. Uh, Ooh, cannot have my that's... pencil line on there. Ah, it's gone. Um, the, the slither's been taken off. Um, so the <laughs> we, we could have. Uh, so there we go. Uh, that was going to go there. Now, I'm just wondering, Davey, could we make this a stand up card, do you think? Or could we make, it a, well, could we make it a diagonal fold card? I'm not quite sure we could, really. Could we make that a diagonal fold? We could possibly. Um, yeah, but. It, but but um, that means then that we've got to take the card, which is the 8x8 card stock, and that goes across to there like that. Have you got a scorer? Score tool? Uh, we don't need a scorer, David. I just need my thumb. All right. And that's going to go down <laughs> nicely on there. That's going to go nicely on there. So we've got the little corner bit there. And that means then, I suppose, really, that's going to sit nicely onto there, that which works. means that one's going to go nicely onto there. What do you think? Is that looking OK? That looks we're good. Get, yeah. We're looking good. Right. Well, what we'll do, Dave, is uh, so if you think that's looking good, we'll, we'll put some tape down on here. Uh, Would we're you making have a stopper a on the bottom or not? Sorry? Would you put a stopper on the bottom or not? I'll do that in a minute too, yeah. We'll do a stopper on the money, uh, on the bottom. Uh, we'll just have a bit of a think. What we might need to do is put a little bit more card uh, on to cover all of that base up. And then we'll find something that we're going to put down on there as well. So, I mean, this is the thing I love about card making, David. Sometimes, you know, you, if you don't have a plan, sometimes the best things are the little happy accidents and I yep. know you've got loads of cards there I've got loads here by a real crafter <laughs> and you know sometimes it's just you just want to 
lighten the load. You just want to do something and send something that's going to put someone's smile back on their face. Maybe they've had a really tough week or tough couple of months or whatever it might be. Yeah, it's, it's happy post. And sometimes, like you said, Keith, earlier on, it's a, a card sent for no other reason than you just thought of someone. It doesn't have to be for an anniversary or a birthday. You expect cards on those days. But a card, when you least expect it, to say, hope you're well, thinking of you, with a cheeky little comment on the front, from the food list would be, be great. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it, David? I mean, that's the, the thing there really is. It's just a, you know, about having the fun. Now, remember, Dave, remind me this time when I've cut this one to turn it upside down, please, so that my pencil mark doesn't show. I don't want to okay. be pencil mark showing. Keith, I'm a perfectionist, you know. Turn it upside down. I'll turn it up. <laughs> don't tell me now. Tell me when I'm sticking oh. it down. Okay. So again, just taking a piece of the golden yellow. Um, absolutely brilliant. This is, you know, just fun, innocent crafting that's easy to do. Uh, get the younger generation involved with it as well, which is brilliant. Um, you know, really good fun to be able to play with. And, and, and again, I would, I would keep those little uh, smaller strips because your little, uh, your little dies will work with those. So you mentioned about cutting out the lips earlier on, uh, David, Absolutely, the red yeah. card, which you can do, of course, as well. And the core cardstock, like you get three of each colour, yeah? You get three sheets of A4 in every colour, which is fabulous, isn't it, really? Now, uh, what have we got to remind me, David? Turn it over, Keith. Turn it over, Keith. There we go. We'll turn it over. Make sure I've got my pencil marks. I've got my pencil marks on the right side this time, Yay. David. See, yeah. It's a, these things happen. Uh, we've all done it. And um, you can either cut it off or, as been suggested in my ear, get a rubber and rub it out. Absolutely. Well, there you go. There's a novel idea, David. <laughs> Uh, fabulous. Right, let me get my knife. So we're doing something a little bit different with this, David. I didn't uh, plan on this, but uh, the way it's turning out is really, really good. Crafting on the hoof, that's what you do. Bearing in mind, I could do this 48 different, you know, 24 different times and at least two of each. Yes. Dave. So you get 48 sheets. So this card I could make twice, but then I've got the option of being able to make another 48 just like it. And if you want to make and sell, if you've got yourself a little crafting business going, then absolutely fill your boots absolutely fine really yeah big, go yeah. for it uh, even better if it's for charity but if it's for your own personal profit that's okay as well no problem oh well we we'd love to we, i know there's there's uh, um lots of people make cards for charity day for sure and uh, the world would be a, a poorer place if it wasn't for for uh, people doing that uh, uh, you know as well you know big thank you to everybody who takes part in those sort of things again let's just put the stripe in there dave mm -hmm. i think shall we if we'll put the stripe in there so these are the printed backgrounds these are the sheets. backgrounds yeah. yeah 48 sheets of these again look how many cut 24 different colorways and this is two of paper. each it's card it is card it's all 300 gsm gorgeous quality, quality card brilliant uh, david uh, of course it's held its color it's bright it's vibrant you can score it die cut it um, punch it you can do all of the things that you need to do with it as well which is just uh, wonderful so again this is on the website available separately but it is all part of the big bundle of uh, the foodlies of course which is a marvelous marvelous darling marvelous and uh, you need to have this in your life. So again, we're just lining the inside there, Dave, just to give that little bit of an inside, because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this front part over here, as you can see from there. Bearing in mind, do, did we make this up or did we do this on the hoof? We did it on the hoof. We did it on the hoof, you didn't know we? What? So let's you've just- even, You've even got the, the lines in the right place to match the bottom of the cut. How did you do that? I'm good. I don't care what anybody says about me. <laughs> I, th I think I'm good. <laughs> That was impressive. And uh, let's just, we're well, just going to line up our little, I hope it's exquisite. And there you go. I mean, again, we could then put some little gemstones on there if we wanted to do so. We could really, you know, take this on a journey if we wanted to do. We can play around and just add a little bit of gems. We'll put one or two on there, David, just to, because we can and I will. So I'm just going to put one down onto here uh, and a couple on there. We'll put three on the bottom. Don't ask me why. I once got told by a, uh, a crafter that, you know, odd numbers rather than even numbers. Well, actually, we were talking, Jojo and I were talking about the wreath show earlier on. Um, flower arranging, all in odd numbers. That's yep. where it kind of started, I think. Yeah, it's a, it's a really uncanny thing, isn't it, really? But it, what it does is it draws your eye to these elements without taking too much away. You don't want to have too much, but you can just have those little elements on there if you wanted. If I show you it that way around, that looks a little bit better. You can see up on here and on down the bottom there. But equally now, as I turn that and twist it, because it's a twisted easel card, that is going to go beautiful on there. And if I turn that around... That's I'll great. There you go. Uh, there's a, a lovely little card, um, you know, being done with... Uh, uh, that was exactly right, that, Dave. It was spot on. 
<laughs> Absolutely spot on. Now, remember, a lot of them are just lovely and, and kind of heartwarming. Some of them are a little bit saucy and a bit risque, but you know what? You know who you're going to send those cards to, but they're fun. Above all, they're absolute fun. Remember, in the... Um, Food Liz, you're going to get your topper stash, 48 of those. You're going to get your decoupage stash, and the decoupage matches the images on the topper stash, so you've got 48 of those as well. You're going to get 30 of the smaller toppers. Now, these are actually a stash that you can cut in half. So you've actually got potentially 60 toppers in that alone. Are you doing the maths? Think how many cards you can make with this. Then you've got the backgrounds that we were using a few minutes ago that I showed you. Uh, how many of those? You get 48 of them, David. 48 of the backgrounds, and then the these backgrounds that have actually got the words on and sentiments on, these are bigger. So you can mat and layer those really easily and really professionally. Uh, you get 48 of those as well? 30 of them, David. 30 of them, okay. Yep. Glad you're here. Shall we do all of the maths? Yeah. Listen, I'm going to give you 72 of them. Okay. 72 of those, David. Full card stock, 72. Yep, we're going to give you a kilo of gold. Yep. We're going to give you a kilo of the silver yep. as well. To go with the, we're going to give you a kilo of the holographics, David. You need to have this in your life. We're going to give you 20 cards, complete with 20 envelopes, David. We're going to give you all of those. Then what about these beautiful, beautiful, um, lovely printed on adhesive the adhesive sheet. printed sheet. Look how beautiful those colours are. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. We're going to give you 20 sheets of those, David. We're then going to give you another 30 sheets. That's 60 cards, 60 cards, 4 99 on its own. £4.99. We're going to give you 48 sheets of the toppers. We're going to give you 30 sheets of the 8 inch by 8 inch backgrounds. We're going to give you 48 sheets of the toppers. Let's put that onto there, David. We're going to give you another 48 sheets of the decoupage sheets as well. And then we're going to give you 48 sheets of the backgrounds to core with all of that. Wow. So top all of that off, David. Oh, yeah. We're then going to give you another 36 sheets of inserts, which will quite easily turn into 72. And don't forget, we've also forgotten then the hologram card, pack of 24. If you're going to buy the show, you could get all of that. And we'll deliver that for 3 95 If wow. that was in a post office, that would be probably 20 quid, 25 quid delivery, maybe even more. You probably maybe even have to send a courier to do it. We'll deliver that to your door for £3.95, but it's in in just in case, whatever you want, whether you want to buy individuals, whether you want to buy the show, whether you just want to buy all the food leads, it's entirely up to you. Now, tomorrow is another day. Keith won't be here tomorrow. <laughs> I will be though back at one o'clock uh, tomorrow afternoon. Let's have a little look at what you can look forward to tomorrow. What's coming up here on Hobby Maker? Well, we have on Mothering Sunday, hunky dory little books. Remember the clocks go forward tonight, so adjust your clocks. I've got to do that when I get back to the hotel. Uh, two o'clock, creative expressions, hunky dory little books again at three. That's with Pauline Wheeler. Creative expressions at four. Sorry, you can't see the times. Um, oh, there we go, there we go. That's better. One, two, three, four. Try it again. So Hunky Dory Little Books, two o'clock, Creative Expressions, three o'clock Hunky Dory again. There we are. And then four o'clock, Creative Expressions, finally at five, Crafty Rue Design. So three suppliers tomorrow wow. in one afternoon. So it's going to be a lovely Sunday, Mother's Day afternoon. Join us if you possibly can, whatever you do. We'd love to spend Mother's Day with you. You can send maybe your mother's mentions in as well via our website and we'll give them a shout out on Hobby Maker. Keith, thanks ever so much. Thank you much, David. Great to see you. Remember, everything that Keith brings you, you'll be able to find on the website right now. If you go to uh, hobbymaker.co.uk, you can see all of these fantastic uh, foodies. Uh, what were they called again? Foodlies. Foodlies, that's it. Foodlies. foodlies. All the Foodlies products Go individually and as big bundles. Eh? You are. <laughs> And, of course, you've got the core card stock in there as I well. Think you, you need to go and have a lie down, don't I you? I do, I do. And, of course, the kilos are there. Kilo Keith will be back, I'm sure, very, very soon. Thank you for your company today. I uh, really enjoyed myself. I hope you've enjoyed it too. And have a lovely evening. But, again, don't forget to put your clocks back tonight. So, oh, no, forward, isn't it? I have no idea. Bye. <laughs>